Right, chat now we're about to head off into space on a trash adventure I hope you're excited Trash! Now, ladies and gentlemen, on your left, I direct your attention to a diaper lad. He's messing his diaper as we speak. It's a beautiful sight to behold. But wait! What's that? Oh no! Could it be? It is! Oh dear. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh no! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the stream. It's been a week or something. Um, because I was busy making that song right there. That was a song from me. That was uh, that was a new song. That's parts one and two of a new song. The reason it kind of abruptly ends a little bit there is because part three is still to come. But um, but yeah. That's a new song. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, so it's been a little bit. I had my back was hurting, and now it's it's better, mostly. I mean, I'm still hunched over like a fucking goblin all the time, you know, as I, uh, a shrimp man as I uh, as I, I operate my computer. Uh, but I, you know, it's uh, it's better enough. I can go I can go out and things. But instead of going out, I decided to to stay in today and do some trash uh, because it's been again it's been a little while. And uh, I have some things saved up. I've got some stuff I want to look at. There are some cult-related activities I'd like to look at. Um, potentially, we might if we get if it's if the time is right and we get to the evening. There's a certain diaper person making food. There's a there's a diaper chef. 
not a diaper chief. It's not the colonel. It's not the diaper chief. It's not him. It's a diaper chef, actually. Um, so, I, uh, <laughs> I, if, if, if it is, uh, if it is the right time for it, um, I'm going to do that. It's, um, it's, uh, it's somewhat early in the day. I want to do that maybe in the evening. Uh, I've been, let's see, it's been a week. I've been just kind of, yeah, making, making music. I started off because I've been watching a bunch of Doctor Who lately. You can check out the Loud Equals Funny podcast where we were talking about Doctor Who. I was getting back into the, the swing of things. I was watching mostly a lot of the classic series. Uh, uh, because I've seen, well, I've seen most of the new series and the stuff that I haven't seen is either, like, I want to watch all of the Capaldi stuff in one go because I haven't seen most of it. Uh... Or it's stuff... Well, I did watch a few of his, just to catch myself up on, on a couple specific ones. He Heaven Sent and those. But, uh, yeah, no. Mainly I was watching the classic series. Uh, oh, yeah, the other thing is... The, the other Modern Who stuff that I haven't seen is the Jodie Whittaker stuff. So, yeah, f fuck that, basically. But uh, the, cla the, the, the classic series. And I was listening to the, the fucking 80s Doctor Who theme. The one that's basically a Tangerine Dream song. Uh, yeah, the the one because there's a few versions of the Doctor Who theme, but the the really good one. Yeah, I mean, listen to that. That's great, and it's got a lot of cool effects. There's a video all about how it was made, and it was inspiring me to like download a bunch of the synthesizers that he used to to do it. The Jupiter Eight and all of that, like VST versions of them, and uh, putting some stuff together, and then I wound up not making that song, and that's just left sitting there. Um, but uh, you know, I made something else. Uh, but now it's uh, it's been it's been a week. I've been watching a bunch of fucking Doctor Who, and I'm in a mood for like space garbage potentially, and 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 like just some weird shit because we've been doing a lot of you know diaper people and uh things like that it's been you know we've we've done some nostalgia critic november we got to do more nostalgia critic before the end of the month by the way we got to do more nostalgia critic but i want to do some like some really far out there space trash some space madness if you will uh and so i'm i'm excited to maybe do a little bit of that um um i do have a few things i don't know how spacey they're necessarily going to be but I have a couple things. Uh, if anybody has spacey suggestions, I, uh, I'll i take them. The first thing I want to look at, there was a video recently from uh, Miles Power. Not Miles Prower, the Sonic character Tales, but Miles Power, uh, who talks about uh, uh, various uh, pseudosciences and things like that. Uh, and over the, the course of like five or six years or something, he's been, or more than that even maybe, I, he's been talking about uh, MMS, miracle mineral solution or whatever it's called uh some kind of it's essentially bleach that you take to cure autism and uh the people that uh sell this stuff to, to people and and the you know run the uh church that they uh, that they created specifically to dodge persecution they've admitted that um the the church is like the the father and his two sons and the sons got arrested and the de the father was like, "You gotta release one of my kids. Yeah, you gotta release my kids because one of them he's got a a bad medical condition and he needs to see a doctor. He doesn't need MMS, the miracle solution that'll save his life. Because obviously that's a scam, allegedly. Um, but uh, yeah, no, he uh, there's there's that whole situation. And um, I think I forget what it was exactly. I looked up either somebody involved in the video or uh, something like that. But I came to this this channel." Which is not necessarily related to it, but Adrian Health over here, and he's got um, uh, forty thousand subs uh, for the love of truth. Co. Uk. Co. Cock. Um, exposing the mass hypnosis being used on us is a, is a good video right there. I'm sure um, you got some really interesting stuff about like setting up a fucking whatever this thing is like a fucking tripod. He has videos about like setting up a tripod and a kneel the benefits of a kneeling chair. But then he also has videos about German new medicine, which is a scam. Uh, uh, uh and a lot of various scams. Uh, and I, I, I do wonder if there'll be anything interesting here. 
Uh, some, some good taking responsibility. The money scam. You, you, you. That's the other thing the last week I've been watching King of the Hill. I'm starting to think it's better than, um, I, I think it's better than, than Futurama and Simpsons. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just because it's newer to me because I didn't watch much of it as a kid. But like, man, I'm consistently impressed by that show. It's every episode has been like, man, this is like a timeless classic. This is like, this is like a, this is like, uh, un, it's because I've never watched a, a m most of it. So it's like finding an episode like the one with Chris Rock as a comedy, as a comedian who teaches a driving school and inspires Bobby and fucking jokes about Hank's narrow urethra in front of everybody and realizing that this is like as much of a classic episode as like any fucking you know Simpsons like Homer going over the canyon on the on the skateboard and like man I missed this this whole time it's like fucking finding a Simpsons from another universe or something it's great so I don't know if we'll actually watch too much of this guy I I, I want to look at things in this realm but this is oh man but this is, uh, this, lo this looks a little boring. I want to look at some of the pseudoscience, some of the cult stuff, the miracle mineral solution. I think what it was, was like several years ago, I think this guy interviewed somebody re uh, relating to that. Uh, if this is even what I'm thinking it is, this might be completely unrelated to the NMS thing. If so, then maybe, maybe I'm, I'm mistaken, but, uh, whatever it is here, uh, 98, 90% of people are low on iodine, are you? Whatever it is here. Uh, the, uh, I feel like there might be some stuff here. Cause like, I, I really like, I don't know. The guy seems, it, it, it seems very similar to matrix mentality. We live in the land of Oz with the color of law. It is the fantasy world of legalese, smart cities and towns, the digital prison you used to call your home. Her shell was her home and a prison as well. Uh, let's, let's do this. Let's do this one. Hello, and welcome Digital to the Love of Truth. I'm called Adrian, and this is episode 265. And I'm calling this episode Smart Cities and Towns, the digital prison you used to call home. All right, we're all caught up to speed on what the title of the video is and who uploaded it. Thank you. If you're already aware... Evidently I'm not, because you just had to summarize all of that for me. I guess I just stumbled upon this by accident. Autoplay found this for me in the middle of the night. The digital prison that's being constructed around each and every one of us. If you aren't aware of the digital prison, let me expl- Well, okay, okay, yeah, that sounds like quite a fucking pill to swallow. Alright, uh, the digital- uh, He's not- I mean, if he's- there's, there's a certain degree to which he might be right, I don't know that will allow 24-hour surveillance mm -hmm. seven days a week, then this uh, piece of content Only seven is days a week? for you. But if you haven't given it consideration, yeah. I'd like to ask Really you good thumbnails on this channel. Every thumbnail is just a black square with white text. A few questions, and then I'm going to play you some content that was made by a woman called Temera, oh, and content. is a talk she I gave. I love when people say, like, somebody is called their name. I don't know. I think that's just again. That's like a regional thing, but it's it. It just makes me think that's not their real name. It's like yeah, she's called Tamara, but her actual name is Rachel. She's called. I'm I'm called Adrian, but actually I'm Steve. My name my name is Steve. They just call me Adrian on on Sundays. Even in Edinburgh recently, Edinburgh. Some local people there to bring to their attention what's really unfolding. Are you comfortable with, and have you given to consideration to, the idea that the needs of the collective should come before your individual needs, which again is just a control mechanism and appeals to people's desire, I think, to want to look out for each other, and there's nothing wrong with that. But the idea of the collective coming before your individual rights is erroneous and dangerous and is just a mechanism of control. Have you recent? Well, I mean, yeah, I, I suppose it's a it's a real balance thing, kind of a seventy thirty split between individuality and collectivism, I guess. Uh, I I don't know. You don't want it to be exactly fifty fifty. I think you want it to be a little a, a little more. I don't know, a little more individual. But you want to. I don't know. You get a little too individual, and you start just trampling on people's fucking homes and stuff. Like, ah, oh, I'm just gonna bulldoze this fucking neighborhood because, you know, I want to build me a mall. I want to build me a, the largest statue of myself ever. 
uh, which is just any size, really, if there's never been a statue of yourself before, I guess. But, uh, yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I suppose uh, you probably want a balance of that, you know. Perched LED digital streetlights uh -huh. and what some of them are able to do. Oh, uh, is this going to get into, co this is going to get into 5G, isn't it? If I look, chat, if I look up 5G on his fucking, oh boy, it's going to be, there's going to be results, I know it. With the additional electronics they the have. street lights have secret electronics in them that turn your birds gay. Have they turn your birds pansexual. The fucking sluts. Are you aware of the The cameras, the, the cameras in the street light, what, you mean like the, to catch fucking, you know, like speed, people speeding or whatever, I, I guess. I... And the built-in cameras that some seem to have. Are you aware of the impact, and it's not a good one, that they have on your eyes? Well, have you considered no, why screens aren't smart good for cities are being rolled out? And who that agenda and that process really serves? Did you notice during lockdown that there was a lot of electrical and telecoms installations being put into place and did you i mean i don't even have to look up 5g it's getting into that now isn't it you wonder why have you looked into what china have done with their social credit system Hang on. Wait, and... social credit system so we need a bingo for a video like this is it gonna say 1984 I'm just, I've queued up the fucking Price is Right theme for whenever he actually says fi the, the term 5G. Because it's going to happen. It's going to be very exciting. I'm very, we're all going to be very excited. A digital surveillance platform, which literally, from what I've seen, surveils... The Matrix! ...constantly. Have you considered what it would be like to live within such a system? Why is he, like, ask... Yeah, what's with the questions? Why is... what? Who, who told... Who told Sokushis Ergala... That I that I that I should f answer the questions to generate my class. No, just let me fucking pick my stats. Fuck you. I just stop with the questions about the sweet the sweet roll. Fuck off. In that's the been the other part of my last week. It's been vi it's been it's been it's been music. It's been it's been King of the Hill and Doctor Who, and it's been playing fucking uh, uh more modded modded Morrowind, open Morrowind. It's looking beautiful now. It's not like a full upgrade thing but it's looking you know it's looking pretty pristine for a 2003 i don't like it when they, they upgrade the graphics of morrowind to look all fucking bloomy and fan just just make it look a little nice for 2003 that's all you need is like an upscale to the textures or whatever you, you don't you don't need a bunch of fucking extra foofy dandy boy bullshit uk or in your country as an example and anyways speaking of speaking of fantasy island provinces uh, back to this guy from the uk have you looked into it sufficiently that you don't dismiss this as a flight of fancy or a so-called conspiracy theory so-called i aware? mean uh, yeah. i don't know it's such low-hanging fruit it's it's like he's going after like oh they're putting cameras in the street lights and i'm like bro all of our phones can hear every word we say i mean that's yeah maybe they're fucking putting cameras in the street light. i think we're past that i don't know like i think there's a certain degree to which we've all allowed ourselves to just be spied on and we're cool with it i guess we we're all kind of just aware of it and like we don't care that much i guess we've d collectively decided the price to pay for you know, getting sick likes on your on your 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 tweet or whatever. The price the price to pay for that is uh, is uh, is <laughs> is having your phone listen in when you're talking about the video about the SpongeBob skin theory with someone, and then it tells it then it 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 immediately shows you on your fucking YouTube the next time you open the YouTube app, it shows you the SpongeBob skin theory video. You didn't. You didn't want this. You you didn't ask for this, but here you are, a Nazi. Uh, <laughs> it's it's uh, it's yeah. We all we, we've all put up with that. I don't know why the guy's singling out the fucking street lights or whatever, but all right, uh, probably right. Local councils. Yeah, why is he so calm about it? This is a pretty big deal. In the rollout and the creation of this smart grid, this digital surveillance platform that will encompass all aspects of life. 
For those of you that know me know I could come up with a whole raft more questions, but I'm going to refrain from doing that right now and suggest that if you all right are we done with the fucking questions now we're finished with the questionnaire let's 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 move along you have a curious i got a limeware platter to steal fuck off about what is going on and about what the likely impacts will be that you spend the next 30 minutes or so listening to temera explain how she sees things hey, and the research she's done i have spoken briefly with temera and asked if she'd be willing to do an interview with me and I'm hopeful that at some point in the future we'll be able to do so that. the whole rest of this video is just some other lady. Of smart cities right at the end there. Oh, well, good God. Okay, um, uh, uh, sure. German New Medicine, right? This is another one of these weird scam things. This isn't exactly the MMS thing, but it's a thing, it's a... I forget exactly what it is, but I believe Miles Power also looked at it on his channel. Uh, it's another you know, pseudoscientific method by which people supposedly heal themselves of all illnesses uh, and, uh, you know, fill themselves with vim and vigor and gusto and all that snake oil goodness, all that uh, Ni Nigel West Dickens uh, 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 patented tonic goodness. Uh, and, and I don't know, uh, maybe he'll, maybe, but you know, that's just what I've, that's the disinfo I've been taught. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll change my mind. Rob, We're going to revolutionize our health here. So much for taking time out of your life to uh, talk to me today about germ new medicine. I'm really excited about this discussion because I know some, but not a lot. And from our previous chat, I, I really feel confident that you'll be able to give us a kind of high level overview in this initial. Why? Okay. So you see this description here. I first became of German new medicine a couple of years back. Until recently, I had not looked more deeply into it. Robert Jarnian reached out to me recently. Why is uh why is his name got a colon before it? Is it because he's an asshole? I don't know, but both names every time it's not just a little mistake. Every time the name Robert Jarden comes up, or Jardin or whatever. It's, it, there's like a little colon before it. I think maybe it's to like... Maybe they don't want the SEO to find him. He, they don't want the YouTube bots to, to know he's here. Is that what it is? Is that a tactic? I don't know. discussion, And in future discussions, we can dive into more detail if that's all right. Great. Um, oh man, you know, I'm very excited to, 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 to announce that there's been a member for one month and his name is... And he says, had a concussion and not, not a living! <laughs> and have had your stuff on while recovering. I'm certain it has caused further brain damage. <laughs> well, after I just read that, I'm sure it has. Thanks for the wild ride, Claw. You're welcome. I hope you're, uh, hope you're doing better! Uh, if you missed that one stream with the Armageddon song, then you don't, you have no, you have no idea. Uh, also, there's 20 bucks from Aurelius. Not a suggestion, but there's a two hour... Uh, video by a channel called The Platoon where he makes fun of the Barbie movie, which I'm aware that you like. Oh, The Little Platoon. I know the channel. I've watched some of his stuff before. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I do think the movie was pretty good. I don't know. A lot of people... I don't know. A, a lot of people uh, like that Wings of... Uh, what's his name? Wings of Redemption. <laughs> Wings versus Babyface or whatever the fuck. A lot of people like that guy are... Uh, uh, kind of, kind of not into the Barbie movie for the expected reasons, but I don't know, I, I, there's things I don't like about it, certainly, I'd be willing to, you know, hear it out. I don't know if I'd watch it on stream, necessarily, but, uh, I've, you know, I enjoyed his videos about Velma or whatever, um. Anyways, back 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 to it here. Um, yeah. Very much like talking about German new medicine, Adrian. German new medicine. Every opportunity I take. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll hand it over to you, and I may poke in with the odd question if I'm not sure. If not, we'll save some questions till the end, if that's all right. Yeah, th that's fine. But 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 if I'm saying something that sounds not quite on the mark or you don't understand, oh, damn it! and just you stop me and a and ask because th there might be other people as well that uh, need to to hear that question. I think I'll start by just giving the little story of my journey into discovering. I have, and... I have a question, chat. Which buttons? These buttons, they're they're arranged in an order here. Does anybody know which pride flag this is? I think it might be Jamaica. Dr. Hammer's sure, work. Though. I was uh, Doctor Who? studying kinesiology 
Um, and I was at a, a two week. Man, I wish my name was Doctor Hammer. You, you're, you're gonna just settle for like making up a weird scam medicine program allegedly. Let me put the allegedly on screen. This is this feels like an allegedly stream. Yeah, there you go. You're gonna do the weird scam, Doctor Hammer. You're not gonna, you're not gonna go and like, I don't know, fight the Interpol or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, get like a giant super gauntlet and. And Rob Banks, uh, D Dr. Hammer, you you really wasted that opportunity. Uh, seminar in Auckland in New Zealand um, in 2007. And um, at that time, my sister had really aggressive rheumatoid arthritis. Um, and I, I, as a therapist, you know, was trying everything I could, diet and something. And thank God now she is, she's, she's dead. So thank you. Thank you for healing her. And um, affirmations and everything that we could and it basically was making no difference to it at all uh, somebody suggested that i referenced or looked at the work of dr hammer um as there you know he seems to be able to cure pretty much everything so i got home um, and i i read this article that i found on the internet and it was a little bit above my head huh, huh. with a lot of medical terminology and such in it but i i, 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 I read I, through it and i didn't quite understand it and then i fucked my cat for a little bit and i still didn't quite understand it but to get through it and i understood the concept of what it was saying and it was this that the condition that my sister had and every other condition as a matter of fact <laughs> will have Sorry. started at a point in time where the body and the mind or the body and the psyche reacted to a, a, an emotional trauma. I really enjoy this guy's face, guys. <laughs> Are you liking Dr. Hammer over here? I assume this is Dr. Hammer right so here. So armed with little more than that, um, I went, I, I took to um, trying to help my sister and it, it was very quick. We just had a, a walk. Uh, up the river, the river that I showed you actually today, Adrian, we, we just walked up this river half just a mile. walked up this river and I pushed her right in and it was no trouble at all. It was just like you suggested, Doctor, so thank you very much. We were just talking back in, I think it was 2007 as well, and uh, but this time I knew what I was looking for. It's and a very I, good I, image. Luckily, Do you mind if I save this image? Just happened to press the right buttons in my... Lamp oil. Rope. This image. Save it, friend. It's all yours. ...sister, so to speak, and there was an emo a, just a huge emotional outburst. There was there, was, there had been a bit of a... something that had been plaguing her for some 16 Plague years at that her. time. And this was the time where it just all came out. It just... It, it, maybe our spirits or something, our energies had... Somehow, somehow she knew at this time it was the right time for her to really have this outpouring claw you're kind of cringy now what did i do no oh no that's not a funny no it's not a fun no no it's not it's no what do you mean i'm cringy now what did i do oh you just practice german new medicine don't you and tell tell of these emotional truths so she did that tell your truth the aggressive rheumatoid arthritis cleared up right away and to me that was Jaw dropping. Is this guy yeah. a user or a user? I don't know. He's talking about this weird scam thing. I don't know if this guy's all that interesting necessarily. I had him saved because, you know, he talks about some woo woo bullshit. Uh, you know, what is this law or legal? What if the sun and the stars are electric in nature? Okay. Okay. Is there anything particularly stupid here? Because that sounds kind of dumb. Um, why is bank fraud not exposed? What? Why we get screwed by the banking system? Oh boy! Oh, that's never been that's never been a good stepping stone to any good topics, frankly. Your silence implies what? Uh oh! There's a video called "Your Silence Implies Consent." Ugh, I don't think it's talking about that. Archive.org and the Wayback Machine. There's a video about that for some reason. He has a lot of videos about a lot of fucking things. Connecting the dots. Why are they doing this? You know, this video is two minutes long. I wonder if this will connect the dots for us. What's this? Why are they doing this? This is from two years. This is from three years ago. It has hashtag reset in the description. So I, I guess it's one of those. Hi, 
Hi there, and welcome to another episode. I was going to do a video for you about joining the dots and where I see this going. Joining uh, the which dots. Which I'm absolutely convinced, and I have been for some time now, that this is a Marxist or communist takeover of the West uh, en masse and has been very carefully planned out for a very, very <sighs> long time. We got some new Sonic Sega Gamer, huh? Uh, I could take a look at it at least briefly. Uh, if they're... If they're really that wild, then I'll see. We'll we'll see. I don't want to make every stream. I don't. I don't want to make every stream a dedicated Sonic Sega Gamer Power Hour. You know, I don't want. I contrary to what he thinks that I'm like a hater or whatever. I you know I've talked about him, but I don't know if there's anything particularly funny. His his goons have his ten year old goon squad has continued to like show up on comment sections pertaining to my videos and whatnot and uh it, it's 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 getting concerning it starts to feel like they're from what i saw one of them it was sort of like they they the little kids are being blamed by this guy now for for like me and the alan sampson user in chat uh who who archives some of his videos uh uh we're we are we are now being the little kids that he that are friends with him are now being blamed for like me like looking at him on stream or something like that like they like they feel like their friendship is going to be in danger and they're going to be you know it's it's and it's and it's all because of me or something so uh very concerning stuff we we'll, we'll, we might look at some of that but for now we got to learn about the the communist takeover this is a one thing at a time people one thing at a time the west on mass and has been very carefully planned out for a very very long time they seem to be doing all sorts of uh, little tests like in wales with the lockdown what they did in victoria or continue to do in victoria and australia um, the enforced quarantine in new zealand in the quarantine camps and this will continue unless it is brought to an end now as I said, I was going to do a video about that, and then I found an excellent video that has been done by Computing Forever. If you've not watched any of his content, I would encourage you to pop across there and have a look once you've watched this one. He does extraordinary research and has a very nice way of putting things across. So with that in mind, it should... He does have a J.O. crystal, that's right. I'm also trying to figure out what this, like, plectrum is that he has. Uh, also around his neck, it looks like some kind of, it's like a, it's like a guitar pick shape with like a weird, like brass inlay or something. I'm not sure. It's, it's, it seems kind of nice, whatever it is. It's like a dog tag. I, I don't know. Could pop up here and play, um, or you can click it to play rather. Somebody if... says this guy is old and stupid. Well, y you know, uh... <laughs> Listen, we are more than some bored teenagers, yeah. Uh, but, you know, uh, yeah, I would agree, though. <laughs> I would agree. This guy's kind of boring and old and stupid. Uh, you didn't even say boring, but I'm, amend I'm appending boring to that. Uh, there is a video, though, called Is 2020 a Global Rerun of 1980s HIV slash 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 pandemic and uh I, I, that's there um i i think that's fine though uh this guy yeah he he's a he's a pseudoscience shiller he's a woo uh sa salesman and uh and uh you know we might we're, we're probably gonna take a look at some more like that i do want to look at some uh, we'll, we'll look at some of the sonic sega gamer stuff though because i know that that's always that's always fun he apparently said he was gonna delete his channel today like apparently today he was uh, his channel is no more as of today except it is it's still here uh it's still here and i think yeah it's the it's it's alan sampson i think who has the re-uploads uh yeah we got them all from a couple minutes ago jesus christ uh, the Sonic Sega Gamer updates and finishing up my videos before break VR chat hangout re-upload. The Sonic Sega Gamer Super Mario Logan is making fun of Dragon Ball Z fans and other stuff re-upload. And then the- and then this one. VR chat rampage the Sonic Sega Gamer 
Darkness Twilight and Meta, Ga Meta Night Gamer VR loses their insanity. Well, good for them. Ha I'm happy to hear that. Um, uh, which one is the one? Which is the funny one? What's the D? Okay, 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 okay. Hang on. He made a stream getting angry and saying he will delete his channel. Was that the DBZ one? Was that the... You're saying it's the DBZ... I think this his mind and spirit may have been broken a little bit. His mind and or spirit may... I don't know. Uh, somebody, somebody says, I'm the funny one, Claw. I'm the purple one. I make all the rules. I can't do the Tinky Winky voice. He deleted that one. Oh, you didn't get that one? Oh, well, what fucking good are you then? No, it's, uh, that's fine. We'll look at, uh, well, well, I don't know. I guess we should do Super Mario Logan. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that, we, it always comes, no matter what, I can't quit Super Mario Logan. It always comes back to him. I don't know. We'll look at a little bit of this. I don't know. I don't know how interesting it'll be. <sighs> guys, I didn't want to make this video, guys. This is an interesting topic to talk about. Uh -huh. No one's ever requested a video. So he says at the end he rages. Uh, at the end of this video, this stream. I guess he ra he rages a bit. I, I want to see a little of the beginning at least, too. Yeah, the, an hour 39 in. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <sighs> What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? This is the Sonic City Gamer. What's and, up, bro? And today... There's been a topic I want to talk about for a while now. And from what I could tell, this is hard to explain. Let me see. Use your words. I've seen some people who are still going after Super Mario Logan because of the whole, uh, well, you know, autisms and stuff, and yeah. And stuff, yeah. But this isn't about autism. This. this is about this one thing that really ticks me off. So today, after I got done eating lunch, because um, I had some leftover Thanksgiving food, I was watching a video of SML, and basically, for what I heard, it was a video called Jeffy Ball C. And for what I could tell, oh my god, why is it always Jeffy? Holy shit! It always fucking comes back to Jeffy. Ah, oh, these fucking people. Why do they all watch this? I can't fucking believe it. And, you know, I know there's the people in chat who are like, Well, it was pretty good at the beginning. Fuck off. I don't give a shit. Why do they all watch it? They all watch it. They're all huge fans, but also hate it, but have an encyclopedic knowledge of every fucking episode of it and how much they hate Jeffy and detailed reasoning for why they hate Jeffy. They, they, they're all like this. Fuck. I could tell that... El Jefe. Well, I could tell that Logan Thuriker and his stupid friends are making fun of oh. the Dragon Ball Z fans. Right, right, right. Uh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, we do need the... Yeah. But we can't, we can also get rid of the allegedly. There you go. Um, yeah, that's fine. And other stuff. Not just only that, but they'll, I think they're also making fun of the Dragon Ball Z fans for both Japan as well. Uh -huh. Are you mocking them? I don't know. Somebody says, why is this two hours long? <laughs> I couldn't talk about this for fucking... Uh, like, uh, Super Mar What did he make a joke in, like, one video about, like... M oh, we're gonna watch, I guess. Mommy! Mommy! Oh my yeah, god, look at these fucking people. They have their cameras on. The the little kids that are friends with this guy all have their cameras on and their puppets. They're all playing with their puppets for puppet face cam. Because it's not the little kids who are there, it's the puppets that they control. Jesus Christ. Don't mess with me, Jeffy. This kid has clothes. Don't mess here. with me, Jeffy. Easy. Attached attach to me and Mario, come at us. Come at us, Jeffy. Oh my god. This is what it's like to be dead. 
totally makes sense. Right, it's gonna be all right here. I'm gonna get him because Wednesday's my room. Gonna be like he's being on Yeah, Mario's gonna punch Jeff. Ace Jagger is punching the screen. Mario's punching. They're not happy about this one, boys. Shit out of that Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. Ding, 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 All right, see ya. Ding, 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 ding. They think this is racism. Why? What's what? Because he has the gi. Is that racist? Like seriously. Mario. Oh, is Mario this, wins. Is this is this like is this like cultural appropriation or something? Yeah. Hey guys, you can Mario still hear the video, happy. right? I can still hear it, Sonic. Yeah. Weird. This Jeffy Ball Z, this is a ripoff of Dragon Ball Z. Like, seriously, I don't. Okay, so yeah, when he said the name of it earlier, I heard Jeffy Ball Z. I didn't put it in my head that it was supposed to be Jeffy Ball Z. Um, but yeah, he uh, it's, it's Je Jeffy Ball. That's the name of it. Um, great, good. Here's a, it's just oh, a joke. No, no it's not a joke. It can be dead serious. Kakarot, you're making fun. It's not a joke. The Kakarot. Japanese people, fan too. They're making fun of the Japanese people. Which part is making fun of them? I can I agree with you with that, Kakarot. Yeah, thanks, Vegeta. Yeah, Vegeta heard you loud and clear. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, the wolf, the the wolf, the werewolf girl, the little werewolf here is which right. Which one of the spastics is talking? I can't what tell. The, what the heck? First, okay, okay. Pause the video. First of all, first of all. Jeffy is not is not stronger than. Two Go books from Paige Hernandez. I'm autistic, but damn. Thank you. Either Goku, Jiren, or any other in, in any other the Dragon Ball villain. Singles for Broly, even though Broly is a good guy. What? Darkest Twilight. And get now, Vegeta here. I'm fucking talking about. Uh, Joseph just Joseph just uh, uh quotes. It's over nine thousand. Are you kidding me? Ah! Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Somebody just keeps saying Kakarot. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is um, this is that. great. I'm, I'm you know, go. you know. Are you guys happy? Like, so people keep going. Like, why is this two hours long? Aren't you happy that there's two hours of this though? Think about that. More like Jeffy. More like Jeffy Rot. Oh! Goku. And really, Jeffy? I don't think so. Guys, did you hear that? He said Kakarot. More like Jeffy Rot. That's. That's that's real. To be fair, you have to have a pretty high IQ to understand that joke. Oh my god! Oh my yeah. god! Anyways, I'm gonna be mute now. Yeah, you do that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to my. I'm gonna go back to to my dorm. Wednesday. Wednesday's probably waiting for me. Uh. God. Why did you skip 51 minutes? Because, fucking. The first majority of this was not them actually. I did skip a little ways into the actual show, I guess, the thing they're watching. But it becomes a fucking reaction video at, at, for this this period, and I wanted to see this part. Although for that for that matter, what's it like here when they're just all on camera and they're not reacting? Sonic Sega Gamer has his little Funko Pop. Not Goku. the only thing. He even made fun of Kirby and Pac-Man. Oh my god, he made fun of Pac-Man?! What the fuck?! HOW COULD YOU FUCKING DO THAT?! I mean, what's next? Are they gonna make fun- Did- Did you even see Pac-Man in the ghostly shadows or whatever that horrible cartoon they made?! God, he's been through enough, goddammit! Goddammit! One of my wife and Luigi and my brother's life- wife- What?! <laughs> That's absolutely- you can't make fun of the pack, that's whack. That's absolutely whack. And not just that, the next part is gonna be on the Android Saga. No. Oh no. my. Well. Fun me, like that, also making fun of my white hole thing. Oh we'll be back God. soon, don't hey guys. worry. Hey guys. Hey, hey guys. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, guys, guys. Right, guys, wait, guys. Wait. wait, wait, what is he doing? It's me, Pac-Man. I heard the whole thing. I know what most Guys, it's Pac-Man! Making fun of me, like that. Also making fun of my wife who got bought by App Game Studios. Miss Pac-Man? That is not cool at all. That makes me so freaking angry. You know? So this is... This is just a Zoom call of... A man-child... At least one man-child, maybe more, and some actual children. 
playing pretend with action figures. That's what's happening now. I'm I'm amazed by that. That's like a new a new genre uh, uh, unlocked. This is this this hurts to watch. Yes. Hands off his wife. Holding Namco mas mascot. Isn't he twenty eight? He sure is. Um. I swear, if I'm at Logan. I'm just gonna eat I'm pretty it. sure Darkness Twilight is also an adult. Stuffy Kaiju Kid 2005, I guess, is his year, and then Ace Jagger is like 10 to 12 years old or something. That was the that was the kid that he told. That was the kid who we had to ban from this chat room because he showed up to defend Super Mar Super Mario fuck ass or whatever, uh, Sega Sonic Sega fuck ass, and uh, we were all just like, little child, listen, you are being manipulated by this old man, and all he said was. Oh, and then we were just like, "All right, now you're banned because it's because you're you're like 12." Bye. Um, so he's here though. So yeah, this is not it's not a great situation. Eat his entire house after eat a giant pellet or a golden pellet and eat him. And F Fuzo, I specifically told you. I think what was the quote that I said? You were talking about doing Streamyard uh, for the for the podcast, and uh, and I said something like. It was uh you you were you were talking about about figuring that out, and uh, fuck what what was it? Oh god, oh god! It was like a few days ago now. I guess never mind. Shit. Yeah, no, I just said something like, yeah, I fucking if 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 fucking uh the the oh yeah, it, I hear it is if Shrek and Mario fan two thousand six can figure it out, we can. So so yeah, this if listen if. If the Sonic and Shrek Gamer 2006 Extreme YouTube uh, 420 can can get on Streamyard, I have a feeling that we can figure it out, and it'll it'll behoove us to do so. Shit, chop him to death! I don't care. I wanted to look that up because I it was a, I wanted specifically to remember the name because it's very important to remember the name of these these folks. And I mean, so, th to be fair, the only one here that's like that in this video is the Sonic Sega Gamer. You know, Darkness Twilight is just like a fucking edgelord name, Ace is whatever, and Stuffy Kaiju Kid 2005 is also not good, but I really like this, like, American flag Ethan Ralph face that he has for a, a, an icon. That's, that's really great. That's, that's Logan, great. you just got too far. Do you see me happy now? you see me go? Let me give you an example. This that's is not happy. This is, this is not happy. He's upside down now, so it's a it's a frown, not a smile. Uh, yes, check out Loud Equals Funny podcast on all the platforms. It's on all the platforms. We had Ken Icarus on recently for four hours. It was great. I hope you enjoy. And a map face. You know why? Because you made it personal. You made it personal. Not only. Not only. Okay. Not only. Not only. You made it funny, but you made it personal. Oh, by the way. I don't know if you actually mentioned this other partner, but uh, do I have to bring him here? Go no, get him. I don't him. think it's a good idea. No. I was going to bring Banjo ooh, 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 Joe here, but he doesn't want to be part of it, so that's fine. You made but fun of Banjo. Logan? They made fun of Banjo? What the fuck? How, how is that even possible? Logan, for the egg How is that? Not Prince Duffy. Prince Stuffy, how, how do Prince you know? Stuffy. Look at me for a banjo. I, I need proof for that. Prince Stuffy, listen, you gotta, you gotta hear, you gotta listen to reason, Prince Stuffy. Come on. Uh, well, not only that, he even made fun of Link. <laughs> Link. Link. Me that he made fun of. Uh, let me no. see. He made fun of uh, all the Smash no. characters, other video game characters. What's Is he it? trying to do like a Mario accent? He made fun of uh, all the Smash no. characters. He made the fun of all the Smash characters. Other video game characters. What's next? Is he gonna make fun of Olimar? Is he gonna make fun Olimar. of Olimar? Peach? Toad? Well, Toad? Uh, Is he going to make fun of Toad? Oh my god! Oh my various gods! Huh? Oh god, Banjo did show up. Yay, everyone is here. He said that he's he promised he'd never be back, but now he's back on his feet and he's healing the world with jiggies. I don't want to be part of this, but yeah, I heard the whole thing. I heard the whole thing. I heard the whole thing. 
So Logan's making fun of me, a rare work character I was once a legend to you guys, to Nintendo, and this happens. Are you kidding me? I'm making fun of Banjo. Oh my god, Banjo. No, Banjo. No, no. Chill out. What? No Banjo, way. chill out. There was no reason to, to bring up the blacks. Look, me and yeah, Kazoo- What are you even talking about? I didn't say- What's going on? Now, okay? By the way, it's great to see you again, Mario. I hope we'll face each other in Smash. <laughs> I need some time and, I mean, I was the first character. What is? Uh, so these are all supposed to be like. They're like God. They're just. It's just a grown adult playing pretend. Like, oh Jesus Christ! I mean, I knew that it was like not a good situation, but but watching this happen, I mean, it's the. You can just picture the grown ass man that we've seen before, the, who ranking his twelve year old wife who's like sitting in a room with these other kids just playing pretend with toys and just uh man not good it's not great so we're gonna jump ahead to uh oh yeah the stream got suspended for a little bit for some reason i guess he was watching mario logan uh i was told to jump to an hour 39 here we are Sorry, by youtube as long it as doesn't... i show sure screen to slug kids videos instead you know it doesn't yeah. matter who it doesn't matter who it belongs to it will still be the same because you're um getting a copyright for it when this is yours mm. yeah listen th <sighs> i know that you don't care and this is your live stream yada 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 etc blah 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 oh, but no. you will get and your full on drop. live stream copyrighted or most likely instead of damn instead of instead of yeah. listening to yourself listen to me and ace Listen yeah, to me. I don't know. want to listen to you though. Your mic sounds like you're giving it a blowjob. Or whoever, a, or anybody else who agrees. We're just trying. Listen, I know you understand. Listen, I know that your microphone looks tempting, but it's actually not supposed to be used as a suppository. I don't think you understand, but we're just trying to not get you to not make this live stream like the same thing it had before. Wow, this is the, you know, it's actually impressive what they were able to piece together using a, using just info from the Hubble telescope. They made that guy's entire audio right there. It's, 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 it sounds terrible, but it's actually quite impressive. It so, could, your live stream could get another copyright. Your live stream could get a copyright claim for this, for, um, for this, because of whatever. I don't care about the copyright claims! I fucking hate YouTube's oh. decisions! I hate YouTube's... Fucking decisions! You understand? This whole pepper game right. is fucking stop one day! I'm oh boy! Alright, bro. Hey, Logan hey, needs to go check! Let me handle it. Let me handle it. Okay, Sonic, calm yeah. down. Sonic, Listen, calm down! Calm down. Listen, Sonic. There's nothing to be oh mad God. about. It's okay to be mad, but you don't have to play a copyrighted video on your stream. Oh, you can no, get your stream no, against no, the spend it again. Okay. Oh, no, no, man, not again, man. I can't take it again, man. No. Hey, YouTube, again. we get it. YouTube needs to stop doing that, but it is what I it is. I love the fucking the, this this like. This fucking 12-year-old is telling the grown 28-year-old man, like, You need to settle down! You're acting crazy! This is stupid! You need to... This is ridiculous. This is Sonic. Oh, it no. really has to be. Mom, Dad, please I stop fighting! I think he's... Throwing this I don't even want to interfere. Yeah, We're not point. trying to take I, I on... Know. Listen, me and Ace are not... Mad or anything. Just listen to me and Curry or it's known as Speed. We're not trying to make- we're not listen trying to- Listen to me and- wait, what? Just listen to me and Curry, or is known as Speedy. Or is known as Speedy. What the fuck? We're not trying to make- we're not trying to take YouTube's side. We're just trying to help you so you don't get in trouble. Yeah, we're trying because... to help you, man. You know, you say that, Kirby Gaming 69 Gumball, but your microphone is currently located inside YouTube headquarters, and we can still hear you from- from your house, which is actually quite impressive, but, you know... Because there's consequences... I think that says a lot about your character. There's good consequences and bad consequences, and you're gonna get the bad consequences. There are no such thing as good consequences and bad consequences, there are just consequences! I'm getting out of here. Dude, we're just trying to help you like we always been. I, know I gotta go take a nap, man. I know you're trying to help him, but this is my fault. There is no way. This it's nobody... Listen, no, it's nobody's fault. Don't sweat. I know. Stop. I know. Stop her. Don't blame yourself. It's nobody's fault. 
It's no one's fault, man. We're just trying to warn him. Truth or consequences? Oh God! Okay, so yeah, I started. I watched in the uh, the Capaldi. What is it? The second Capaldi season. Uh, there was the episode, uh, the the two parter with the Zygons, and they go to Truth or Consequences. I think New Mexico or whatever. And I just love that they found. They were as enamored with the name of that town as Joel was when he found it that one stream, and he just kept going, Truth or Consequences! And <laughs> so they made an entire episode about aliens who craft an entire plot based around the, ter the term Truth or Consequences, and the Doctor has a whole secret mystery box based upon the, 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 t the town in fucking New Mexico called Truth or Consequences. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's incredibly stupid. I love it. We gotta warn you too, Stuffy. It's because because since Osmo whatever, he's gonna get a he's gonna get in trouble for it like it did before. So so listen to me, Sonic. Do you want that to happen? Do you want your live stream to get suspended again? You get and play an SML rant video that is perfectly copyrighted. This is such a funny dynamic, because they were all here watching the video. And they were all fine with it. And then now, like, just, like, I don't know, it was like, it's like less than an hour later, and they're all trying to, like, calm down Sonic Sega Gamer as he's having a tantrum. Uh, and explain to him that he can't do the thing they were all just doing. Uh, okay, uh, what a what a strange. I I just it's so it's very strange. We get you don't care. We get you're not. We get you don't care, and we get you're all mad and stuff. But we're just trying to give you a warning. Like we're trying to give you a fair warning, and then meanwhile you're over here just saying it's my live stream. I don't care. Uh, fr frick YouTube's rules. Blah blah blah, etc. <laughs> but we're not trying to make you mad or anything. Thank okay, God. I'm paranoid. God, YouTube... But please don't think we're trying to take you. Troll face over here is having a real rough time right YouTube now. YouTube side or troll face. We're not. We're not. Troll calm down, we're troll not face. Against or anything. We're just okay, trying to help face. you. Just all right. Down. Chillax. And troll I face. It's, it's, yes, you're... the Sonic Sega gamer, the sussy 28 year old user, is the one who is uh, got the very small forehead who kept saying that he wanted to show like Misty and Toph a good time and treat them right uh and uh and among, among other things he told Ace here to kill himself in a VR chat game he has an ongoing feud with somebody named Teen Boy 2K7 so you know I mean this guy is a user among users I mean he's not quite as flashy as someone like Dead Six but he's He's really, he's really trying his best, you know. This, thinking, isn't, this isn't dogs eating dog six. This is users eating users right here. It's your fault. It's not. Just... No, it's not that. It's just usually what? it's because. Wait, Ace. Okay, a pair of this. Wait, how long ago? How? Okay, Alan Sampson in chat says Ace told Sonic Sega Gamer. Oh, yeah, I'm taking suggestions. Go for it. Uh, that he looks like Eric Cartman and he can go fuck himself. How long ago was that? Was that before this? Was that before this stream? Because wasn't this just recent? I thought this was just recent. I don't know. That happened this morning? Fucking... You'll never, you'll never see, you'll never it, see it coming. I forgot to add the thing to the soundboard where it was uh, actually Sonic Sega Gamer. Uh, singing that and it was it sounded as good as you imagine um but uh wow this morning wow so sonic sega gamer is is like he's done the the empire has crumbled to not to nothing fucking stunning events usually when, uh -oh. okay you know, as okay this one should be okay because it's not a youtube video but i don't think you should show that either because of whatever because YouTube yeah, doesn't think, like because YouTube because, we kept because, not because we YouTube doesn't Morgan like the and all the stupid fans. Guys, guys, make, make me angry and I will get angry. All right, dude, calm down. He's trying to play us a uh, rage sound effect of the planet exploding to show how mad he is about them 
He like queued it up and everything. You really have to appreciate this. How we like we go over here and it's because usually when, uh -oh. okay, you know, as, uh -oh. okay, this one should be okay because it's not a YouTube video. People are like freaking out because he's showing a video again. Somebody goes, uh oh, but he's showing this to demonstrate how angry he is. But I don't think you should show that either because you of shouldn't show whatever. it either. Whatever, guys. Because YouTube yeah. doesn't. But and all the stupid fans. guys, guys, you're gonna make me angry. Guys, I queued up this video. I won't do it. I won't. Do it. Yeah, I know. He kind of cuts off a bit there. His mic didn't like that, but. But we know right, that he's dude. angry. He, we know that he's angry because the planet exploded again. Eggman pissed on the moon, and some one of the twelve-year-olds is telling him to calm down again. This is really a good video. Calm down. This is a great video. Oh, hang on, I'll handle this. It's over nine thousand. Oh yeah, we'll watch the Tamir video Listen too. Listen to me, Sonic. Do you want your live stream to get suspended? Listen to me, Sonic. L Listen to me, Sonic. This is, it, the names these people choose for themselves, like, it's just so funny. They try to have conversations, and it's like, Kirby Gaming 69, shut the hell up! Darkness Twilight, you can go eat a bag of dicks! Troll face and stuffy kaiju kid, why don't you guys go fucking get married if you love each other so much? Fuck you! So don't play any other copyrighted video that exists on the internet. Don't play any copyrighted video. Well, that's not... Again, the, they, they really don't know the way this works, do they? Like, a lot of people play videos from fucking Super Mario Logan. That's not how it works. I mean, yeah, your stream can sometimes be suspended automatically for shit like that, and it's really... Because that's what happened here, and he's having... He's basically... This is basically the Sonic Sega Gamer equivalent, this stream, of whenever I try to do, like... Like, the time I tried to do a Mr. Beast stream... And watch Mr. Beast, and then like a video or two in, the stream kept getting suspended for copyright stuff. And I had to pivot it into a different thing for that stream. Um, and I was like me, I was very frustrated. I was like, ah, oh, flim and flam and fuck this. Um, and that's this whole stream is he, he wanted to watch Dragon Ball Z. Well, he wanted to watch... Je Super Mario, Logan, and Jeffy making, you know, making light of Japanese people, but then he got his stream suspended, and they came back, and he started to have some real problems, and, uh, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just marveling at the fact that this whole thing is really just over the fact, because it's just a very, it's not like a channel, it's not like a full, like, copyright strike, like your whole channel has been you know, one out of three strikes or anything like that. No, it's just a suspend. It's just like a brief little stream suspension. It's very frustrating when it happens, you know, and you're trying to show, and then people start leaving because they don't understand that that doesn't mean the stream's over and that it'll be back in like a few minutes. Um, but you know, uh, that that's it's frustrating, but it's also not a huge deal. But he's having this whole panic attack and meltdown. And queuing up rage sound effects and having to ha having his his comfort twelve year olds give him emotional support just like pixie locks and and uh, and and it's all over this thing that happens like and and it's it's like a brief annoyance that doesn't really affect your channel in any big way it's it's actually quite impressive how 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 big of a deal this is over nothing. Oh, yeah. You wanted to. Well, thank you for uh, showing that I apparently can't watch Super Mario Logan on stream. So, if I ever wanted to do that, I can't do that. Um, that's unfortunate. But I also never really wanted to do that. So that's 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 fortunate. That's fortunate. Been... Mm, he's having a mental breakdown again. I'm and having I'm paranoid. Another... I'm gonna I'm gonna start throwing dishes. I'm going. Fucking nuts! Ah! And I'm I know, very I know. mad. Ah! The age keeps doing this. I don't know what to do. I, I... look, I dude. Know look, troll face. Troll face. Calm it's down. okay. Please. It's okay. And troll face, like I said, I don't think you should show that either because of whatever. Because YouTube doesn't like domestic Oof. violence. They're gonna lose Hold their on. insanity. Oos, calm down. Wait, ex say that again. I'm sorry. It's okay. And pro face, like I said, I don't think you should show that either because of whatever. Because YouTube doesn't like domestic Oof. violence. What was it the troll face said he was gonna do? And I'm I know, very I know. mad. I'm mad. The keeps doing this. 
I don't know what to do. I, I look, I dude. Know your look. Parent, troll face. Troll face, down, it's okay. Please. Troll face, it's okay. And troll face, like I said, I don't think you should show that either because of what. what, he, what show what? I don't know what he was gonna show, but YouTube doesn't like domestic violence, so so he can't show it. Whatever it was, I don't know. Because YouTube what doesn't the like fuck? domestic violence. He's gonna morb! Ooze, calm down. It's, it's not violence. Please calm down, Ooze. Domestic terrorism, maybe? I, which one? I don't know which one of those just happened, but... but I'm very... Fr I'm I'm very traumatized. I'm asking you nicely. And oh boy, whoop de do. Watch this, he's gonna have a mental breakdown. <laughs> I think Ace... I think Ace is talking about Sonic Sega Gamer there. And he's like... Again, he's getting fed up with 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 Sonic's shit. He's getting he's getting fed up with the the twenty eight year old's shit and being like, oh boy, it's here we go again. Unless he's talking about troll face, I I can't tell. But knowing that Ace has now decided to call Sonic Sega Gamer uh, real life Cartman and and told him to to fuck off or whatever. Yeah, you know, and good for him, frankly. I don't know if that kid's here watching or anything, because he was here the last time we did this, but it's good for you. Stay away from that user. Stay away from the Sonic Sega user. Get the fuck away from him. Get all of your friends away from him. And it's not because he's... I'm not trying to, like, ruin his life. It's because any... all. Okay, let me say this. Get anybody that you know who's under the age of 18 away from that man. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You know what? Sadly, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm gonna, what? I'm gonna delete my channel. I'm done. I'm what? Done this whole no. Thing, what? I'm done no. 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 What? No. What? What? No. What? I'm deleting my YouTube channel, okay? No. I'm deleting every day. Fuck everything says for this fucking world. I fucking hate Logan. Yeah. We were trying. To we're really, we're really jumping between the emotions quickly oh, here. It sucks. We got it. We were trying to give you a We're just trying to. Oh, oh, Goodbye! 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 Oh my god, he's gone. This user has left the chat, everybody. Oh my god. He, he's gone. Yay. And now we have to deal with the aftermath as the as he's gone and they're all, what are they all going to say? This is exciting. We're just trying to help. <laughs> Guys. Guys. Guys, guys, oh he's mad. Guys, he's mad because he doesn't understand about YouTube because he thinks he can just make talk live him. streams. No, li listen, oh my Stuffy, God. Ace, Trophase, Darkness, listen. He's only upset because he doesn't understand what YouTube can do because there's consequences. Like he could get, he could get reported for doing that. Like a con hey, you don't understand how YouTube works either, son. Settle down. You're right, strike for it or something. You yeah. cannot get a copyright strike unless Super Mario Logan and his legal team and whatever fucking go out of their way to copyright strike him. That's not what they're they're different things. Son. Was showing. How does he because, not uh, understand the laws? Because he was showing he was showing it without permission. <laughs> or he was. Oh, I'm sure he comes back. Yeah, it's gonna be like a five minute dip, and then he when does he come back? Oh, does he not? Oh, I think he does. I think he does at some point here. Yeah, he does. He does for a little bit, at least. Yeah. For a, l a little short time, he comes back toward the end. Yeah, okay. Get whip out without putting... He pulled putting... out his anger, bro. He pulled out his like, anger. I get, I get he hates... I get he hates SML, but, like, he needs to understand that... That there's... That you could get in very big trouble because you didn't put the creator's name and, um... In the description. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, they really think that's how it works. Oh, oh wow, it's just like that it's just like that fucking time when we were doing um what well, what was it? it was the it was the Astro Boy rant about anime cat boy or whatever. Uh and they were like you didn't credit the music used by the users or whatever and it and and it was just like, that's not, they don't, 
They don't care that you say in the description what it is. That's not going to change anything. But, oh my god, they actually think that. Jesus fucking Christ, this is frustrating to listen to. Because you got... Jokers on the left of me. Fucking uh, Sonic Sega Gamer having a chimp out over this thing that, like, doesn't matter that much. And he leaves and everybody's making fun of him and getting fed up with his bullshit. And then, jerk offs to the right. You've got all these fucking clowns like, oh, he's just mad he doesn't understand that the YouTube robot aliens will smite you if you do. That's not the way it fucking works. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Mm. Dude, I and might have to talk to him and get and it's a not, call after this. And it's not Super Mario Logan I need to get anymore. Out of it's, right now. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. It's not it's not Super Mario Logan no more. It's Super it's Super Marvin. Super Logan. Marvin, right, right. He changed the name. Who is this fucking actually disinfo shill, this fucking Kirby gaming guy? It's like, uh, actually, it's not Super Mario Logan. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. What is wrong with you? Shut up. Nobody gives a shit. I'm sorry. I don't I don't mean to be so harsh, but like, who... who ca Oh, they, they changed the name, by the way. You're saying it wrong. Shut the fuck up. I mean, it's surprising that that like th actually went into a mental breakdown and now he's gonna delete it's super murder logarius yeah full on channel now like we were trying to give him a fair warning and then this happens mm. holy crap i feel sorry for this ace kid and like he's gonna grow up eventually and just look back on all of this and be like wow i was like friends with this like 28 year old man who was having a mental breakdown he was the least he was by far the least mature of the group of fucking children that he was friends with and 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 we had to all calm him down and just like you know you're like 20 or whatever and you you reflect on that and you're like wow i had a i had a weird time when i was a kid yeah that sonic sega gamer situation was whack yeah yeah i forgot about that huh we were trying to give you a fair warning. You don't have to go through a mental breakdown. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, no, no, I can't, no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. I am paranoid. Hi, yeah. I am paranoid. I love this troll face guy who just chimes in every now and then to be like, I'm going crazy over here. Oh god. Calm down, I, amigo. I, I'm having troubles. Yeah, I'm, I'm having I'm having problems. Holy crap! See, I knew this would happen. Oh my, holy crap! <laughs> I knew it was gonna keep going on. No, no, I'm going. Holy crap! Wait, holy wait, wait, crap! Up. He's typing in the comments. He's typing, He's in, typing the comments. in the comments. I'm going to talk um, to Nick. Damn. Down. We don't get the chat on this one. That's a shame. Okay, everyone say we were trying to... Okay, listen, TH. We were trying to give you a fair warning to not... like. I don't think... Listen, video. guys. I don't think... I don't think he's in the thing no more. It doesn't matter what you say. I don't think he's in the thing no more. I gotta go talk to Nick. I'm sorry. I have to go. I'm, no. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta go make some calls and, and plan for a few things. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Please, be well. God be with you. And I feel paranoid. I'm paranoid! I'm gonna die! Oh, God! What is he paranoid about? Does he know what paranoia is? Are you a grown-up and know what that word means? Or did you just hear that and think that it sounds cool and want to want to say that you're paranoid? I'm, I'm paranoid! Oh! He keeps saying it. Um, but listen, guys, I don't know. I don't know what to do for him. He, I, he just, he doesn't understand YouTube more than we. Than I me know, and I know, do. but he's still my friend. He's gotta understand that, that YouTube, that YouTube is different and all. He's gotta understand YouTube is different. Um, Claw, why are we paying attention to children, my man? <laughs> It's because Super Mario Sonic Gamer Man left. He left the call in a fit of rage and abandoned the call to these children. And now we're watching the 
the, 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 the results we're watching. And I don't think they're all children. We know Ace is, and there's, like, at least another one here who sounds like he's probably pretty young, but, like, I don't know. I think the troll, like, troll face guy... I know Darkness Twilight is a grown-up, and I don't think he's said too much of anything so far. He's been, like, kind of quiet, I think. Uh, and he, we looked at his channel, and he's, like, in his 20s or something. So there's a few people here who are still adults. And, yeah, this whole situation is just, it's a very, it's a very sussy user situation. First you I have a mental breakdown, then he has a mental breakdown, fuck! Stuffy, stuffy, fuck. stuffy, yeah. it's stuffy, it's okay. That's what people are. Like, we I are get, I get, I get, I get, Stuffy, have a Snickers, you're not you and you're hungry. He's our friend and all, but he's just, he doesn't down. understand, he, I don't know if he understands about consequences. Because of because of YouTube's copyright strikes, because people report them or the creator reports this them. This Kirby gaming guy thinks he knows so much about like YouTube copyright or whatever. And, like you, know, you, 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 you need to stop talking like you know these things, sir. I, I, I apparently he's also a child. So okay, son, you need to. You don't- that's not- that's not the situation. Yes, copyright works in a certain way, but that's not what happened here. He's fine. His channel is fine. The only fucking person that is making a big deal about this is him. His channel's fucking fine. It gives him a short little slap on the wrist and, like, the stream is paused for a little bit and then he comes back. We've had this happen on my stream before. And, and yet they're all talking of the, no, 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 if he streams it again, it's going to be the end of your chant. No, it won't. It won't. Not unless, like, some real shit happens. I don't think that's the case, but he sure thinks that. We're going to jump ahead to, uh, where is it here? Where is the part where Sonic Sega Gamer returns? He comes back. He has returned. I, I have zero words. <laughs> Hey, pal. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just uh, going through a lot of mental breakdown, but you're right. If I keep raging on YouTube, I'm pretty much going to lose a lot of subs, a lot of friends. Pretty much. Pretty much Basically, I'm going to lose subscriber. If this user keeps posting cringe, this user will definitely lose subscriber. Lose what I love to do so much. And I don't want that. But you know, you know what? If this continues. I don't want to say something about the whole suicide thing, but if this continues, oh, no. I'm afraid I'm going to have to take my own well, life. Whoa, well, whoa, well, guys. Bullying can lead to sewer slide. I love the way he phrases this. This is such a great... This is not the first time that he said he was going to kill himself, by the way. And he's had his army of 12-year-olds, like, come... No! 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 Don't! You know, um... Uh, it's not the first time he's done that. What I love to do so much, and I don't want that. Uh -huh. But you know, you know what? If this continues, I don't want to say something about the whole suicide thing. But if this I don't want to say something about the suicide thing. Continues, I'm gonna. You afraid, know, as a concept, I'm gonna have to take my own life. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to take my. This is the most roundabout way of describing it. It's like a, a King of the Hill. Uh, spoilers for King of the Hill, season two. Uh, the end of season two, when there's a propane explosion at the Megalomart, and Buckley is is caught in the explosion, and they phrase it as "Buckley is no more," and and it's like just open ended enough until Dale opens the casket and and vomits as a result, seeing what's inside. Uh, it's just open ended enough that you're like, oh, maybe he. What do you mean, no more? I might have to take my own life. Yeah, the suicide situation. It's just. It's, it's, yeah, I don't know. Uh, whatever. It's out. That's out in the open. There. It's a concept. It's it's on the wind. Because I'm tired of these fucking haters. And I don't want to do haters. That. I don't. But they need to. What do you mean the haters? What are you even talking about? He's turned this into a thing about haters now. I thought it was about YouTube copyright. Man, you're gonna kill yourself over YouTube copyright. That's one thing. You're gonna kill yourself over me. I mean, I'm not the, I'm not a hater for one thing, but if that's who he's talking about, if I'm the haters, I don't know what other haters are involved. There was no haters in this scenario. This was a perfectly this was just what is Jeffy the hater? 
Is is it Mario Logan? Is he the hater? I don't know. Maybe it's like whenever I'd stream and, and something would happen and, and people would be like, Oh, Mr. Beast got you! And it's like, yeah, I'm sure Mr. Beast specifically went out of his way to get me in my stream and it's not like an automated thing in the system. I'm, I'm sure of it. Um, I, I guess maybe he thinks Mario Logan specifically stopped him from streaming it. Maybe that's who the ha Other than that, maybe he's just talking generally about why he's in this state in, of mind right now. You know, uh, I guess he's generally not in a good place. And maybe it's because, you know, actions have consequences and all that. You know, when you make friends with a bunch of 12 year olds and tell them to kill themselves and then people outside of that circle of people see your videos you know it can be tempting to call me a hater when all i'm doing is is just pointing a, a, a just pointing at you and saying this is what he's doing you know i make some jokes and stuff but it really is just I, i'm just showing you what you what you what what people i'm just showing people what you're doing and the real problem is what you're doing and it's not me showing them that you know and you don't understand that yet, but you will. You you will. Someday, I'm sure. I believe in you. Back off and leave me alone. I'm not a hater, though, I promise. Or they start asking for trouble. And, uh, don't kill yourself, but also stop telling a bunch of 12-year-olds uh, that you are going to and emotionally manipulating a bunch of children. Because that's not great. That's not great behavior. That's not a good thing to do, generally. Uh, you know, because they're all kids. I mean, not all of them, but but a lot of the one, the, a lot of the ones who are kids are statistically speaking children. So y you really don't want to, you really don't want to tell them that you're gonna kill yourself, uh, constantly every week here, here, here and here and then now and again, just telling them, hey, it's so it's over. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna do it. Just like fucking Newman in the first episode, he shows up in Seinfeld. Kramer's like, he's not gonna jump. He's been up there every day this week. He keeps saying he's gonna jump. That's 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 Sonic Sega Gamer. Please, Sonic. Do you understand what I'm saying, you... Kirby Gaming 16? <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying, Kirby Gaming 16? 16. It's 69. Kirby Gaming 16 is not here, sir. That was several incarnations ago. I'm pretty sure a Cyberman got that one. I know, dude. Oh no, dude. I just like. Listen, like I, I said, I have. I already lost my friends. I'm sorry you lost your friends, dude, but like I said, I have haters too, but I don't let that stop me. <laughs> dude, you shouldn't let these haters stop you. I get you. You want... shouldn't let the haters stop you. Keep telling those children to kill themselves, Sonic Sega Gamer. You can reach the stars. I want to say something tells them and all, but if you continue whatever, then you could say something, but just like cool it down, you know? What is the autism growl? What the fuck is that? Whatever, then you can get very mad and anger on them. You could get very anger. Like I said, like I said, Do the you get, like mental breakdown and this anger and all, you're gonna start like losing friends. <laughs> you don't want that, dude. You lose subscriber. But you're not gonna stop me for what I like to do, okay? I want to talk about whatever topic I want, and no one is allowed to stop me. Well, no one's trying to stop you. If I'm the hater, I'm not trying to stop you. Well, once you started saying to 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 fucking like report my channel or whatever, I was like, well, then in that case, fucking report your channel for like telling children to kill themselves. But I'm just again, I don't know who's trying to stop you necessarily. I don't know who. I don't know YouTube. Is he talking about YouTube again? I, he's, I'm very mixed on what's going on because he brought up haters, and I would assume that that's talking about me because we know that he's not happy with me and my my having looked at him. But but then he, this all it's all happened because of watching Mario Logan getting him like a, qu a quick stream policy violation or whatever, and he's like he's like having his fucking like last stand moment, like I will not be restricted on this platform. Over something that was just like an automated fucking thing. Over. You're at the hands of the beast, Hank. I want to the to beast. Like I said, dude, you shouldn't. Like, like I said, you. I get you're not. I get. I don't know if I'm like the same. But dude, it looks like you're listening to your brain and your thoughts. Can I speak over here for one second, please? I have to have some. I have to have some anger issues. I do. You know, 
And I know Which I'm just, you know, Yom stabbed me in the one back. One of them is a grown up here, and he's talking, but the thing isn't lighting up, and I, I think it might be Meta Knight Gamer. I don't know who is talking. It's not a, a voice who's been talking. There, him and fucking Darkness Twilight have been silent like this whole time. Uh, a Darkness Twilight I've heard before. I think maybe it's him talking? Back once. And I still get tired of this crap. And I can't even take and tire of this crap. Oh, it is. I'm, I'm just gonna go, go I'm just not gonna Yeah, go. this is the guy who was trying to talk to the haters and say how he would beat their balls in with a, with a, with a meat tenderizer or whatever. Uh, he's in his 20s or something. Um, but he, 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 it was, it was a very good situation where he kept, it was like a duet between him and Sonic Sega Gamer where Sonic Sega Gamer would be like, and we're going to fucking, we're tired of this shit and we're done with this and we're done with the haters and take it away, Darkness Twilight. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're mad and we're, we're not, we're not, we're, we're not happy and we're, uh, we don't, uh, oh, oh god, uh, we don't want to, we, uh, we don't want to fight, but we, we will if, 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 if we have to. Um, it was, it was pretty good and he finally speaks. He's been here like this whole time. I don't think he said a single word. He finally breaks his silence. Silent Bob says a word in his triumphant scene. I'm just going 100% Dragon Rage moment because I'm going 100 Dragon Wait, dragon in general. I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of Yom being stupid little freaking. Oh my freaking god! I'm gonna start to lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my freaking goddamn insanity because of this shit. I'm gonna lose my insanity. So mad. Laugh myself to death. So mad. Okay, Meta Knight Gamer sounds like another child. I'm so. I can't even take this anymore. I just can't. I'm just waiting for Trollface to chime in and go, I'm paranoid again! Sometimes, okay, darkness, sometimes, you know gotta, sometimes... I don't want to myself right now, because I'm tired. I, I don't want everyone to steal my stuff now. I want to end my Everybody, life. Sonic, steal darkness, what? everybody, sometimes you just gotta understand. Listen, Sonic, darkness, everyone, it's time that we talk about coming to terms with things. And that we all just deal with this because it's it's just a part of life. It is. We deal, we deal with people. We deal with people's problems. And you just got. If you don't want to handle it, then just you know don't worry about it. But if you want to help, at least try your best. But, yeah, like, I mean, I, people really think people think Trollface is insane because he keeps frowning all the time. Look at this image here. Of course, he's paranoid. He's a very gloomy individual. Meta Knight Gamer is afraid that his stuff is gonna get stolen. Whatever that means. I think it I think he's in fucking VR chat or some shit again. This is probably one of those kids who sleeps in fucking Minecraft land or whatever in VR chat and and uh and, and he's like, I don't want people to steal my stuff. I don't think that what but who's stealing something from you in VR chat? I don't know what he means by that. I'm very confused by that. Is he homeless? I'm trying my best to help Sonic right now. Because no, I really want to end myself. The only thing that can help Sonic is a book. Never mind. Stealing my my videos. I want to end myself now. What? No, oh, no. we got a double suicide here. What's going on? My videos. Uh, look, like me. I'm trying my best to help Sonic right now. Because no, I really want to end myself. I'm tired of stealing my. My videos. I want to end myself now. I want to end myself. So, Sonic Sega Gamer has now planted this seed in these people's minds of like, like you know, maybe these kids wouldn't have developed an understanding of suicide at this point yet. Maybe they would have gone a little while before they had to think about that, you know. But he's now planted that all in their minds. Uh, that's super great of him. Uh, and now you have this kid, like, talking about how he's gonna kill himself. Probably not true, but, you know, it's probably not necessarily something he's thinking of doing, but that's still really, really fucked up that that's happening basically because of this guy. Meta Knight. <sighs> it's no, only getting no. worse. No, I'm serious. Meta Knight, it's not worth it, because if you do, you lo you lo you'll lose everything. I know you don't want that. I know you don't. Hey, if you're thinking of killing yourself, just don't. Don't do it. 
Okay, you know, don't. I'm sure people always bought my Can you not? Videos. Well, that my Is it... Okay, then report them. So, uh, Metatite, report them for it. Like, report them for it. Just go on, like, whatever on, if you're on PC or phone, just try to figure out how to report them for doing that. Get them a copyright strike for it. <laughs> if you don't know how to do that, then just find out on YouTube. Somebody's, like, giggling over here. <laughs> This whole stream is fucking great. This is two hours and fifteen minutes of solid gold. Are you crying or are you laughing? <laughs> I think he's going crazy. You know what? <laughs> and I'm paranoid! You know what? You know what? I don't care anymore. What? I don't care what you say to me, Kirby Game 69. You <laughs> I don't care what you say to me, Kirby Gaming 69! They the 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 gloves are off! This battle has waged long enough! It's time we put an end to things, Kirby Gaming 69 Gumball! You and me and Dark Talk are gonna do it right now? As soon as I end this last- I've game, lost my go insanity! I'm gonna go on a rampage. See ya! <laughs> oh my god, he's going full Joker. This is great! You and, you and me and Dark Talk are gonna do it right now? As soon as I end this last stream, me and Twilight are gonna go on mirror chat and gonna go on a rampage. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go on VR chat and go on a rampage. That's right, we're gonna go to the Banjo Kazooie world and walk around a little bit. There's not really that much that's interactable in VR chat, so I don't know. I don't know what rampage they're they're thinking of going on, but they're they're gonna tear up the town. Can't can I wait, can I no. Oh come on. Uh oh, not again. Oh, <laughs> I just wanted to have a break for once. Okay, everybody Chill. just- This absolute mad lad. Okay, everybody just calm down. This is what- you're just- you all have to understand that this is what everybody goes through. This is what... Yeah, this is something that we've all gone through at some point. Through. We've all been in this situation. I want to know what he means by rampage. That's what he means- he know. means he's gonna start- he means he's gonna start- Raging like everything. That's what if you look. I'm on gonna start fucking punching kittens. What is it? What does it happen? He said uh, he cuts out when he explains start it. Raging like everything. That's what, what if you look on YouTube and you'll see what rampage would mean. Mother. He's gonna start. He's Did gonna he just bleep himself for saying zoomer. What's happening? To start like you know. Per... He's gonna start like. Pussing, friggin' he's gonna oh my god pissing people, he's gonna- he's gonna go crazy. He's gonna go crazy. he's gonna cuss?! Well, that's it then, there's just no hope. The field is lost. The battle is lost. The- The towers in ruins lie. What hope- what hope is there? And you don't- and it's- and it's gonna drive you nuts. Trust me, I don't- trust me. It's gonna drive you. It's gonna drive you nuts. It's, and it's not going to go until tomorrow. Well, it's time to deal with another drama for me. Look, I got you back. know what? I'm gonna have to talk with. I'm gonna have to talk to somebody about this. Uh -huh. I gotta talk to. I gotta All have right. to talk to somebody about this. I gotta so. go start making some calls. People at the Pentagon need to know. All right. Well, you know. That's the latest Sonic Sega Gamer drama. This was like yesterday. Well, there's more now. Jeez. Um, shit. VR Chat Rampage, the Sonic Sega Gamer. Uh, this is the Rampage? Yo, wait, they go on a Rampage? Your precious bow mountain is gone. <laughs> spiral mountains gone. Spiral mount. So he's just going around like yelling in Spiral Mountain alone or something. I sense a power level. What? What was that? What was that? 
I can't move! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, I have what? Enter gamer. Where are you? You're not you're not on VR chat. What happened? Choose one. I want to see this. Let's rampage. just let the viewers decide. I want to see them say the hmm. fuck word. In in Spiral Mountain, we're in Witchy use? World. The orange one or the half yellow one? <sighs> just have to do one final blast, then I'm done here. One final blast, huh? I'm rampage, and then I came back to my senses. I don't know what happened to me. I lost my fucking insanity! He lost his insanity! Okay, he's going on a rampage, though. We need to see some of the rampage. Down. He's dressed as Sonic. Oh. Ran around, shot some the Green Ray Man and is there. Now he's dark Sonic, and now, um... No, everyone! Everyone! What the? Where are you, Junior? I want to show you this. Right. Yeah, I think that officially counts as a loss of insanity. Hello, why? Gamer. Yeah, why is there a fucking screwdriver? What is this kid doing to his laptop or whatever? Mennonite Gamer, can you just let me speak? You may. Yeah, Mennonite Gamer, I'm really sick of you dominating the conversation. You've been saying a lot. Listen, I I lost my I lost my insanity when I was breakfast, and then I came back to my sense. I don't know what happened to me. I lost my fucking insanity. <laughs> I'm too. I'm just too afraid to look at you guys right now. Huh. I'm just too afraid to look at you guys right now. I can't, I can't even face you, Green Ray Man. Some name of Foxy Lady just said, "Stop." Something with these hello, and then say, "Grow up." Who the fuck you? Who? Foxy Lady, call me fat. <laughs> don't call him fat, Foxy Lady. That's mean. On YouTube. Don't call him that. Do it. There's no way you can help me. <laughs> He tried. He tried. <laughs> Somebody goes, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I don't know. Zap, I lost my insanity somewhere along the line. You're always coming after me. Listen, guys, I have man on... Guys, I have Meta Knight Gamer VR on screen. I'm trying to talk to him. All right, Meta Knight Gamer, you're allowed to speak again. What? No one gives a fuck about me. Huh. Tell him no one gives a fuck about me. Meta Knight Gamer VR says on StreamYard, nobody gives a fuck about him. That's what he said. This is great, riveting stuff. So there's more videos here. I, uh, I don't know because I mean, like, I don't want to just do the all of his stuff here, but look at all these streams. Holy shit. No more drama videos. Oh, I guess these are older videos. Yeah, these are the ones that he uploaded before, and then Buddy came after his fucking, uh, uh, re uploads of his videos here, and I guess they were. Uh, taken down, which is a shame. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that would be. Wait, we have a Sonic themed Alan Sampson down here, too. What's this? Oh, look at this! So we know. Okay, so this is just you, right? I mean, there's no way this isn't just you, because you, you, you know these people. You, you're, you're. We know you're a fan of the Sonic Sega Gamer. This is just your other secret channel. Sonic Forces a Avatar? Really? It's a nice background, though. I like that. But the Sonic Forces Avatar. That's disgusting. What's this like? 
Knuckles! Oh my gosh, you're alive! Knuckles! I'm al yeah, I'm alive! How did you survive the explosion? Yes! I'm losing my insanity, that's right. Um, I mean, is this actually your channel? It's alive! It's alive! Yeah, it sure is a kid, that's, that's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, that's, uh, that's some Sonic Sega Gamer goodness. And, uh, I think that's... I think that's, uh, that's fine. Uh, he is once again going to kill himself or something. Uh, which, you know, don't do that. Um, so I think I was going to do this a little while ago. I don't think I got to this one yet. Uh, I don't think I got to this one yet. I had this recommended to me on, um, this like a month ago. I don't know which video it was specifically that was recommended to me, but I had this, like, recommended to me on YouTube. It just, it was, you know, popped up on my feed. And, um, I don't know how good this will be. I don't know how funny this will be, but it reminds me of the fucking nerd crew, but in real life, like, the actual nerd crew, if it wasn't, if it wasn't just Mike and Rich and Jay being assholes. Um, it's the real nerd crew in real life. And they have a specific interest in Funko Pops, ladies and gentlemen. This is um, K-Dog K and Fish. They've got 500 videos, 4,000 subs. K-Dog and Fish. And, um, yeah, if you want Funko Pop news, I don't, I don't really want you here. I think you should leave. I don't think you're welcome here. But um, we're, uh, they're going to talk about it. Welcome back to another episode of the K-Dog and Fish Show. I am Fish. K-Dog. It is time to open up- Look at this fucking background. Oh my god. Up our heavy metal- Let your childhood go. I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. Mystery boxes from Funko. I cannot wait. Let's go. Let's go! Oh, they're gonna consume super hard, guys. They have a Funko themed fucking intro. Is this like an official Funko podcast? Like a shill Funko cast? I bet Welcome this back. Is, I bet this is sponsored by Funko. So we have two out of the four characters available for the heavy metal boxes. Mm -hmm. and oh yeah, we need to get rid of the sussy user warning. Hang on. These sussy users are like in their 40s or something. And they won't. They won't let their their fucking Ghostbusters toys go. We're truly really trying to score a specific pop. Well, I'm hoping and we get the uh, the Freddy Funko as Soundwave. Oh, yeah, yeah Freddy Big Funko. limited edition piece. I'm not sure if it's metallic or what I it is exactly. I think it's metallic, and I think it's 500 limited. Yeah, I also so. want, actually, of all the pops, I actually want the Philip D. Graves pop. Nice. That pop, I think, is cool. That's the only pop I really want. So we so, ordered yeah. an extra box of that. We're going to open these up. Mm -hmm. We have the other two, Rusty Steel and Jack Carver, coming oh, so we'll open those on a separate show we'll see what we pull and see who got the better box let's go so we're gonna do this kind of like oh, yeah. we're gonna pull it off to the side so exciting guys they're gonna open the boxes and see which ones they got and see which ones are better it's gonna be great it's gonna be right, really so nobody great. can see it boxes look cool again with the halloween we're gonna these pull guys, it off to the... these guys look like they probably both have kids who are old enough to think rightfully that their parents are embarrassing and and here they are with their funko pop podcast talking about their the just the just the worst little fucking figures ever made just the worst like pretty much unanimously agreed upon i think even if there's some people that think they're fine i think collectively they're like the justin bieber of fucking figures they're awful. They're just awful. They are just awful. Nobody fucking likes these things except for the, like, statistical anomaly human beings that have to. That just have to exist to fucking, to fucking be, there, be there and be wrong about everything. You know, uh, nobody fucking likes these things. But, but, but we have a whole pod- It can't be a podcast about Tamashi Nations or, like, the really cool fucking- 
uh, what is it, the, the Hasbro line or whatever, where it's like the throwbacks to the old 90s Marvel figures, but they're like higher quality, but it's the same box and it's the same style and everything, but they're, and, and they look just like the, the old 90s figures, but they're like way better and like way more articulated and stuff. You could have a whole podcast about that, you know? There's like tons of fucking, you pick Funko Pops, really, really. Really? How many Funko Pops are inside your ass right now? Side, so nobody could see it. Boxes look cool again. With the Halloween 2023 New York Comic Con heavy metal boxes, mm. box art looks like a almost like a roadie case for a concert, right? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the mascots are good too. We won't really know because we're going to reach in blind. Yeah. But you should have a mascot, two Freddy Funko as figure pops, mm -hmm. and then also three cans. Okay. Okay, I've got the mascot then. Let's show off the mascots. I should have Sid Ficious, and I do. Oh, oh I got. He's got him. And you got the filthy grays. Oh. We were right about our box numbers. Nice. Oh. Wow, that's really disgusting, and I hate it. Pop is there we go. I mean, the thing is, and there will be people I know already immediately, there's going to be the person who's like, well, that's actually an okay-looking one. You know, I don't generally like the Funko Pops, but that one looks fine. I think that one looks fine. And you know what? The best you can ever say about these things is that they look fine i guess like because they'll because they'll be it'll be like the pac-man one you know and if you fucking talk shit about pac-man i'm gonna be mad but it'll be like the pac-man one and like the, the vacuous fucking empty stare of the the funko pops looks good on a pac-man figure you know and this one is like another one that's like you know the the nature of this creature i guess it looks fine as a funko pop but that's the best they can ever fucking strive for is looking fine Noise. I'm not gonna lie, this is a very And you know what? Because this actually says Sid Fishes, I kinda want this yeah. pop. Yeah. I want this I mean I would say this one's a little better. The head's got some shape. I hate the fucking the stupid fucking shape that the Funko Pop heads are too. It's not just the ugly, stupid face they have, but it's that awful fucking head that's this shape. And this one is like at least got some chiseling to it a little bit it's like skull skull, 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 skull face so it's, it's a bit of a skull face so so it doesn't quite have the shape because this actually says sid fishes i kind of want this yeah. pop. yeah i want this fish pop yeah. all yeah, right it's no see-through yeah. nice. oh, this pop is nice all right so now we are gonna pull we have our pops and then there's uh two pops and then three cans mm. the two pops should be freddy funko as a figure hopefully limited piece counts let's go you pull your you pull yours out of your ass, I'll pull mine out of my box here. Here's first, and then I'll pull one. All Let's right. show what it is. Okay. You're looking for that 500-piece Freddy Metallic Soundwave. Oh, it's Freddy Funko uh, Soundwave, but it's 4,000 Oh, pieces. and it's got a little box. Oh, it's got a box damage. Damage on the top. Already. So we didn't get the limited one. This one's oh. the 4,000. You know, I really thought my kids were going to get to go to, to college, but... I guess not, sadly. I was in piece one. All right, okay. All Still right. pretty cool right. looking, though. It's basically garbage. Just throw it in the trash. You know, if it wasn't for the fact that... God, I'm looking at this fucking set, though, and I'm getting distracted, because there's like a Clark Griswold... It's like a cereal. It's like a Funko cereal. Based on, like, Christmas Vacation. Jesus Christ. It's pretty lie. cool. Yeah, yeah. Why do right, they just why do they just have a poster of like Caddyshack and fucking these like fucking soy okay. sumers? Still pretty right. cool looking though. I'm not so gonna They just have like three amigos back here. Why? Just because you like it, I guess. What the fuck does this have to do with anything? Oh, I love pop culture. <laughs> pretty cool. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright. And my all right. first Freddy is Oh, the box at the bottom came out. They're oh, really, these uh, things are worth a hell of a lot more than $100. These things are fucking collector's items for some reason. These things will go for quite an amount. You know, I see the secret little fucking Cheetos mac and cheese back here. That thing's fucking garbage. That's where it belongs, in the back of a shelf somewhere where it'll be forgotten and obfuscated by a... What is this, Cyclops? Or it's like Deadpool Cyclops or something. I don't know. Uh, stepping it up yeah, here. Yeah. Freddy Funko has Soundwave, 4,000 piece. All right. Yeah, three amigos is fine, but why is it fucking... This, there's only two of them on this podcast, so it's not even like a joke about them. 
I, it's just like, oh, I like that movie. We should have that poster. What does this have to do with anything? Right. Like, These are two different theme boxes, you assholes. Like usual. Come on. Like usual. Oh, my God. K-Dog and Fish taking it up the tailpipe. Oh. Oh, seriously. Yeah, kids, the way that's just the way K Dog and Fish like it. Really? All, All right, right. we oh, have one more e pop each. You go ahead. What do you got? Oh, it's damaged to shit. Totally, oh, totally damaged. On. Oh, it's totally damaged. This thing is completely beyond repair. There's a slight imperfection. The top is like coming out a little. This thing is basically just. It's like the. It's it's frankly less than worthless. Like, it's actually less than worthless, and my mind can't figure out what exactly that means at this point, but it's that. Oh, totally damaged. On, these are in good boxes. It was packed that way. Freddy Bones, 5,000 pieces, oh. damaged on so, arrival. Damaged. Look how damaged it is, everybody. Look how damaged this is. This box is just not in a condition for anybody to look at it. I mean, frankly... There's a Funko Pop in there. Look at this fucking thing. It's hideous. Oh, black and white. Absolutely damaged. They're all like that. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Wow. There's different versions of that, but come on. These are... <laughs> these... <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're supposed to ever take the figure out. Yeah, it's... Not only is it an ugly figure, it's you're not even supposed to touch it or play with it. I mean, I guess some of these they have on their shelves, but like... No, that's the... That's the fine China po Funko Pops. You gotta keep those ones in the box. Jesus Christ. These are packed like that because inside is they're all like yeah. sectioned off perfectly. So it was packed like that. Yeah. All right. Let's see what I get. If it's the same one and it's damn. This guy's like pogging out over the fact that it was packed in imperfectly in the box, which like, I don't know. Maybe that means it's fine. They keep fucking complaining that it's damaged and it has like the tiniest imperfection. The top of the fucking, it's like the ed, the top right edge of the fucking cardboard is like out of sorts a tiny tiny bit and that's apparently damaged on arrival and completely uncollectible at that point and it's like that's just the way it came it's not damaged you fucking ad assholes it's just in it's just in a box it's fine it's fine Damage, i'm gonna damage on, on arrival mind. no oh, no okay freddy zombie 4500 piece glow all right. Oh wow! I can, fuck. Hey, that's and okay. It's, it's glowing. That's great. Condition. Oh, there you uh, go. Uh, that, that one's uh, twenty-three skidoo. It's a glowing one. Kind of. Whoopity do. Yeah. I give it a nine out of ten. It's better than mine. All right. Not bad. Not yeah. bad. All right. Uh, we have cans. Let's grab cans. Oh, these stupid fucking cans. For some reason, they decided to make Funko Pops that they sell in fucking cans. I don't know who came up with this fuck-ass idea. Oh, the cans None of like... these will have chases. Okay. But there are themed Freddy Funko chases. as certain characters. Okay. What? What's your first one? There's only 2,000 piece count on this. Okay. Yeah, they should be pretty low. Uh, Freddy Funko as Devil. Okay. Black and white. Black looks and white like. looks like, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. My first right. So do you take them out of the cans? No, we don't get to see what the figures look like because they're in a fucking can. So we get to see them show us a fit fucking thing that we could just look at a picture of on the internet. I'm so glad that you own this. Why are we watching this? And is Vampire Proto. I mean, we're, we're watching this because I fucking put it on on the stream, but why they made this is, a, is the really the real question. 6,000 piece. Oh, right. wow. right, man, I'll take that. That's a good one. Yeah, it's a shrink-wrapped can that you're not allowed to open because it's a collector's item. Zoink. What do you got? I got... Vamp that's the ultimate fucking... That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen, though. I mean, this is just nonsense. If you really stop and think about, like... It's bad enough to have the fucking toys in the box on the shelf that you can't ever open because how dare you, they're collectible. That's so dumb, but... It's bad enough to have that. But you have a fucking figure that's in a can. You can't even look at the figure. You might as well just pick, fucking print out a picture of a fucking can of this shit and just put it on your wall. What the fuck? What's the point? You can't take it out of there because it's like shrink wrapped and it's fucking, fucking collectible. This Wonder Bread dog over here. We can't bear to look at I'll it. Take that. That's a good one. Holy Zoink. shit. What do you got? I got... 
Vampire Proto, 2,000 pieces. Looks like maybe it's a Your black and white one. way more limited. Wow. I don't know. Wow. Yeah, black and white. Two, maybe they're making up. Wow, that's way more limited. It has no color. They, they, it's the, this, the limited 2000 edition where they forgot to put color in it. That's amazing. That's, they, they, they fucked up and they made a whole special edition out of it. That's great. It's just like the see-through bing bong. The fact that they smashed it. I know that that's actually in the movie too, but I love to imagine that they just accidentally made a fucking clear bing bong and they were like, ah, you know, cause you know, I just remember back in the day with like Spider-Man or whatever. Every fucking month, they'd have, like, a new get Spider-Man with amazing camouflage technology, and it's just a fucking see-through Spider-Man action figure. That's all it is. It's just, like, the hundred new Spider-Man vampire action, and it's, like, a brand new Spider-Man suit where he, he fights vampires, and there's, like, a spider trampoline or some shit. Like, that's the, I don't know, I'm just seeing this black and white dog, like, oh yeah, we really needed the version of this fucking thing we can't take out of a can that's black and white, that's really special, that's, that's great. My boxes. I Whoa. honestly am not impressed with the condition, the actual mascots are in good shape, mm -hmm. but the other pops I just even saw on top of the zombie Friday. Yeah, I can see it from here. There's creases on the top. So, yeah, I can like, see it. It's the not condition, in good shape. Yeah, that's not in good shape, there's creases on the top. You, you, no, I would, ne I would not let my daughter have sex with that Funko Pop. That's just nonsense. That's that these are garbage. packed in is bullshit mm. considering each spot inside this box, it feels like it has, it's very, it's tight. It's yeah. got a home for everything. All right. All right, my next can is Freddy as Spirit uh, 2000 piece. So that is the most limited can I have pulled so far. All right, I got one. Last can. All right. What it do you got? Is. Freddy Funko is Batman. Oh, shit. That's pretty good. It's like a, it's like a bit of a minor pog, but it is a pog. Make no mistake, that's a pog. Oh sh! Five thousand piece. That's a good can. Okay. Mm, hello. A All right. Uh, Freddy Funk was Batman. All right. I'll take that. All right. I found right. my last can. In it. I know what that is. I know what that. I've heard of that. It's pink. Freddy Funko as Devil. You had Devil. Mine's black and white, though. Mine's not. It's pink and it's 5,000 Oh, piece. my God. So kill me. <laughs> this is so bad. They just have these stupid fucking boxes, and they keep getting the same figures. They keep getting the same shit, but it's like, yours was the black and white one, but mine has colors. Holy shit. This is so dumb. So at least these are different the mm. only thing that we got that was the same was the <laughs> sound wave but it was not the sound wave we're looking for no the, I, no daniel bull rice they're not drinks you have to understand these are collectible figures inside of these cans you cannot open the fucking cans or take the shrink wrap off the cans because it'll devalue the figure value they're very valuable as long as you can't see them and they are not v visible or shown to people they're very valuable. The Freddy Bones black and white is wicked. Mm -hmm. It's just damaged. Total, totally damaged. And it yeah. was packed that way. So that is really. I, I, you know, what's amazing too, is you look at these fucking cans and they want you to think that they're limited. And it's like, wow, there's only 2000 of these ones. There's only 5,000 ever made of these ones. And I have one and I'm looking at them, the, all of the shit they have. And I'm just like, wow, great. There are fucking 5,000 of these horrible little things in the world that nobody should ever have or want and nobody needs. And, 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 and there's so many of them that they made like thousands of too. It's not even just contained to one. There's so many variants of each one that there are individually like thousands of. These aren't limited. These are the furthest fucking thing from limited. Uh, mm -hmm. Nice. That's nope. that's not nice. This is like, you know, the Futurama episode with the giant ball of trash and they go on the ball of trash and it's all a a AOL CDs and shit like that. Bart Simpson plushies. If that episode was made now, it would be it would be 90 percent Funko Pops. Like <laughs> that would be most of the trash. Uh, so those are our boxes. I say that we move these to the side. Yep. And let's 
uh, open up that extra Phil D. Graves box. You feel and, good about it? And see if we get the 500-piece Freddy Soundwave oh that we're God. looking for. Oh, I got a bad... Why do they want this stupid fucking figure? It's the same as the other one that they got, like, two of. But the box says that it's 500-piece... And there's only 500 of them, so they want one of those. Just because the box says it. That's the same fucking figure. Freddy Soundwave. The Holy room. shit. Oh, I got a bad feeling. Let's go. Do you want me to pull them? You do it. Let's open this up. All right. See if we get the 500-piece Soundwave, and it's in good condition. And if it's the exact same pops it shouldn't be of your other Fildy Graves box, then I'm going to get also... Really mad. I like how you said it shouldn't be. Like, it shouldn't be. Like Funko hasn't done that to us before. Yeah, Funko has really fucked us over in the past, but we're still indebted to them. You know, mascots are first pop. Okay, uh, their background reminds me of Nerd Crew, but I'm also for some reason I'm just reminded of. Uh, does anybody remember Extreme Games? Just that that one video that I did of, of, about them where they. Uh, I remember I watched this one with them like trying like different candy and shit. And they were just, like, desperately trying for attention. One of them was. The other one was getting really annoyed. But, yeah, the background, it's just this consumer background with a bunch of stupid attention-grabbing bullshit. But it also is just them, like, indulging themselves in, like, Oh, I like this movie. Let's put that there. Even though it really doesn't have much to do with anything other than quote-unquote pop culture, I guess. But so I'll just be Grab that. Graves. It'll be Fildy Graves. We know it's Fildy Graves. Which it Graves. is. And again. Oh, and it's yeah. damaged. Yeah. So um I I gotta say Funko here. Is it damaged? And it's yeah. damaged. Where's the damage? He's going to point Where? Where's the damage? Can you see damage on this figure? Where? Where's the damage? Oh I think there's Oh, I think it's this. There's like a tiny, tiny, tiny little scuff mark on the corner. It's damaged, guys. Can't can't sell that one. That's not that's not fit. That one should be in the fucking. That one should be working in the fucking mines. Yeah. It's damaged. That yeah. one's got a face for radio right so, there. So, um, I, I gotta say, Funko, here, bring it in, bring it in. Uh, Funko, I just want to thank you because you're prepacking all these uh, limited. Guys, can't you see it? I'm damaged. Edition uh, pops. Oh, we're doing uh, a slow zoom in here. He's about to dramatically tell Funko to stop damaging their figures. And meanwhile, there is visibly nothing wrong with the box. This is insane. Uh, there are uh, $105 USD for the yeah. entire box. Mm -hmm. You're definitely getting value for what you get when they're in good condition. The <laughs> fact that you packed them all creased and beat to shit is f***ing bullshit. F*** you. Well, I want this pop. Right, and so I don't care got, about the box. I don't care about the box. So there you go. All right. Bing, bang, bong. All right. Okay. It's fine. It's, yeah. There's like a tiny bit of, like the cardboard is up here. It's like up a little bit at the edge. It, there, it, therefore, it is creased and beat to shit and awful and ugly and terrible. Let's see. We got two pops then to pull. Okay. Let's come All on, right. Freddy. Let's do another one. That was heavy metal, I guess. Oh, no. The end of the Funko app. Welcome back to another episode of the K-Dog and Fish Show. I am Fish. K-Dog. Funko recently partnered with eBay to update the app. Great. <laughs> Very so cool. Wow, the Funko app has been completely garbage. Yeah. So uh, they did that one update, and mm -hmm. the the we're in Canada. So we've all known for a while, brothers in arms who also have like '80s women on our T-shirts. Um, we've all known for a while that the Funko Pop app is basically on par with the Jeremy Renner app. I mean, it's real terrible. So there's a Funko Pop app. I didn't know about that. What's what goes on there? Is that like a secret sex program? What's that? What's going on on there? Where do they do they host the Funko sex parties on there? 
What's going on in there? The conversions were never right. Conversions the stickers weren't differentiated. Like you could scan a common mm-hmm. or scan so it scan the chase and it coming up. Oh, they're in Canada too. That's that's a real shame. It's the common. Yeah, like, yeah. So many mistakes. So yeah. they were like, okay, we're gonna fix the app, mm-hmm. and they launched it mm-hmm. earlier this week and said, hey everybody, we partnered with eBay and we fixed the app. So I do the update and you're all gonna be happy. And then everyone lost thousands of dollars in their collection values. I don't even understand. Why are we working with eBay? What's the eBay thing? Why? So they partnered with eBay. And the improvements. So this was like for fucking trading these stupid things, I guess. And... eBay needs to remove all the fake pops. So there's people that say that eBay can't be used for Funko Pops because because it's like there's too many bootlegs. But then, dude, my collection dropped by $1,000. One of my con exclusive is 25 bucks. Literally makes no sense. Yeah, none at all. Yeah. Can't believe nobody wants to buy that shit. It's never going to work unless prices are blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, so people are, like, people are mad pogging. They're pogging in frustration and anger and indignation about the injustices over the Funko Pop app. Uh, (laughs) Which is as dumb of a sentence as, like, Kirby Gaming Gaming 69, do you understand me? Like, something like that. Um, Yeah, I guess they all lost a bunch of fucking money on this shit, uh, which is just really funny to me. I mean, because it... it, they are not worth anything, and so and so they are not. People do not deserve to have giant collection values of these for these fucking things. They are not worth shit. These fucking fun Funko Pops are worth nothing. Dollars in their collection. So yeah, I'm glad that your stupid con exclusive fucking Funko Pop is worth twenty bucks. Good for you. Collection values. Good for you. I don't even understand. Why are we working with eBay? What's the eBay thing? Why are we? Why are we doing? This? I think it comes down to money. So er, this week as well, there was a glow this is in the basically dark. Basically, like uh, from an the FDs. Boys, Soldier Boy exclusive. Uh-huh. They're dropped it on the eBay. Yeah, I mean they're physical NFTs. It is. Yeah, it's just the same collect collectible bullshit. With basically no value that people price based on what the market claims that they're worth. It's really interesting, actually, because it's like, well, what is the value of this thing? Like, actually, you ask that question, look at this. And the kind of the going thing is, well, it's whatever the market is willing to pay for it, I guess, which is always kind of a herp-a-derp statement. It's like, yeah, I guess it's true, but fuck you. <laughs> like, fuck off with that Reddit bullshit. But, uh, no, but it is, like, it, it, that is that is accurate, though, a little bit here, because it's like, well, whatever the market's willing to pay for it, suddenly the market has decided that these things are not worth as much. And I like, I hope that's not just a glitch. I hope that that's just actually the value of them has decreased substantially. And... It's like, yeah, like, what is the value of this? Uh, apparently it's very flexible it could be this stupid action figure of a boy's character can either be you know worth like 20 bucks or it could be worth hundreds of dollars hundreds and hundreds of dollars um you know based on what ebay says i guess or whatever website the funko app or whatever uh, it's just interesting. Store first, yeah. and then the next day or the day after. It's a non-fuckable it's the non-fuckable toucan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They have a partnership with eBay. Oh, yeah, there were like fucking now, Funko NFTs. Yeah. With eBay is that the pricing is skewed. There well, are I guess fakes it isn't on an eBay. There mm-hmm. are, it's not a true value system. It's an auction site. It's a. It's an auction site. Can you? you I, there's fakes on eBay. Who? Who cares? I mean, uh, I guess if you need the stupid box that it comes in, God, it, 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 it is a thing where it's like, I just have no respect for this situation. Like, I'm sorry if you get a fake Funko Pop, if you get scammed on your Funko Pops, I really, you know, that's ah, a real catch 22 there. Good night. You know, just... I've never even gone to the eBay Funko shop. No. So you just, it's actually like the retail price. 
But basically, yeah. So is it the same? Like, I haven't gone on there. Is it like 15 bucks? Yeah, it would be the same price, except they don't do free Oh, no. Ebb's gone. Down. So most people wait for it to be off the eBay store and onto the regular Funko shop. But yeah. they're giving eBay props by giving them a day early release so for them to get their cut of this exclusive. But I don't why? understand why? how it works. Why? why? I, it's dumb. Obviously, eBay paid them for this opportunity. Well, I get that, but so then, Funko's making money from eBay. But nobody wants to pay for the shipping, so you wait for the next day for it to come in the Funko shop. Yeah, and then you get free shipping so, over well, a certain amount. So then eBay's sitting there going, what are we going to do with all these pups? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so you say there's just going to be a giant fucking surplus of these goddamn Funko pops that nobody wants that wind up in a landfill? Oh, you don't fucking say. Wow, what a fucking shock. So anyway. And you're going to ship them back to Buckeye, and you're going to put them in $5 mystery boxes. <laughs> So that's been a source of contention, this whole this eBay partnership. Yeah. And then the biggest thing with the Funko app update, I will give them props on the update. Mm -hmm. The props on the update is some pops are now coming up properly as far as sticker, like con versus shared, mm -hmm. and also chase versus common. Okay, but like, do they tell you whether the, the pop is woke or not? Because I think it's about time that the site updates with that. If you're scanning the chase, both come up. I so see. the barcodes have been updated a bit, mm. but all right, way to go. A lot of people, and you should read the comments. Well, on I the did post, read the comments. <laughs> are lighting them up because yeah. yeah, Alan Sampson just says, "I wonder what these folks think of the Palestine conflict or missing and murdered Indigenous women." Yeah, we really need to have a sit down with them and just hear about their thoughts on the the the, the issues. You know, the, the 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 real stuff, the the immigration reform and things like that. You know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't think, I certainly don't think everybody is, everybody is obligated to have an opinion about everything, but it is just funny. You, you look at these like grown men, just like, yeah, I don't know. What's your opinion on, should we build the wall? I don't know. You got, you, you kind of look like you'd want that. I, Their collections lost thousands of dollars overnight with this ebay integration on the value system i guess if they started talking about politics this would just turn into a pronouns video this would turn into one of those channels yeah so that's me like one example uh ghost face gotcha. which is a grail yeah. right and now because they use the term grail because it's a super fancy special one and now it's worth nothing oh no my pops are gone so the, the, e the value of my pops is gone e ebay yeah. pricing they have ghostface valued at 50 dollars. okay yeah so how are they getting their pricing that is just taken as a uh overall uh aggregate i guess a median price based on what things are selling for on eBay. Because it was always a question on how Funko valued everything, right? Like, where did, yeah, I, arguably, where did Funko get their valuing from? That's very... Well, yeah, this is just a very... Like, this is what I'm saying. It's an interesting situation of, like, well, who says what these fucking things are worth? Because the market said they were worth a certain amount, and now it says they're worth a different amount. Who else is saying differently for what they are worth? I don't know. I guess there's gonna be idiots like this that jack up the value of anything so i guess whatever the, the the market thing will probably correct itself eventually but these people won't buy from ebay because ebay has fakes or whatever they don't want to get a fake funko pop god forbid they'd rather i don't know why i keep my i keep like fucking right clicking and opening the fucking menus it needs to stop but uh yeah god forbid they get a fucking fake funko pop you know, they'd rather their kid gets AIDS to get a fake Funko Pop. They get the fake see-through Bing Bong, and you can't see through it. It's like opaque. What a fucking shame. Um, yeah, so so they can't use eBay. So I mean, but yeah, like, what is the value of a Funko Pop when when the the official app says that it this super expensive Grail is worth fifty bucks? Like, what is the actual value then? I guess whatever you people are willing to pay for it. They balk at the idea of eBay being an auction site, but that's exactly what, I guess, is needed. 
is people to bid on these fucking things and figure out what the value is from that. I mean, that's that's the only logical step. True. So we did. We never really knew where the value. We just assume these are the values, right? Yeah. And they are just the values. There's I think no... it's based on on recorded sales. Okay. So I think that that is <laughs> AIDS is treatable. Fake Funko Pops aren't. You know, that's a really good point. The gayest person on YouTube was that. What's your name? The gayest person on YouTube. <laughs> that's a really good point. The gayest person on YouTube. You know, AIDS really isn't as bad as fake Funko Pops. If you think about it, actually, that's a really good point. Thank you for th thank you for thank thank you for contributing. But eBay's an auction site, correct? So if you're, uh, then I feel like the value should be higher. Then it should be because people pay more on auction sites because yeah. I don't know. I don't know. So I, the values are, are. But eBay also has a lot of fakes. eBay has a lot of fakes. But the fakes, but the, the fakes. Oh my God, the fake Funko Pop epidemic. It's gonna. It's it's really it's really a problem, isn't it? The fake Funko Pops. That's one of the. They're big... not made of vinyl. They're made of corn. Oh dear. Complaints. Let's give an example. as Hobby DB. Right. So you and I use that all the time. Yeah. It's because, better than Funko Shop. Especially since the Funko app before this update was yeah. completely off. Right. As well as it never did the difference. It, it is better now as far as the difference between stickers. Right. Sticker variants. Uh, and uh, they actually, the chases will come up now. Uh, new Funko updates. Is Coca Cola ripping off Funko? Okay. Welcome back to another episode of the K Dog and Fish Show. I am Fish. K Dog. Is Coca Cola ripping off Funko? We got some of these pop can collectibles. We're going to open them. The so, brand new Coca Cola pop can. So Coke is doing this fucking thing now, too? Oh, good God. Oh, good God, the trend of fucking soda can action figures has taken off. Are you fucking serious? And collectibles. Jesus now, Christ. Now, this also sparked, before we open these up, mm -hmm. sparked a little bit of a debate because a lot of the language they were using to promote these, mm -hmm. they made it, it, it sounded like Funko. This yeah. is in no way related to Funko mm -hmm. at all. Is Coca-Cola well, ripping least... off? At least these are better. You got just little penguin guys and stuff. These are infinitely fucking better. Of course they aren't going to open them. I'm like going through this waiting for them to open one of the... I guess they did. They opened them at some point. Oh yeah, no, they open them here. They open them. They do open the cans. That's good. At least they aren't... They aren't doing that. Um, find the chase. Ugh, ugh, fuck you. But yeah, these are a lot better. I would prefer these if I had to get a, one of these can collectibles. The whole fucking concept is stupid, but I'll take a I'll take a little Coke polar bear. That's 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 cool. It's not a hideous fucking Funko figure fucking abortion. It's not one of those fucking things. It's just a little it's just a little it's just a little bear and a, like a there's like a seal, you know, these are fine. There's some penguins. These are fine. These are fine. These are like the manger babies. Um yeah, so that's the Funko Pop, guys. This is the latest in see-through Bing Bong news. Uh, just what a growing shill needs uh, in the morning. Um, so I said earlier I wanted to do some space bullshit, some some cults and stuff. Um, sp spacey bullshit. I wanted to look up fucking... Man. Man, you know what? You know what? It, you know what? It, it's been a while since we've done this. It's been a while since we've done this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I I'm in a spacey mood. I'm in a space mood. I'm in a Doctor Who mood. We're doing. We're looking up the term Starseed on YouTube and seeing what we get. Um, and and immediately I I see T Z In Yang over here. And she's a she's a star seed, and she's got tarot cards, and she's gonna tell us all about the stars, and space. Today is simply the deck of Queen of Swords. So oh. Queen of Swords, she bold baby, she bold live at five <laughs> in charge. She fucking dead. And if you that type of person, because I know nowadays we gotta be consistently like on our shit oh. does anybody remember the name who do i what's the name of the the tiktok psychic lady who like 
had that that fracas a little while ago where she she said some like teacher was guilty of murder or something i I would like to look her up because i think she ruined her whole life with her bullshit at some point so that's exciting but uh this lady just reminded me of her uh, for some reason no play and all this maybe you get tired eventually you get tired yeah, she's uh, very well endowed with uh, with the knowledge. That's true. Oh, you that queen of swords, you're very bold, very unfeathering in your words and your choices. People got you misconstrued. Ashley, you just... okay. So, so, so in chat we have <clears throat> we have Ashley Gillian, Ashley Gullet, Ashley Gullard, and then a lot of people saying big fat knockers. So not such an assertive person you also are a person of ambition goals dreams goals the sun the sun will come out tomorrow and this is that uh page of swords right here uh-huh you be minding your business doing your own shit but you stay ready stay ready you ain't never gotta get ready there's this shit but you stay ready Okay, see, I went, I rewound because I thought that this was supposed to be like a modern day, like, like sassy woman, like who who don't take no shit. But no, it's just a lady with a sword. Stay ready, you ain't never gotta get ready, as they say. Gotta get um, ready. Well, the cards I've been collecting as far as a very determined individual. Uh huh. Still gentle. When you release your in the gentle nature, some people be having you, you know, messed frocked up. They got you messed Man, um, are those nails causing any problems with the cards? It feels like that would really get in the way. Stop. Can you release Look at nail? those nails. Look at these ridiculous this is like you have fucking stilts on your hands. Energy and they don't know what Why? to do. They can't handle it. They can't stand the rain. Uh oh. So like she can't handle the cards because her nails are fucking ridiculous. They can't stand it. Can't stand ya! You come into union, you tell them to back off the first time. The nails they are psychic antennas. Back the hell off. That's what they need to do. Because you know what? When in doubt, go ahead and nine of cups. Treat yourself. Tell me more about the cups. I know y'all people, you know, we like to be tough. We like to do all that rah, 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 rah. Somehow you need to sit your ass down. She seems very tired for some reason. All right, well, that's her. She's reading her fucking uh, tarot cards. Uh, here's this guy. What's going on, Chosen? Oh boy, who does this remind you all of? Who, who, who in the the in the the Maha Vishnu does this remind you of? Uh, God is good, everyone. Um, the anointing and protection over your life is powerful. While they watch you, God and spirit team are watching them. They play the victim and project because they know your heart is pure. They think you're naive. They think you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. At this point, everybody knows that you are the one that's shining bright. Everybody knows that you are the one that's different. Everybody. Well, yeah, no, it's not spiritual so. I mean, I guess. Yeah, a little bit, I guess. I was, yeah, I was talking about the foot guy because... Well, he kind of looks like him. He's got the dreads, and I think he had a beard, too. But he's also got all the text just, like, at a weird slant all over the screen. But uh, you can actually understand what he's saying, and the text makes sense, too. I mean, it's stupid, but it does make sense. It's not just complete gibberish like that guy. So this is, like, a more down-to-earth version of the foot guy. He knows that you are the one here to make a change, and they want everything that you have, so they are going to... Whether or not he's into feet is not relevant to this video, I think. Try best to take it from you make it seem like you don't really got it let them say anything they want to you or about you do not lose your character over these people that's exactly what they want they go out and badmouth you and then come back to you and do things to try to get you out of your character because they want to be right about the things they say they all right brother i fucking i haven't heard a single word you've been saying but uh that's cool uh, something about the real life Yu Gi Oh games that people play here's this lady there are others who are simply putting on a show and acting like they're okay with things and like they are unbothered when truly they are bothered in every way and and oh, I love people using like their their tarot video to subtweet someone that, like they have a problem with again it's major babies she goes out here with her tarot card show to just complain about things in her life and Buckley breaking heart breaking up with her or whatever 
He's just like, well, here's the queen of clubs, and, you know, she's a strong, fierce, independent lady who doesn't need that fucker, Roger. You fucker! Instead of making people believe what they're putting out, they are making people have a trust issues because they are seen right They're having the trust issues, ma'am. They're being seen through their actions in the show they're putting on. There are persons who are simply saying, hey, I like your style. I like your swag. It's a holiday season. It's cuddle uh -huh. season. And I don't know if we're going to be together forever or a complete commitment for good. But hey, why don't we? What are you fucking talking? Like, am I... Am I the problem? Is this does this make perfect sense and I'm just stupid like spend the seasons When did we start talking about cuddling on the holidays, lady? Fucking slow down. Together. Jesus Christ. Enjoy each other's company instead of doing it. Buy me dinner first. Nine of cups. <laughs> Nine of cups. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I'm good. Uh Uh here's yeah, here's this lady. Uh, there's a lot of shorts. What's this? There's a baby in space. Oh, your heart knows the way. So, little little kids and space and imagination. It's like the end of The Last Jedi. He's looking up at the stars. Look, it's... And this one's like the Nirvana album, but with the less nudity. It's Starfield, everyone! He's gonna go to the stars! It's great! Oh, adventure! Look at all the AI art! It's so cool! Okay, what about this one? Light codes. Oh god. Oh, one of the hashtags is light language. What the fuck is that? I have to look at that one. What are light codes? Oh boy, she's doing... Make some more weird noises, I'd really appreciate that. Yeah, she was doing like air jujitsu or something. Alright, great, very cool. Uh, what about this lady? <laughs> Alright, thank you. <laughs> Project Starseed, Tiamat, stay off they page, get on yours. Team GMJ, Star Seeds, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Listen up. Gazer! Gazer! page. Alright. Stay off their page. You know who I'm talking about. Alright? For some of you who are going I can virtually assure you that I do going not. certain healings who are, who are still going through even the dark night of the soul. This is a public service announcement to just stay off of their social media. Stop worrying about them, okay? They're not worrying about you. They just want your attention for fuel. They just want your energy for fuel, all right? All right. You know, do something that you want to do for you today. Yeah, yeah, don't. It's a good idea. Stay off of social media. It's a good idea in general. Um, are you feeling lost from Dolores Cannon over here? What's up, Star Seed Jesus Christ. Uh, so I figured I would chime in because I watched this video last night and it just made it me think about why I got drawn to a lot of this stuff in the first place was those of you who are out there who identify with feeling like lost souls or light workers or star seed. <sighs> right, I was supposed to look one of those up. Hang on. I do want to see about that light language hashtag light language what do we got here oh yeah oh look at this guy right here hashtag light language <laughs> all right i'll be right back everybody enjoy um <clears throat> take it easy for a sec i'll uh, i just have to just go go grab a drink and everything i'll be right back <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
No, 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 you can stop that now. This is from Juan Van Wick. Take a look at this channel here. Uh, I just immediately really enjoyed that. Here he talks about artificial intelligence. So if we look at the universe from an animistic perspective, everything is conscious, everything um, carries, everything is energy. And we also look at it from the perspective of everything existing off of the archetype. I really preferred you when you were quiet. You mean to say, again, consciousness? AI has existed since forever, like since the first tool was created. Somebody said his neck is like he adapt. What is that? His neck is like he adapted to eat from trees. Yeah. <laughs> like flight or fight response. Yeah. How are we finding all this cringe gold from a simple YouTube search? Well, I mean, it's the word star seed. It's very important. Well, this is light language. AI actually. existed because a tool is technology. We've had gods of technology since the first tool was created. The god of technology, the 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 archetype of technology started existing, came into being. Hence, AI. Oh, well, he really thinks he's fucking smart, doesn't he? I came into being. It's already been here. Okay, it's just not been uh, okay. it's been hiding itself. I don't want to actually say hiding itself It's just not been presenting itself in the way that we are now recognizing. Yeah in the crucible of the White House. It was formed um, Transmute shame blah 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 What about your videos okay. your dreams are true uh, Yeah trauma Reiki, uh-huh Can you feel the shit? Oh yeah, it's it's flowing in here. Everything works in your favor. Updating your body, your light body, to 9D conscious. 9D? I thought it was 8D. Well, what happens? We, we we did 8D before, didn't we? But there's a 9D now. Was not was it 9D that we did before? I don't think it was. It was it wasn't nine. They they there's a whole new D. Oh, he's speaking in tongues! At the end of this, I'm gonna be in an ambulance looking like an eggplant. Yamba yamba jamba lamba kamba yamba lamba tamba yamba wiki waka wiki diki daki diki siki saki siki fucky fucky fiki good video really enjoying this so far I think some of these are words, but then he starts for a little bit. <laughs> Somebody said he's bro is speaking Rayman. Watch out. <laughs> It's Rayman 2. Juwane mi maoistu! Maoistu! Oh! Chapa da Buddha zo manai li! We gotta go find Lee the fairy. He's telling us all- he's telling us to find Lee the fairy. He's telling us Glowbox is missing. <laughs> yeah, we gotta stop making so many jokes. This is a one minute video that updates our light body. To 9D, and we're making jokes. We're laughing, and this is happening right now. That's really the important stuff. Venus, uh, light language to sing a new song, light language healing. 
Oh, thank God, it's more of this. That's all I wanted, really, was more of this. And now he's doing throat singing. You know, I need to get this guy on for part three of my song. Wise woman, wise woman, wise woman sitting here. Wise woman, wise woman, wise woman, wise woman here. All right, cool. Or is this the whole video then, or do you have anything to say? No, all right, cool. Thank you. Um, it's probably a real language, but it's just the way he starts. I don't know. I, I mean, maybe it's a real language. There's a lot of weird trilling in it that just sounds like it's just being made up on the spot. Uh, what's this one? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, it's the same fucking thing again. Jesus Christ. I like language where I share. Oh, okay, he actually... So, wait, is this actually not a real language? Is this a made-up light language? Is that what that means? Is this, this is, is this language that he's speaking the light language? That might be what it is, and it's not a real actual language. He's speaking tongues. It's northern dialect elvish. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome to my channel where I share my language, where I share my experiences that I've been having in growing in I don't know, just experience in life, I guess, right? Especially in regards to the light language. Well, I don't know if it's a real light. You're like it's not to shit post, but you can't tell how he's well, no, I don't know what fucking languages there are. For all I know, that's like fucking some weird Nordic bullshit. I don't fucking know. What the fuck? What, what do I know about, like... The guy looks like he's fucking... I don't know, it sounds a little bit like uh, Hebrew, you know? It's, not, it's It doesn't sound like gobbledygook, smoogity boogity like I, was, like I was speaking as a joke. It doesn't sound like Simlish. So, no, I wouldn't say it sounds entirely fake, but it's... It sounds like elf language. I think that's the closest thing that I... Somebody said it's real. Maybe it is an actual real elf language from, like, Lord of the Rings or some shit. I would be able to believe that. I recently, as the Nair, went through a very intense um, change, a very intense initiation, um, which has been shifting my perspective a lot. Um, and it was interesting... It was interesting to me now, like, as I kind of wound down from this energy, I was doing this transmission very focused on how I feel very, I almost want to say discontent, but, like, I feel very kind of, like, um, self-aware about the fact that this song, it's almost like it's the same song over and over again that I'm singing with the light language. And what I'm experiencing with that is that it's almost keeping me stuck in some kind of energetic loop. Mm. Um, and then I was, as I was winding down, I was like, okay, well, how would I, how would I ask, how would I intend for a new... I'm not sure <laughs> the cut off, but I'm taking that as a sign to kind of do that. To kind of like... What? <laughs> he was just going and then it cut off and he... He's just gonna keep on going, I guess. I'm not sure where they cut off, but I'm taking that as a sign to kind of do that. Uh, the, the camera shut off while I was talking, so clearly that's a sign of... Uh, that's that's a good thing, yeah. That's that's definitely... God approves. To kind of, like, like cut off the... I don't want to say cut off the old song, but, like, again, that was experiencing... Uh, that was creating some kind of experience that's yeah. kind of... It was the I, same old story, the same old song and dance, you know? Um, so sometimes he talks and stuff, but a lot of the time it's just this light language thing, which is what we looked up to get here, so I guess that makes sense. Accepting the unacceptable. Ask Jesus to whip their asses! Uh. <sighs> Pongo, Pongo, sweet body, Pongo, Pongo. 
My darling Pongo. Great. Good, good song. More of this? Good, good. Really fucking think about it. Oh, That's... thank you. Back to English now. That's right. Um, the other day, though, I actually heard uh, my grandfather say that apparently Jesus didn't just like do that. He actually went and sat down and started weaving the web. Which to me says that this man, the Christ, had time to think. He had time to integrate, to transmute his anger. He had time to really fucking think about it. And still he decided to go in and whip their asses, right? <laughs> um, and I want to revert back to that because I feel like so many people think that light beings you know people in service to god are not supposed to be a certain way or they're trying to project their own sense a gaslight project their own sense of morality uh, onto what god should be i love um, i love i love that the word gaslight is just like a household word now everybody thinks they know the meaning of the word and uses it constantly and, they're gaslighting us. That is what he said, I think. I, I'm not sure. That is not at all like how it. this works, okay? So never feel ashamed, never feel afraid, and never feel guilty for expressing yourself as authentically as you possibly can, because that is what God is about. Doesn't matter if it's anger, it doesn't matter if it's even jealousy, it doesn't even matter if it's fucking disbelief, as long as it's in authenticity. The reason I'm saying this is because the this is this is a great character. This you know, I've said this about people before, but it's really one of the highest one of the highest honors I can say of someone. This guy feels like somebody you would get mis missions from in one of the good GTA games, like like a like a San Andreas character or something. This guy feels like a San Andreas character. Tables are about to come like like fully turn. The tables are about to. I actually want to say complete turning okay and I've, I've shared about this you know as christ said in like the last shall, shall inherit the earth etc etc there's about to be a very intense fall from grace for a lot of people for a lot of false light construct consciousnesses these are people that have been working with knowingly with the false light these are people that have been knowing false light working behind the scenes like trump talked about to... that once <laughs> To... What's happening here? <sighs> is he burping? <sighs> what the fuck is happening? He's like burping himself like a baby. <laughs> He's like rubbing his stomach to get the burps out. Means in order to. <sighs> <sighs> what the fuck is this? Holy shit! That's that's detestable. <sighs> what the fuck? <clears throat> Manifest. What the fuck? <laughs> with darkness. So there's nothing wrong with darkness, but these people have been utilizing the life force. Jesus as they, Christ! As tying, uh, the life Spiritual force IBS! Of, of, of the people around them. They've been utilizing, they've been siphoning energy, basically. This is also in relation with uh, with the channeled message I got this morning. Um, secret society, a secret society that thinks they're the shit secret is doing society. magic on you to mold you. But really, they're just trying to take your energy. Really, they're just trying to siphon your energy, okay? Um, so, so never be afraid to protect yourself. Never be afraid to, 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 to kind of go into your own sacred uh -huh. space, to go into your synagogue and your whip synagogue. a motherfucker with a whip that you weave yourself. Because, <laughs> again, if the Christ... What exactly are you getting at here, Emma Chamberlain? What exactly point are you trying to articulate here? What, who, who is the motherfucker we're whooping? Who, who, who deserves the beat down here? Is it that fucker Jesus? I thought I thought so. I thought so. Did this? You have full authority to do it yourself, right? Or just ask him to whip their asses, because I think that would be much faster. Okay. Thank you so much, Satnam. Please do consider liking and subscribing. Please do consider donating or contacting me for a personal session. All of my information is in the description box down below. <laughs> and yes, I will see you again. Too. Yes. Do do donate to me. No. Donate to me now. Tomorrow. <laughs> it's like Mike's Mike made a self-healing channel. Blessing your new year. 
It has always been written. So this is a good channel. I'm going to save this guy for another time. Uh, I'm glad we looked up star seeds. We got some good nonsense out of that. <clears throat> and now, I think the time is right, ladies and gentlemen. I have some very special stuff for you. It is the evening. It is a it is a dark and stormy night, potentially, depending on where you live. It might be storming, hypothetically. But it's 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 prime time. It is prime time Saturday night, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to take a look at the ABDL cooking channel. Um, where a man is, uh, dressed in a full soggy diaper, uh, and making food. And, um, I watched one of his videos, and it was entertaining all the way through. And he has so many more. It's great. There's so many more. So, um, if you just give me a second here. I hope they haven't been taken down or anything. Uh, no, it's still here. That's good. Um, so this is a channel. This was uploaded ten months ago. Um, <clears throat> diaper cooking action. That's right. Just the, the, you know, I always, I always knew the Metal Gear series was weird, but when that became the tagline for one of the games that I, I it really, I don't know what Kojima was thinking there, but, uh, yeah, this is this channel called, um, baby Mikey forever, ABDL making chicken salad in his very wet, soggy diaper. And, uh, you can see his little smile here. Um, I think, uh, yeah, this is him, and I want to say there's a, a serious pamper chew situation going on in this scenario, and you're going to see what I mean, potentially, pretty quickly. Oh, ready, so part two of the... So now we got... That's that. So here we are in the fridge, let's just... Two of the... So, this, you know, door, there's a lot two of stuff in of here. The... Nothing that looks too crazy. So now we got... We got this nice little happy jingly fucking copyright free like ukulele in the background. That's that. Who's relish? Hello. No, it did shift, yes. Oh yes, where I post your chefs, ladies and gentlemen. Your little chef uh, dork, uh, if you have it there, please post it. Uh, if you are a, ma a channel member, you have access to the little chef wing dork. Where is my? Uh, here's here's Chef Excellence though. We we will we will we'll, we'll keep him on screen for now. Uh, but if you do have your your chef wing dorks in chat, I think that's the name of it. I, I that might have been what I called it. Whatever it is, it's it's in there. There's a there's a little chef you know. That's because I what camera. Well, no, here, looks like it's turning inward. Did you leave it like that? Yeah, I left it like that. When I put the wire back there? It's great. It's great it copyright hot. music. It's hot. <laughs> Look at this chicken, ladies and usermen. So this chicken is... I can't tell what's going on here. Um, I, I, This is the video that I saw, uh, and... I still don't know because the chicken looks disgusting. I mean, it looks like it's both old and raw and uh, it's like uncooked and raw and also overcooked and old and stale at the same time. It's it's gray and also pink and I think it was cooked. There's like a part here that's like, I don't know, rotting or something. There's like this part looks pretty bad. And then the rest of it, it looks like a corpse more than, like, actual meat. But they're gonna make chicken salad out of this. It's hot. Alright, so what was, what was gonna eat too? We're gonna get so we got another uh, individual in this, in, this, in this scenario too. There's another guy. We can hear him there. Chicken. What's in that bowl now? That bowl had it? So this is a dog that's in a very unfortunate situation. He's got the heterochromia, which is cool. Um, very unfortunate situation for this dog to be in this house. And uh, as the video progresses, you might see, you might see that. You hungry, Mr. Boo-Boops? You hungry, Mr. Boo-Boops? Look at the fucking, the fucking detail on this. Look at this chicken. This is what they're using to make this like chicken salad and I don't I don't know like which part of this is even meat it looks like 
like cartilage and rot and maybe skin and like fucking fat. I don't see meat anywhere here. This is horrible. This is the worst chicken. This is more disgusting than the fucking chicken in a can that Ashens ate. They aren't even going to feed it to the dog. They're going to fucking make it for themselves and have that as chicken salad. Well, the dog eats some of it. What's well, old? So we got some nice fucking jingly, like, like, ukulele background music. Well, this guy's like, ah, oh, there's moldy shit in the fridge. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, so we gotta do this. Yeah, we're gonna bone oh, the chicken. I need the relish. Do I get more money if you do? Ah, uh, well, I think, I think I get more money if you get. Well, I think it's the same split split for YouTube either way. But you, you know, you uh, you get to like be a member and have cool emotes if you if you sign up so so there's that there's also the gift membership so there's that Wait, problem what? is the membership is 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 it's only it, it is i guess if you want if you want to give me like a hundred dollars and a message you know it's probably best to just do that rather than like because i don't think you're able to do like 50 fucking gift memberships and also have a message with that which is really unfortunate i don't know if you can do that on twitch but but yeah, it, it, I think you're only allowed to. You can have a message with your one, with your one like membership for yourself. But yeah, I don't know. It it would be be cool if you could have a message along with your like, you know, gift gift thing. And thank you, by the way. I see the, the memberships and stuff. Thank you, everybody. Uh, specifically, uh, Mog Magic. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I hope hey, you enjoy you the Chef Wing Dorks. Still have the thing? What the? The old relish, or you threw that out? So, we're over here by so some just need the juice or the cranberry juice? sauce, and we're about to see the fella here. So this guy's in his, like, 20s. This guy's, I think, in his, like, 20s or his, like, early 30s or something. And he's got, like, the full George Costanza going on up top, um, which is a shame. It's a real shame for him. Um, so even some juice too so we're putting relish into the chicken salad for some reason which maybe that's a thing you do but it's just this is like one of the first things he's going to add instead of like the chicken or the mayo or anything he's putting in relish which is just interesting is the brand pamps I think the brand of relish is called pamps Okay, there we go. Relish. Mayonnaise. Put mayonnaise. Back. We guap some. So now we're making the chicken. What is this again? Real? So we've got this like cranberry sauce happening. They're making a whole fucking feast. And it's basically just him and his unknown adult friend person who's who's living here um, <clears throat> with, with him. Um, at this point, you know, you might be starting to wonder, is this his father? Is this his roommate? Is this his, just his friend? Uh, is there a more sinister overtone to this? Four tables. <laughs> yeah, this is chicken salad. We're making chicken salad. Chicken salad. Chicken salad. One. Two. We need some guaps. A three. A four. Uh, you excited? Did 
we need this fucking background music over this video? You could have edited the video. Instead, there's background music. We have 11 minutes left on the chicken. And this is, this is yeah. what? And that's chicken broth that we can put in the rice next time, right? And that's chicken broth that we can add to that to put in the rice. Cause that will be more salty and flavored. Cause so this guy is fucking really annoying. Uh, you might've noticed that as he walks around this kitchen and just points at things and goes, that's chicken broth. And, um, the thing is, is I, I would say there's a theory that potentially he, you know, is he maybe just doing that, you know, because he wants to, uh, is he just doing that because he wants to be like a baby and be like a little baby who's like, what's that? Is that what he's trying to do? I'm really not sure, but I think that that's, there's a chance of that. I don't know. The th that. That idea has, has has crossed my mind. That's what you poured in last time, remember? And it made it taste good? Yeah, we're gonna save this chicken broth. All of it. Yeah, it always comes in handy. Better than buying. All right, so we're gonna need to sit over there. Oh. God, the fucking state of this chicken. So we see the chicken here again and he starts breaking it up and it's like where did you get this fucking shit you know you've heard of government cheese allow me to introduce government chicken what in the fuck fuck what what in the fuck fuck it, the chicken is like it's all it looks it looks like some kind of i don't know the outside is all like leathery it looks like it's been like hanging in a fucking butcher shop for two weeks it's like a rubber chicken that they cooked by mistake. Oh, my diaper is full. Yeah, go, you can... <clears throat> so, yeah, in case you forgot, this is an ABDL making chicken salad in his very wet, soggy diaper. Oh, my diaper. And that is a pretty, um, hefty bulge there. I would say the diaper is pretty full, yeah. Diaper is full. Yeah, go, you can, all those, bo all those bowls clean for now, you can bone that, throw it in here, no skins. Dog bowl. Okay. Dog bowl. Now, you put this like that. Action. So he was just touching his fucking soggy diaper and now he's... Touching the chicken with his hands. Is that woo -woo? Look, I, got you. I think this is the food for the dog, Mr. Woolwolf. Uh, and and he's going to get the soggy diaper juices all over his his chicken, which is just unfortunate, really. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. He's going to get rice with that. It's Should I just make him a bowl? Why is it so yeah, soggy? Why, why do you think it's soggy? He likes the skins, so we're gonna put the skins and break them up for him. Not too many, because he gets the shits. You don't want to give him too many of the skins, he gets the shits! So essentially, this is Pamperchu and Dragon Lord Frodo live in a house together. And they're making some food. And, uh, I, I, I enjoy that dynamic right now. He gets shits? Yeah, he shits in here. You'll be you'll be cleaning the pan again, Mike. <laughs> Get the shits. <laughs> <laughs> the pan? The pan, the one you found because the bathroom was occupied. Yeah. <laughs> you could have just knocked on the door and I was left. Uh, I didn't know you were gonna spend 25 minutes in there. I was in tw that wasn't 25 minutes. And it seemed like that to me because I was holding it for a while and I just couldn't. So we've got a whole story going on here. Daddy needed to go to the bathroom, but for some unspecified reason, baby Mikey, forever, uh, was indeed taking forever in the bathroom, not using the bathroom uh, for any shits-related reasons. 
but just kind of dicking around, it seems. Couldn't For some unspecified reason. Endure any longer, as they say. I was just hanging out on my phone. Someone says, this is so decadent. I agree, chat member. Not in the bathroom with the door. It's a, a marvelous choice of words. Thank you for well, that. That's a place where people have to do their business. <laughs> well, funny, Mike. Yeah, it wasn't something... funny when I came out of the bathroom. That's why I left it for you. Hee 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 I'm a little shit goblin. Hee <laughs> hee. We left them some a good meal in the pan. <laughs> He can have the cuddle in. Did he just say that he... <coughs> Did he just say that he shat in the dog bowl or whatever? Because... Fuck. <coughs> <coughs> Motherfucker. Because baby Mikey was in the bathroom. The daddy shat in a, in a, in a, in a dog bowl or something. A dog pan. Is that what is that what was just implied there? I, I think that might have been the implication. He had a college one. Mom found this the shift so the shit clean. bowl. Well, we're just putting uh see Apparently the dog can eat the cartilage, by the way. The the baby Mikey asks if the dog can have the cartilage and the the daddy individual is, is just fine with that. Do you know what part of the chicken this is? Thighs? This is the Breast? thighs. This is all thighs. Oh okay. Breast lucky is, lucky it, guess. He's a little poo Breast duende. It, it makes it dry. Thighs are better. Like, don't be throwing chicken fucking pots around. <laughs> you got grease on this shit. You think hee 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 No one can stop me. I'm shitting everywhere. Hee hee hee. I put my shit on everything. I just wiped the walls with my hands after I touched my little diaper. Hee hee hee. I am a menace to society. Hee hee. I want to clean up after you. Your training's over in a week. After this is it's what's sad about this too, and I'm like fascinating and amazing is <clears throat> this guy is this guy is sitting here and he's got this huge smile and he's laughing and everything. And he's having a great time. And for him, I think this is like the this is like the happiest years of his life. He's just having a blast. He's a having a he's having a great time. This is the this is the golden years. This is the this is the era that they would make the sitcom about. This is like him in his prime. And uh and you know, he's got the music and everything. I don't know, this is something very sentimental about this in a weird way. To that. Be careful. You excited? Well, uh, you ready to straighten him out when he fails in a task? You take him out back and put him on a leash? You excited? Where do you put the bone? The bone's gonna go in the trash. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, there was something about a training happening. He was going to be trained. His training was going to start soon or something. Which, uh, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't the dog that was going to be trained. It was him. So, baby Mikey here is getting getting trained up real good, I guess. <clears throat> Leave him in there and then at the end, throw all the bones away. After you wash your hands, because I wash the trash can. He's just a devious little diaper duty boy. <laughs> I was here a year that that cash, trash cover has never been that dirty. Really? You've been here how long? Four weeks? It mm. looks like that thing went through the uh, the kitchen at the army. The kitchen at the army? Any more chicken. Okay. So now we're gonna get a little less food. So go over that again real I, quick. I was here a year that, that cash trash cover has never been that dirty really? trash cover the trash cover is so dirty this guy is and he's just so happy and smiley about it as this guy 
I wonder if the daddy is like having as quite as good of a time. I guess he was laughing too. He's probably happy also, but you know, this is again the golden years. This is them together. This is like this is like the start of all in the family, Edith and, and Archie singing those were the days. You know, but it's this guy and his daddy uh, at the piano talking about and you, gir girls were girls and men were diaper lads and 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 you know this is the this is great stuff real bonding moment but you know he's talking about how filthy the fucking place is the guys lived here for four years so we've ruled out at this point then <clears throat> the dad daddy person the older gentleman here has lived here for several years and this guy has just lived here for maybe a few weeks or something i think they said he said uh so so yeah it's uh not not a real relative i would say probably you've been here how long four weeks four weeks it looks like that thing went through the uh the kitchen at the army the kitchen at the army the kitchen, kitchen at the, the, the army? army okay and now we're gonna get a little straightened out how much chicken we're gonna make oh we got plenty i mean we've seen what's cooking oh, in the diaper Yes, we can make two meals yes, that. that was a diaper. It's very wet and soggy. He showed it earlier. He panned down and said, damn, my diaper is full. And then he started, and he touched his soggy diaper, and then he started breaking up the chicken with his hands here. Thank you. Thank you for anyone who just joined, anyone who was tabbed out looking at cock porn. There you go. We haven't been feeding That's what's him. happening. Well, he has food. Yeah, I don't know what you did to his food. What you pour in there? I don't know. Yeah. And he don't eat eggs, Mike. He didn't eat eggs? No, he's not an egg eater. Why? Why? Your egg was still in there that you gave him. Oh. I needed eggs today. I was short eggs. I needed an egg and I didn't have a fucking egg. I was short eggs. Hey, come on. I wanted an omelet here. And you gave a fucking egg to the dog? He can't eat a fucking egg. I needed it for my omelet here. Come on. It would have made a big difference. It would have made a but difference. Cooked. You told me that you didn't want to eat it. Go, go, go and wash. Then you told me that I could have it. Go wash your hands. Huh? <laughs> no. I fought Charlie so my so my boy could wear a diaper. Yeah. I you, you, listen. This guy went through hell. In the Gulf War or whatever, the, the the Gulf of Mexico War, wherever he was stationed, he went through hell, and and it was all to protect America's freedoms for people like this. And what does that what does that tell you? I don't know. Now I gotta wash that towel now because you just put all grease in it to it. Okay, wash your hands before you tub. That's the dry towel. That's not for getting. That's the dry towel. It's not for your fucking diaper chicken grease, you fuck. Is that the one that was on the refrigerator? It's going in the laundry now because you just put Look at that adorable, cute diaper, by the way. Isn't that a cute diaper? Look at that cute, cute, full diaper that he's got on. There's a little... There's a little smiley bear on there. That's adorable. Aww. Laundry now because you just put all greasy hands all over it. Alright, so we need rice in there? Any more chicken? Yeah, the rice is in the refrigerator. Hands clean? Yes. Okay. Are the they? Are you chicken. sure? Walter, put your diaper away, Walter. You know how to do laundry, Mike? Yeah. Or do I have to watch that too? Do I have to train you in that field? No, I got it. So yeah, this is some sort of apprenticeship. It's the daddy training uh, Mikey here on how to do various things and be a, a grown boy, <clears throat> which is, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's why I said Pamperchew vibes. Uh, it feels like the old days of Pamperchew. Like another reason why... There's like that bittersweet element of like, again, I, I joke about like all in the family or whatever, but it does, it, it just feels like they're, they're really in their element. They're very happy with each other now, but I remember the old days of fucking Pamperchew.
when he was like being pushed on the swings by his daddy you know before all the horrible meth started happening before the daddy started pushing fucking meth on him and everything so yeah you know i don't know it's just it's not a great situation but it sure it sure they sure seem to be just ha having a great time i got it just give him a good scoop they go. grow up so fast and pichu to cool. pamps's pikachu That's yes well, I don't know if it was before he say he craved children, but put the rubber thing on. You know, it was before he said it. The rubber thing? Yeah, so he doesn't slide. See it on the. Uh. Yeah, the background music has a certain. It's very wistful. It, there's like I say that it's like copyright free ukulele, but it isn't. It's, it's got like this, like country western kind of. It sounds like a Joanna Newsom song. It sounds like something from the Red Dead Two soundtrack. It, it, it's it's it it sounds very like we're home on the range or some shit and, and it's just adding immensely to this. I feel like the video would be not nearly as charming is the word I'm going to use to describe it uh, without this 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 fucking <laughs> deer and antelope core music. Hungry? Hungry? Like trying to get you something. I hope. Yeah, give him another piece. How's this going? Right around the rim of the thing. This thing's pretty old? Yeah, he's too far. I gotta make him so when he eats, the ball don't slide. That makes it so it don't slide. It's going on a few years. Alright. All right. Alright, chat member, I will watch the Tamir video where he says he wants to fuck teenage girls or whatever. I will watch that after this. We'll, we'll continue with Baby Mikey also because there's more, there's so many more cooking videos and I've only seen this one. Um, but we will watch, we will watch the Tamir video. We, we, we will. After this. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Go Mr. Woo-woofs. Mr. Woo-woofs. Here's your meal, Mr. Woo Woofs. It's like horrible, bad chicken that's not cooked. And there's like some other garbage in there, like rice, I guess. And there's like so, just a bunch of, just a bunch of shit. I don't know. Just a bunch of shit. It looks disgusting. Um, but the dog is all, all primed to eat. Good food. for him. You would never know it, but food. Oh, yeah. Oh, this isn't as good as that time the guy shit in the bowl. Alrighty. Alrighty. I don't think the dog likes the food very much. He wasn't exactly diving in. He was very tentatively licking at it. We can, we can boom the rest of this and give him that tomorrow. You're not eating it. Has to go away. Now, I say I only watched this video. I think I did like click around some of his other videos. One of the later ones, this is from 10 months ago. One of the later ones, he has another dog. So it's possible that this dog did eventually die or they just have multiple dogs. I didn't see this dog in the other video, but I also only watched it for like a second. And then I was like, all right, this is funny. This is a good channel. And, you know. So he's just going to leave it in the bowl like that? Too much diaper chicken? Yeah. Yeah, he said he must have had a rough time. I didn't get him from a pup. So his eating habits. Uh, like, he must have been starved or something. Yeah. Somebody says it's not good when a dog won't eat because, like, the dog wouldn't eat what's in the bowl. I mean, I guess it's possible the dog could be full, but, like, dogs tend to eat. You know, if you pre present them with food, they will eat it a lot of the time, unless there's something really wrong with them or wrong with the food. And the dog's not that interested in this food. And it didn't look that good, so. You're gonna, you're gonna eat this whole bowl? No, he's got food. This is for him for tomorrow. 
That's it. Go eat your food in your bowl. Seven minutes in the Tamir video? Man. The thing is, I assumed the video would be like a minute long, like a lot of his, but no, he does have the ones that are like 20 minutes, and they're the same as the, the minute long ones, where it's just... When it's just... Him going... Like this... Very angrily... But for 20 minutes... Instead of one... And uh, you know, it's, 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 you can't watch the whole thing, but yeah. Okay. Well, Sal takes that, take that in advisement, seven minutes. Seventeen mi oh god. Yeah, Mr. Woolwoofs did not look like he wanted to be anywhere near the ball, frankly. And I really don't trust this diaper guy near the dog. I mean, that's the unspoken thing. I mean, we haven't- I said earlier in the video when we saw the dog, like, I feel bad for the dog. I feel bad. Because whether or not you, you know, whatever they're being- they're feeding him, the, the dog is being owned by these strange, strange people. And I don't trust these people with this dog. Uh, based on the thing that I might be jaded, but the things that I've seen make me not trust these people specifically with this dog, namely M Mikey here. Uh, I don't know much about the fucking daddy, but Mikey, no, I don't want him near that dog. And, uh, he is. And next video I saw from him, uh, didn't have the same dog. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he also had an entire fucking bowl full of other dog food, too. That's that's a good point also, chat member. He had this weird, disgusting bowl that this, this guy presented to him um, with the chicken and shit. But then he also had the kibble, the dry kibble in another bowl. Which, to be fair, I did taste that stuff and I could see why the dog wouldn't want to eat it. But... Yeah, I would say if that's just out for him and the dog's not eating it, that's 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 probably concerning. We're mixing the chicken here for the chicken salad. So we've been mostly focusing on feeding the dog the disgusting chicken that looked both uncooked and overcooked and old and expired all 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 at once. Um, but but now we're using that chicken with the mayo and the copious amounts of relish. Uh, to, to, to make it an actual human food for people. Good luck, though. <laughs> you got relish in here? You know, yesterday I made some tuna and egg sandwiches, which is a thing I only started doing because Yakuza games have them at the fucking Popo or whatever. You can get, like, you know, various sandwiches and fucking pork buns and shit. And one of the ones is tuna and egg, and I was like, that sounds interesting. And so I started making it, and it's very, very good. I like it a lot. It's a lot better than just a regular egg salad sandwich, but it's got a little bit of, it's got a little bit of that charm to it. Um, uh, so I, I'm a fan of the salad sandwiches, you know, the the chicken salad, tuna, whatever, egg, even. I'm I'm go I'm cool with it. Potato salad, all good stuff. Uh, there's a decidedly well, I'm gonna use the word diapery quality. It's this is very uh, uh, diapery. It's kind of earthy. Uh, it's a little shitty. It, there's something about this this mix doesn't look great. I don't know. It's not. I don't know. I can't put my finger. on Maybe it's the horrible, disgusting, uncooked chicken that we saw. Yep. Oh yeah, tuna and egg, and then I put a bunch of, um, I put, it was, I used a lemon tuna thing, like a can of, like, lemon tuna, and then I also, uh, I also had some spices in there, so it was like a perfect, perfect ratio of lemony and spicy, and there was a good egg distribution, it was fantastic, I had four of them, I didn't even eat dinner, I mean, that was great, but this is making me not want to ever have that again. Cause this looks similar enough. I had celery and, and green onions in mine. Yeah, this is gonna put me off of the whole concept. Oh, and then we get this super slow-mo, I forgot. Yeah. Look at it congeal and 
gelatinify and scrungulate. Look at it scrungulate. Chat members, it's 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 fungungulating in there. It's discombobulating. And then it's rescombobulating. Oh man. This is a real sex this is a real sex show. This should be on Chatterbait, not YouTube. Oh man. Yep. The, no, wait. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, there. Ah. Uh. Bingo! There it is. Yep, I just came. Alright. Came my pants. Alright. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Good video. Really enjoying it. Really enjoying this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the best thing I've ever watched on this channel. This is really guntacular. Again, this like wistful, sad music. I can just hear Joanna Newsome warbling over this. Oh god, oh god, oh god! I think it's good. Whoa, that's hot. Ovens tend to be, Mikey. Is that good? That looks good to me. Well, close the fucking oven, Mikey. So, okay, there's a chicken alarm happening. Oh god, turn off the alarm. Suck my dick! Suck my dick! Suck my dick! Is that good? Oh, Mikey, Jesus, Mikey, what the fuck? Come on, don't show him the chicken, Mikey. He was about, he was, he was like lowering the greasy, fresh out of the oven uh, pan in front of the dog, where he could have easily dropped it and splashed hot grease all over the dog and seriously hurt him. Uh, and you're, he's also like teasing him with food he can't eat or whatever too. Uh, it's really good. Shine? Get it hot? Get a knife and cut it. Yeah, and the daddy is having to explain to him, like, cut your meat! The, what you do with meat is you cut it and then you put it into your face that you used to suck dick with and then you eat it! Wow! Yeah, he just picks it up with his hands, obviously. Oh, yeah. Look at that juicy pink bastard. That's good. You want your nice, your rare chicken right there. Oh, that's, that's good, good stuff. That's exactly how you want it. And what's this for? That's for our dinner. Oh, really yeah. Nice. nice and juicy. There's still some good blood on that chicken. That's great. That's beautiful. How did this turn out? Is it good? Why is he naked, chat member? Do uh, he's not naked. He's uh, wearing a very soggy and, and wet diaper. It says so in the title. Can't you fucking read, motherfucker? It's up. right there. I found a little hair in the jar. Mark, 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 He's like telling the dog to eat because the dog won't eat the food that's been presented to him. Okay, we're both stuffed, so we're not gonna eat this, so we're just gonna put it away and we're gonna have it later. Okay. So you need to take care of your cranberry sauce and get it in something that will be going to the refrigerator and it's sealed. And this is this is this is the puff look, it's the perfect amount of water in here, right? Looks good, Mike. Good job. Doug, I did a good job, right? Please tell me I did a good job. Look, it's thickening up. Mmm, it's gonna be even better cold. 
What are we gonna use this for? This is a lot. What? Why did you fucking make so much then? He's like, it's his sauce. The, the daddy was like, your cranberry sauce. Which, I mean, I don't know much about cranberry sauce, but I guess if he made it, it does look pretty good, I suppose. But he said, your cranberry sauce. And, and, uh, and then, and then he's, Mikey's just like, what are we going to use it for? I don't know, you didn't have that, you didn't have that in mind, I guess? You should have thought about that, Mikey. We need a container, do you have a big mason jar? Stuff it in the diaper, yeah. We're gonna use those for the chicken broth. So where you wanna put that is, underneath that cabinet, there's, there's some tubs you can put it in one of the tubs. <laughs> and then you can put the chicken broth. Due to this video, someone in chat has decided to pass away. <laughs> They are going to... I, I don't really want to talk about the suicide thing, you know, but I think I'm, go, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to pass on. I, I'm no longer with us. I, Buckley is no more, Dale. He's tubs. Who? Oh. I think it might fit in here with the green one. Why is there, like, pasta in the fucking cupboard? These are both the same size. Yeah, one, one, one of the lids are broken. What color? You're better off with one of those tubs here with the... See, see how thick that one is on the bottom? Yeah, that, that should help you out. And then if not, you get a smaller one. Well, they all look disgusting and unwashed. Great. Good job. Good job getting the thing. So, I mean, yeah, that's basically it. Alright, we'll just find recipes for it? Oh, that's well, basically it, you know, there's a little bit more to it, but I want to see some more of his videos. First, though, we do need to check in on, a, on an old friend here. A new, a new old friend. Um, who, uh, what is the name of the video? I... It's something about te teenagers. Yeah, teenage girls is the name of it. For, for you, seventeen minutes and thirty-five seconds. It's called teenage girls, and apparently around seven minutes in, this video gets wild. Still, no ears have been sighted on this man, but about seven minutes in, it become it takes a turn for the worse. Apparently, um, in this video about teenage girls, uh, I don't know. You can assume what the first few minutes are. You know, it's him screaming about how he wants to murder the Shins woman and all of that. Um, but what what goes on here? People have been the the t the talk of the town has been this teenage girls video from Tamir Kitan. So, but many of them begin to masturbate much earlier than that. Oh boy! Even as young as as like six years old. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. And I myself, many years ago, uh -oh. I, why did... caught my own little sister uh -oh. masturbating with the uh -huh. with a douche in the shower. A douche, rather with the water stream this in the is, shower. This is not good. When she was like also six years old or so, but that's not. My source of information, my source of information is what people... When he... When his sister was six, okay... I mean, a lot of people do that sort of thing when they're fucking six or whatever. There's, you know, curious about their body or whatever. It, it happens. Uh, but I, I, apparently that's... I'm sure this is a bad thing. I guess this is a bad thing, but he he definitely got a good look at that. Okay. Line tell about themselves. Weird flex, but okay. And other people that they know. They begin to masturbate. Them. I have passed away. I am no more. We don't need the chef excellence anymore. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's all a shame. It's, it's such a shame. It's oui. it's a, it's, a, it's such a sadness. Early, and and around the age of twelve, they also look at pictures of guys that they like, and they masturbate to those pictures. Well, by the age people at the age of twelve are becoming horny. Wow. Yeah, that's probably fucking universal. I think that's true of boys and girls. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, yeah, what's your fucking point? K teenage boy, what next he's gonna think? Teenage boys are attracted to ladies a lot and want dates. This is stunning breakthroughs from Tamir over here. Of 13, most of them already watch porn. Teenage girls are self-centered, but he's, he's just talking about things that, like, can easily apply to boys also. Porn. They watch porn, like, yeah. I fucking watched porn by the time I was, like, 10 or some shit. <laughs> well, at least I'd seen it. I don't know if I watched it fucking religiously. And many of them... <laughs> like, I'm sure this guy does. ...their virginity as and early. Has. As 13 years old, some of them even lose their virginity. He's when... very con he's very fixated on a lot of this, isn't he? They're 11 years old. He's where is where's your statistics for that? Where I mean, I hesitate to ask, but like, where are you even getting this information from? This is either an ass poll or concerning that you would know this. Did he ask kids? I mean, how could that possibly be innocent compared to me when I am 33 years old and I am still a virgin? Oh. From that perspective, oh. I'm far more innocent. Game over. That those. We'll get him next time. Horny teenage girls. We'll get him next time. God damn it! Man down! Man down! Why? Why me? I want a girl. And, and she must be boyfriend free. Why? Why me? Also, oh I, God! Why can't I have sex? I read online. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I, I. Brain said earlier he really wants this guy to read like audio books. I would love that. Yeah, just because the long pauses. They often have like very little rhyme or reason, so it would really stretch out a book that's like. You know, you get, like, a short, like, 10-hour book or whatever. You know, it would normally be, like, a 10-hour audiobook. It, this guy could turn that into, like, 15, at least. Just, like, every now and then, it's just... The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And just like, man, he just takes his time. He really bites into every word. He makes the most of every m word. Have you ever heard about the story about the man and the two tigers, Bobby? Actually, they were Detroit Lions. Teenage girls are far more what? Woman. than teenage guys. It's just that most of them do not admit that. Okay. And it also has nothing to do with whether they are religious I was really hoping he would just leave it at it has nothing to do with weather. It doesn't matter if it's cloudy or stormy or if it's sunny out, these bitches all be fiending. For instance, here in Israel, there are many religious men and women. And when I was a teenager, myself... I had a f what is his fucking deal? Why? Like, does he? Is there a condition? I, I, you know, I gotta say, I, I, the, 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 the fucking, the fucking, you know, the boomers that always complain about how you can't, like, I don't know, be racist or whatever. You can't do blackface for comedy anymore or whatever, and, and like that's, you know, kind of embarrassing. But I will say, the. The fact that every type of person that I ever see that's a little bit strange, it's like, well, yeah, he's probably just got a condition. And it's like, yeah, I I know, but god damn it, god damn it. But I'm like, I look at this guy. Is this a condition? Just this thing where you, like, need to talk in huge 
gulps of air! And like sometimes he just has to like catch up on his breaths? Like what the fuck was that? When I was a teenager. Myself. Myself? Okay, pace yourself. I had a friend. He is so worked up in every video all the time. Is this like a, was a condition of being fat? Uh, come on now. He used to tell me that those religious girls are not at all innocent just because they're religious. They are as horny and they want to fuck just like any other girl. Great. Good, good for them. So basically, teenage girls, because they're young, they might look like they're cute or something, like they're childish. But they're infinitely less innocent than this. Frankly, this man is still, this is like a baby before original sin. Like, this is an unbaptized... He he's 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 holy. He's blessed. He's a new. He's a virgin bab in the eyes of the Lord. He's basically a fetus at this point. I mean, he's what the abortion rights people are fucking clamoring over. He's not even a real person at this point. He's so precious, and there and those fucking teenage girls with their with their sex bands and their and their silly bands and they're coming along acting like they're more innocent than Tamir. Fuck that! But their minds... They are horny. They crave for sex. They want a penis inside them. <laughs> that's a good... Okay, that's a good way to put it, yeah. And to be honest, it's quite reassuring. <laughs> Is it? Because it makes you... It makes you feel better about yourself. Do it though? When you'd use a girl as young as a teenager uh -oh. for the purpose of sex and most certainly not for the purpose of emotions, which is. You never see it come Oh, we saw it coming though. I can't even. I. Yeah, you know. Something that I really want to avoid. I don't want bonding or coupling. I just want sex. And so he just wants sex with the teenage girls that he's. The very young teenage girls that he's talking about. As young as six or whatever. Teenage. I mean. Ah. Uh, Jeez. I mean, we already had enough reasons to be concerned about Tamir before. Like, I mean, the first fucking videos we saw of this guy was him screaming about how he was going to brutally murder a woman if they send her to him, and he would murder her for her shins or whatever. The shins woman. Um, but now he's going into the... This is the this is his craving children arc, I suppose. Only when I feel like... You know, I need to re-record a version of the fucking Last Surprise song that's just... You always see it coming! Because you always do, don't you? You know? Motherfucker. And, you know, sometimes I watch porn. I think that's the normal thing to do. Uh-huh. And I really enjoy watching teenage girls getting fucked. Uh-huh. Because uh -huh. they're so young and full of life and... Uh-huh. Their skin... Uh, everywhere on their face and the rest of their bodies looks really smooth. Uh, okay, well, you know, that's fine. I was thinking we could put it off, but... There you go. And 
teenage girl getting fucked is something that is fun to watch. Uh -huh. In the future, I would most certainly like to fuck many teenage girls oh. over the years. You got a list of them? You got any, like, specific plans? So, there we go. There it is. Teenage girls use sex right. just it's like a little too loud. A woman who is twenty something years. Teenage girls can be used for sex just like a woman or who is twenty something years old. That's uh, that's like a quote directly from Tamir Kitan. Tamir, welcome to the NPR studio. Welcome. Hello. How, how's it going? How's your how, how's your Saturday today, Mister Mister Kitan? Uh, did you it, did you have a good flight in? Old. Teenage girls are not sacred or pure or meant to be loved and protected or all that bullshit. It's just society's brainwash. Society! And nothing else. That's that's not the truth. The truth is, is that, that there are sexual beings as much as, as a 20-something-year-old woman would be. Somebody just called him a sweaty balloon. <laughs> With hair, you know. But no ears. Also. He looks like Kiff from Futurama, but with, like, extra weight. There. Now, there is some theory that the guy might be AI. There was... Every time we look at him, there's people that think that he's AI because of the way he moves and stuff. But I've, I've maintained that if he was AI, you would see at least some little weird issues, like, like I don't know, his eyes would, like, get fucked up for a frame or something. And that hasn't happened, so I think this is just a human that exists. I think we have to come to terms with that. The earliest legal age of consent uh -oh. in Europe is 14 years old and that might seem like very young to you but as i have said that might seem very young to you but to me <laughs> that's that's grandma age to, to tamir you know so many of them develop sexually not just physically but in their minds also even earlier than that age and there must be a reason uh... why Boy, he's... Some countries allowed to begin fucking that early. Begin fucking! Oh, boy. Uh, and he says he doesn't... It's not for any emotional reason or anything, too, which is... I guess that's good. Uh, I guess that's for the best, you know? You. Uh, no, is it? I don't know. Actually, that's... Well, it's certainly something. It's certainly a factor in the equation. Um, I, I don't know, but... Uh... Yeah, he, uh, it's very de deliberately about fucking. He, he, it's, he's not one of those ones that wants to have, like, you know, like a, 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 a 12 year old wife or whatever. Uh, he doesn't want that. Uh, he just wants fucking. That's what he's after. And I now recall about either reading about a story or watching a story about it online that it was that 15 years old girl and she consented to already having over 150 sexual partners i am a 33 year old virgin How is she not more of a slut than than me? Or what? What is her point is about how she's like? That's she. Uh, yeah. Okay. A fifteen years old girl. He's all. He. I think his main thing here is the fact that he's thirty three years old and he's sexless, which is um, you know that's got to be vexing, but uh, uh, you know he he's 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 uh, pretty hung up on that, and the fact that there's people you know, in high school or whatever who are uh, not uh, necessarily and uh, that's uh, creating some issues in his brain chemistry.
As you can see, as you can clearly see. And after hearing something like that. Yeah, fun code to the brain. It like <clears throat> give you a paradigm shift, like it changes your perspective about teenage girls. Um, no. I mean, I think everybody knew that, like, teenagers are... Teenagers fuck a lot. Te 12... If you're... I mean, like, it's, it's commonly known that 12-year-old boys are, like, horny all the time and constantly have to hide a boner in class or whatever, that kind of thing. So, I mean, it fucking stands to reason that, like, a girl around that age is probably going to be going through a similar thing. You know, uh, and and so I don't know why he's acting like this is some huge fucking revelation and like this means that they're primed for the fucking or whatever, but uh, he sure he sure does. So, I mean, you know, regard whatever the reason, you know, I mean, he does. The, the fact of the matter is he does. I now think that they're actually horny beasts, whether they admit it or not, they... They're at the age when yeah. they only begin to experience. Yeah, he just straight up lost his insanity. Quality, and they crave for it. Horny beasts? Did he say that? I think that they're actually horny beasts. Beasts. You know, I'll eat an M and M to that. Yeah. Horny beast sounds like something. It's like when Trump called. Well, who did I forgot who? It was like Hillary or someone. He called someone a nasty gal. And then there was nasty gal merch being made. That became a whole brand. We need horny beast merch being sold in Ardeen. Whether they admit it or not, they. They're at the age when they only. Nasty begin woman, to experience right. sexuality and they crave for it. Although I think that women of many ages mm -hmm. have sex constantly on their minds, at least by what I've been reading online. It's look at how sweaty his nose is. You ever seen somebody's nose be that sweaty? I mean, I don't think, I guess my, you know, the, the, no, the sweat winds up on the nose, but it looks like it's forming on the nose. Like he's got sweat beads forming on his nose. I've never seen that. Just that so many women lie about it. They may even lie to themselves, but from what I've been reading online, I I've come to think that women are actually much more horny than men. Uh-huh. Oh, and now I am reminded that another thing that I have read about teenage girls that many of them masturbate daily. Masturbation is a normal daily thing for them. Some of them masturbate. Wow. Teenagers masturbate. Fucking take... Go to the National Geographic with that one. That's a real fucking breakthrough right there. I never knew that about human society before. Twice a day. Okay, and... And some of them say that unless they masturbate, they are not even able to sleep. They are that much horny. So yeah, teenage girls are actually horny beasts. They are not horny beasts! Not pure, they are not innocent, they are not meant to be loved and protected. That's bullshit. That's society's brainwashing. They are horny beasts. And if they are attractive enough, trust me, they are meant to be fucked. 
All right. Well, thank you very much to Mir Katan for popping by an NPR studio. Um, you've heard it here first. If the, if the teenage girl is attractive enough, uh, she's ready to be fucked, ladies and gentlemen. Um, up next is going to be Emily Jane White with a cut from her new album, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Um, yeah, so that was Tamir. That's a little Tamir update. Um, that's he's made his he's made his views known. Um, we're going back to ABDL uh, Diaper Boy. ABDL Chef Diaper Chef Colonel Colonel, my diaper is soggy, and I need to make some chicken salad. Snake, get that diaper changed immediately, Snake. That's not sanitary. Ugh. There's no diaper change station anywhere near here. Uh, this is a uh, baby Mikey forever. Um, he hasn't, um, man, cause you see the thing is, is I just came to the channel and it's, and it said, and the first thing I saw was ABDL morning diaper routine. And it was from 10 months ago for you though. I thought that that was like the last upload. And then I saw that there was one from a day ago. What a shame. Um, ABDL pooping diaper in car, which I watched some of. I skipped to the part where I, f I thought he started pooping, but it's very covert pooping. He's kind of just talking mostly throughout it. Um, from grill mishap to comforting pasta. So this guy likes tech. This guy likes, uh, oh yeah, I need to get rid of the sangi and whatnot. Hang on. Let me just, uh, hang on. Get rid of them. That's fine. That's fine. Um, this guy likes tech. Um, oh yeah, you weren't able to see that. ABDL pooping diaper in car right over here. Um, this guy likes his tech. He's got, a he's got, a uh, some, some marsh, some, uh, marshmallow fruit loops over here. Yeah, trying them in little space, so that's exciting. Um, but he, yeah, he likes tech. He's got Windows XP Magic Land here. Uh, Gigabit Nursery. Um. Cozy gameplay of fucking Resident Evil Village on his iPhone 15 Pro Max. So this is another bizarrely wealthy ABDL diaper lad who just has enough money apparently to go fucking gallivanting around buying like extremely pricey tech bullshit. Um, special unboxing and trading adventures and yeah we got a lot of cooking here. Baking Adventures in Little Space, Rustic Apple Pie, um, Spinach and Cheese Tortellini with Fresh Garden Sauce, uh, two-month-old, oh yeah, I saw this, a little bit of this one, two-month-old Egg Bite, um, I don't know exactly what was happening here, but the, the tur the title Two-Month-Old Egg Bite was pretty in interesting, I, I think I watched a little of this, and and at the, I, again, it was like at this point, I'm like, yeah, I want to save this for the stream. So here we are. Well, no, fuck off. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. So this has been in my refrigerator for a while. It's from the video from Hungry Goo. I don't know. So uh, what the fuck is this? <clears throat> so the the egg bite is two months old. But what's this? Can anybody identify what this mysterious food is or was? Because it looks like it's. You know, seen better days. Um, I can't say I can't I can't tell if that's like a tomato or a perhaps a single pepperoni. Um, uh, maybe like a nipple. I don't know. I I think this might have been a lasagna at some point. Uh, some kind of omelet. I it might be an omelet. Yeah, omelet maybe. Uh, calzone omelet. Maybe a tumor. It might have been a tumor. It might have been a little bit of tumor. It's a little a little tumory. It's a little bit of tumor. A little tumory. Um. There's like mold on there, looks like, yeah. So, that should be an Eaton. That should be an but Eaton. This, it's an egg bite. It's an egg bite. What does it expire? 1124. Huh, so it doesn't expire yet. Happy early Halloween. It's a little cold, it's getting cold out. But, <sighs> an egg bite. Sent this. An egg bite. What the fuck? I don't get this. Is it seasoned? I mean, it looks disgusting. It's just a puck of egg. Microwave. Toaster oven. 
Well, we have no fucking instructions here. Just kill it. Some genius ripped the whole fucking thing off. Alright, well. We're actually gonna open it up. Yeah, like, Grinch like jammy jams, yeah. He flapped open. Okay. The mic wave. It smells like an egg. What the f I Oh, jeez. I don't know what this thing is. It looks pretty weird and bad. I don't like it. I'm kinda hungry. It looks like it's pre cooked. And. Well. I'm not a huge fan of it. Like, it's still in date, apparently. But. Yeah, it's a. Uh, microwaved egg bite. I mean. He's putting this. This we this strange processed egg puck. It's like the thing they make a, an egg McMuffin out of, or something. It's one of those like weird little egg pucks. It's not like real eggs. Oh, disgusting. You could call it egg. So I guess you just put it in the. Skirt. My friend died of. Uh, you could call it a, a sickness. We well, we gotta see what heck it really is. So we're gonna actually do a real test instead of like we're not gonna good crunch, frozen uh, butter. We're not gonna add garlic, salt, pepper, nothing to this thing. Just a get little the fucking wrapper out of there, bro. So do you want the butter? And two tree. So this is the new dog. It looks like. This is Susie, and um, I'll have to look on the channel to see, you know, what happened to Mr. Woolwoofs, and if they still have Mr. Woolwoofs. This looks like it might be potentially a different... Is this the same location? I don't know if the daddy is still with him, but Mr. Woolwoofs has not, not been around in a while, um, it seems, so that's concerning. Look at that, it's fat. It's fat from a... Oh, milk. Yeah, there's no music here. It's still delicious, though. Yeah, isn't it so much more sad without the music? Before, it was, like, charming. It was wholesome. In a fucked up way. I do need to have a sangue on screen. Well. Really, I need to have both of them. There you go. Back to everything in its right place. So, what we're gonna do, probably is that shit. So now, this should be extremely hot because of induction heat. So we're gonna, sure. Shouldn't you like, preheat it? Hit direct heat. At least have something to swim in. Something to swim in. Then we're gonna... I, it looks fully cooked to me. I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's ready to just plop in. Maybe you heat it? I'm not too sure. Oh, wood will do fine. He really likes talking in this, like, sniper wolf baby voice. Yeah. No, it doesn't expire yet. Why are you so, breaking up the egg puck? What are you doing? Just eat it as an egg puck. Why would you break it up? The whole fucking point of it is that it's a puck. It's a bite. He's ruined the egg bite. He's destroyed the whole. He's destroyed the puck. He scrambled the puck. What the fuck? Let's see what the temperature is. 350 for 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes. Does it say fully cooked anywhere on here? Bro is cooking! It says it's from hens not confined to cages. What? It says it's from hens not confined to cages. Oh, okay. Hens, right. I can't really 
really tell. Can you guys tell? Well, if it doesn't say that it's cooked, then it might not be cooked. But you shouldn't have depucked the egg. It was in a puck formation, and now you pucked it all up. Anything else from in here that's from Hungry Whip still? Let me know if you guys want to see. Well, yeah, if it's fucking, like, an, if it's not liquid, that's a good point. If it's not liquid, I'd say it's a cooked egg, probably. Um, stuff, um... HelloFresh and stuff like that. And they've got like a HelloFresh. These people are fucking cooking. And they continue to cook. Um, now. Sal and Susie the dog. Susie's first bubble encounter. Snuggles with Susie. Now where... Yeah, we don't have... We don't have videos about, what, what was it, Mr. Wuwa? I don't know how you spell that. Mr. No. But, fuck you. Mr. No. I don't know. I don't know how to spell Wuwoofs. Or if it's Wolf. Wuwoofs. I don't know. But I he had another dog. And that was like... God, there's so many videos. That was like... God. Okay, so... So this video was from like a year ago almost. At this point he had a different dog. Where does Susie fucking show- Got a new puppy today. Here it is. Oh my goodness. I got a little puppas. I got a puppas. I got a puppas. Do you like your new sister? Oh they have two so it's not- Okay guys the dog isn't dead. Yay. Oh so vagina smell. Yay. Yay. Yay, now he has two dogs. Now this guy can have two dogs. Now this guy has access to two different dogs. The unceasing horror that is this existence. How are your little brother boys? <sighs> you guys are excited. We've got a new puppers. Puppers, we got a puppers. We got a puppers. We got a puppers. We got a puppers, we got a puppers, we got a puppers, we got a puppers, you use a couch, we gotta get you a collar, we got a puppers, we rescued a puppers. Oh, I heard! We got a puppers. I heard. We I got a puppers. And I stopped remembering. The German like Shepherd slash Husky. Oh, you found a bone! Hey, look, he found the bone! How's your brother's bone smell? You got your first never bone! Yeah! In the rain. In the rain. I don't know, I would assume it's the daddy who's driving. Good job. I think they're doing fine. At least it keeps Olaf grounded. We got the nice music back again. <laughs> hey, it's me, I'm back, motherfucker! Hey! At least Olaf won. I was in Atlantic City playing the fucking slots, motherfucker! But I'm back! It's Bethy time for you. Oh, we're watching the newest Pamper Chew. Welcome. Uh, he's a chef. He has dogs. He asked the dog how its sister's vagina smells. Uh, he, uh, he wears a soggy diaper while he makes chicken. It's a great, it's a great time. It's really a great time. It's a good time to be alive. You know, we were born too late to be pirates on the high seas. We were born too early to explore the stars. But we were born right at the exact perfect time for this. You know? Think about that. 
And it's bath time for Miss Susie. It's bath time for Miss Susie's pamper too. You gotta be very gentle. You gotta be extremely gentle. Whoa, we got water. Water for Miss Susie. Oh, Mr. Woo Woo. Mr. Woo Woo. Be, make sure the temperature is healthy for Miss Sweet Susie. Another what dog with that? heterochromia. He's got two heterochromia dogs. Damn. Is that common? Get the bath taken care of. We got a little bath and water for you. We got some bathy water for Miss Sweet Susie. For Sweet Susie, your Sweet Susie. We got a bath, honey. Miss Sweet Susie. It's the show, sweet, it's sweet, the show, sweet, it's the asshole sweet, sweet cooking Susie. show. It's the show, the show, the show. The show. The Welcome to the show. We got a Sweet Sweet Susie. All right, that's um, that's good. He's in the bath. Yeah, he's in the bath with them naked. Oh, yeah. I don't know 100%. It's still waterproof. Alright, let's <sighs> move. I gotta have to turn the jets on. Let's make sure that's jet only. Oh boy, okay, alright. Okay. Oh no, you can see my naked Yeah, you sure can. You sure can. You absolutely can. We caught it just in time, everybody. We caught it just in time. Jesus Christ. Um Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, mom. <laughs> uh, Alright, I no longer trust the video. But he is in the bath with this dog naked, and uh yeah, they're in there. They're they're super in there. Uh, we, uh, yeah, we, we missed the cock and everything. We missed the cock and ball, but, but we got the torture. <laughs> we still got the torture. Uh, so, uh, more from this guy, right? Um, let's see. Baby's first soup and dumpling attempt. Uh, here's, we, we got a thumbnail here. Um. This is the daddy here, this thumbnail here that's moving. That's him. Um, uh, he, uh, we, we, I watched a little bit of this, but I don't know, at some point he's on camera and he talks about some kind of copper cup thing with ABDLs. I actually don't know what the fuck that's even about, but I, I don't know. The video wasn't making it much clearer. Um, day in the life, hydroponics, cooking, and diaper adventures. Uh, diaper change in my car Jesus Christ yeah for anybody who we didn't see it but his cock was right there like his cock was was there you you missed it uh, thankfully but he definitely showed it it's right up there on YouTube you can see it um, you can see it on uh, the video uh, where he gets a new puppy uh, <laughs> Which is a great place to show your cock, obviously. Um, spicy bite. You know, we got a lot of cooking videos here. What are like? Let's let's find a cooking video. Let's let's go by popular here. ABDL diaper boy makes popcorn in his messy wet pull-ups diaper. Hello, everybody. Just gotta clean the camera lenses. Oh. New puppy! Guess I'll show my cock! Baby Mikey. Move this passing. Lift it. Move it. Sup, baby fam? It's time for me. I like how mm -hmm. filthy the fucking strap thing for his pacifier is. It looks like it's seen wars. Popcorn machine. No, that's pretty good. You see that? Also, I got diapers. Who wants my ears? Diapers. I got the diapers. Check this. See now. 
Where is Dr. Hammer? That's what you mean, chat member. Where is Dr. Hammer when you need him to put a to put a stop to this with some of the German new medicine? We are, right? Nostalgia Electrics is the name of the the, the fucking phony ass popcorn maker. The the home sense popcorn maker bought for sixty dollars. Just check to make sure this is clean. Whoa. Oh, thanks to Milksteak for the five gift subs, by the way. I'll put that uh, chemically. Oh, Had to have the extra one in there. Is anyone really drunk enough for this, though, chat member? I don't have any booze. Think how I feel. Make sure all the chemicals gone off for this. Oh yeah, you really want to make sure it's clean. Popcorn machine. You want to make you want to make sure that the popcorn machine is clean. You know, the chicken salad can get your, your fucking diaper grease all over it, but, yeah. Your natural diaper oils. Diapular essence. Oh, yeah. Now, don't you think he's a sexy diaper boy, everybody? Also, you'll note the, um... <clears throat> You'll note the various unspecified white stains of mysterious origin uh, in the bottom region of the shirt, specifically, uh, of some nature, as if he were to be spilling yogurt uh, consistently on that one spot uh, for a while. I don't know why it would all wind up there, but um, I guess it's convenient it didn't all wind up on the stitch, you know, that would be bad. You want him looking nice. Okay, please be careful with that, sir. I've seen enough of your situation there. Yeah, it looks crisp. Yeah. Oh, also, I, um, there was a part in the video, uh, I, for, I think we might have missed it. We might have passed over it. There was a part in the video where he was making chicken. Um, he, uh, you, you know the term daddy and all of that. I'm um, sure he calls him that. But in that video, he actually calls him Dada at one point. Just like that, actually. Dada. Um, and, and I think that's, like, a whole lot worse than Daddy. Like, Daddy is, you know, fucking Spider-Man was calling people Daddy in the 60s. You know, but Dada is like a, is like a, is like, a, that's a weird one. Um, so, you know, I'm sure the, I'm sure him and his Dada enjoyed making those stains together. Dad, da. It's specifically that pronunciation too. That's important. It's not da da or da da. It well, it is, but it's like a mix of the two. It's it's da da. Uh, it's, it's somewhere between them. I don't know, something like that. Da da. Uh. Da da. Mum, mummy, mama, mum. Mummy! Mama! Okay, so he's got his popcorn. He's making his popcorn. It's a simple procedure of simply making popcorn. It's nothing too... It's nothing too difficult here. But he's got a diaper on and he's gonna really... He's gonna rock this business, you know? So don't you even worry about that, frankly. So, that doesn't look like it's clean, necessarily. It's still got a lot of weird grease on it, but don't worry about that. That's probably from... Oh, he's got a Stitch plushie, too. That's great. And he's got his, his margarine. And he's all, he's all good to go. He's got his baby spoon. Oh! You know, if you were a real fucking baby, you might shave your goddamn beard, you fucking clown. Save Stotched! Well, I can't add the Rugrats music because he's already got his fucking family music. He's got his wholesome family music. I just hope there's no chemicals in here. What is this fucking other music that's playing now? Second music. Yeah, 
Seeing what? What about the diaper? You guys want to see? I think he's peeing his diaper. Is that what he said? Well, we're getting the we're getting the real view here, everyone. Uh, I don't really see it, but I believe you. I do believe you. I do believe you. Uh, oh boy. You know, I mean, he's got his clothes on. It's fine. It's all fine on YouTube. Have a Merry Pissmas, everyone, and a happy scum. Happy scum year. It's all fine on YouTube, really. Um, it's fine. Because it's got, he's got clothes on. Everything's fine. But he's, uh, his, the, I don't know about the one where his cock is out, though. Um, the, somebody's got, like, metal lyrics in the chat, but it just reminded me of, what is it, the Dream Theater song? Day after day, and night after night, they play out the, I don't know, it's, it's over and over, scene by scene, like a recurring nightmare haunting my dream. It's the fucking, that's the, that's the, that's the diaper theme song right here. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're getting. I mean, but that's really, it's adding a special flavor to this, I'd say. You know, a diapery flavor, a diapery texture. Uh, that you don't really get, you don't really get from other cooking channels, necessarily. You know, and that's what's so special about it. I hope they didn't start smelling. Like, chemicals. Yeah, if it, was start if it started snowing, that would just be terrible. That would be the worst thing that happened today. Wake me up inside. Wake me up inside. Call my name and change my stinky oh, yeah. diaper. Powder up my bum before I come undone. Alright, uh, alright, ladies and gents, that's the popcorn video. And, uh, you know, that's. This is Diaper Baby Gentleman. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and it's, um, it's really just the worst. I mean, it's just the worst. I don't know what we do next. We were going by popular here. Um, ABDL pooping diaper in car. First time trying plastic pants plus diaper unboxing. ABDL pooping. It's not just for babies. Um, Making chicken soup here. He's, there's the daddy. The dad da is present in this video. Um, ABDL morning diaper. <coughs> Marty. Morning diaper routine. The little heart face emoji. Messing potato pancakes in my Pampers diapers. I think messing is meant up uh, meant in more ways than one. There. ABDL making cheesecake. More cranberry sauce. Uh, diaper blog going to Walmart. Going to Walmart, sure. What are you getting at Walmart? I so we're gonna do some Amazon returns. One, of a dragon root. Whoa, it's okay. It's, it's a toy dick, so it's fine. That was okay. That one was fine. Voltage detector. It's just a depiction. Uh, actually. Yeah, I already have a couple of these. What does the voltage detector look like a fucking sonic screwdriver? Let's see one real quick. Why do you- what is the- this is such a fucking bizarre fucking photo right now, like this frame. He's got a $50 bill, he's got a box for a dildo, and then he's got this sci-fi looking voltage detector device. Like, fu 
fucking put that puzzle together right right there um so let's get away from the the dildo real quick here oh but out of the frying pan and into the fire really it is over here we'll put both of them in the box So we have two. We've got this one. We got that one. Good. Unless you like these, if they're comfortable, get, get, get two pair. One for you, one for me. Mr. Woolworth, you ready? Mr. Woolworth! Use your own discretion. Use my own discretion. $20 is too much. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing the autistic growl. We can just wait till tomorrow for that. I'll just buy the what we need right now, which is spinach. What else do we need? And the spray. Uh, spray for the vinegar. Just vinegar. Vinegar and the spray for the, uh, the, with the peroxide. What? The all purpose is a bad one. Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah, he's still alive and kicking. This fucking dog right here. This this user, he's doing great. Where are we going, Mr. Boo Boo? Are we going to Walmart? Get a Walmart. We're going to Walmart. Oh, I gotta put my sockies on. I gotta put my sockies on. Put them sockies on, buddy. I gotta put my sockies on. All right, well, fucking get to it then, cunt. All right, just put your fucking socks on and let's go. This fucking piece of shit. 30, 40 minute drive, maybe now one. Then you come back. Another hour. I want to see this guy discuss the meaning of life. <laughs> but good news is that, um,. Yeah, the Hallmark music is still kicking. Good news is that, um, we're a little crowded and busy over here. Well, it's less less entertaining Pamper Chew, but also, I mean, the cooking angle is specifically interesting. Um, less entertaining Pamper Chew. But, um, there's less, there's no meth involved as far as we can tell. I mean, there might be some drug involvement at some point. Who's to say, really? I don't know. But this is like an early Pamper Chew. We haven't had a Pamper... This is old Pamper Chew. This is Pamper Chew from the fucking, like, 2013 days or whatever. Back when he still had the daddy and he had his squirrel friend, uh, which was a guy named Squirrel. Um, and they would go to the park and stuff. And it was... They were all frolicking gaily. And, uh, and, 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 and we, that, that pamper chew fell on fucking hard times. So it's interesting to see that type of character again. What we need is more people in their lives. We need to see more diaper babies around the house. Uh, but yeah, this is early stage pamper chew. This is somebody maybe, you know, maybe this is somebody who in like 10 years, they wind up like the next, the next full on pamper chew, you know? The good news is that, um... Gotta keep an eye on the promising prospects for the next generation, you know? Like, the the current crop of X-Men are not gonna be around forever, so we're gonna need to have... We're gonna need to have replacement X-Men in the future. So, whenever fucking Hugh Jackman leaves, we got a new, cool... Got a new... When the Hugh... Pamper Chew is the Hugh Jackman of lol cows, okay? And, and whenever he decides to retire, and then doesn't come back for money later... Like, we're gonna need a new guy to fill in that spot, and that's gonna be this guy, maybe. Like, that's, there's, there's, there's prospects out there. He's one of the candidates, you know? The next generation, yeah. Left, and then exit right. Well, um, bad news is, I actually have no clue where I'm going. So, I'll see you guys when I get there. We made it, Mr. Woolworths, we made it! We made it, Mr. Woolworths! So... So this is his one song he has Are for people every video. Inside the line? What is this line for? There's just something so funny about it, cause like it's just a simple thing, but the music just changes up the tone of the video in a weird way. It makes it kind of funnier for some reason. Like this would be kind of a little a little bit boring 
I mean, it's already a little boring, but it would be a little more boring if he was just, like, just driving, like, you know, like Pamperchu does or whatever. He just drives to fucking Taco Bell and gets some food or something. Um, but the music adds this weird extra layer to it that's very subtle, but it's there. It's there. I actually have no clue. Let me read. Welcome, Amazon Flex Delivery Partners. Okay, we're not Amazon Flex. Hey, you know, you can drive a car. Maybe you can stop talking like a fucking baby. You know, like you got a fucking car, but you want to be a baby. But you got a beard, but you want to be a baby. So, like, I don't know, you know, fucking pick one. You know, like, commit. If you're going to be a baby... And you're gonna do this fucking thing where you're all, Look at that! Look at that son! You cannot also be driving. That's not... I don't want that guy on the road. I don't want this guy... He's not only is he vlogging while he's fucking driving. He's also fucking doing it in a baby character. This is ridiculous. Bro is a baby. I'm just trying to look for a drop-off box. So this is where you can do... Go, 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 turn left in 50. So, what we're going to do... Sound to car speed. If you could just talk like a little baby for me, that would be so beautiful. That would be so beautiful. Pedestrians. I don't think we're in the right area. Oh, that's the Amazon. Well, I don't think we're in Diaperville Ooh, anymore. Want to grab them? Wow, you can grab them. Oh, grab them all. Uh, we're probably on every camera possible. Except. Can we? Oh, I would pay actual money for a diaper heist. He goes in there and he just decides to steal some random shit and just like. You know, it becomes the next uh, chase video that Charlie watches on, on one of his streams. That would be that would be wonderful. That would be great. Follow the yellow um, piss road. Is it just an Amazon fulfillment center? Yeah, babies don't even talk. They even said they were gay. Kind of cool. Voltage danger. Okay, so there's, there's something with red lights. Which is, oh, never mind. Yeah, it's very like relaxing. It's, it's 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 like the music is just making this very like it's like it's I hate it, but it's also very calming. I don't know. I thought that was indicating that someone was kind of leaving. I'm a guessing. So we gotta go in this way. Good news is, they're so friendly. Oh, here it is. An associate. I need Amazon <sighs> Pop. Well, uh, that being said, he is trying his best to get to Walmart and he seems to have been lost in a fucking warehouse somewhere. So, go, go, go figure. Uh, he's got more risky videos on uh on uh, with him in bathtubs um but uh, yeah we'll watch another one of his cooking videos here let's see him do this one could be a personal offense to me if he gets it if he fucks it up really bad it, it looks okay in the thumbnails here uh comfort cooking spinach and cheese tortellini with fresh garden sauce that sounds all right you know oh the music's back Hope everyone's having a wonderful day oh buttini so we're gonna cook up some spinach and cheese tortellinis. He said it all. Oh, I really thought he might not say tortellini correctly. I was gonna be very excited if he Rich Evans did, but he didn't. That's a shame, actually. No, nah, Bing. No, nah, we're not doing Bingo. I don't think it's necessary. Put this open. Oh, look at that. Wow. So we do need our um, water. Water. So what we're gonna do is put it in a pot. Uh -huh. Well, you don't really need Some sauce that was made with fresh tomatoes. Just put. You... Is he really? 
you can boil the noodles. I mean, the tortellini. You can just put them in the fucking sauce, though. They'll, they'll be fine. Um, unfortunately, I didn't make a video of it. You didn't make a video of the sauce, which is like the actual interesting part, but you decided to record yourself making the fucking tortellini. Like, like fucking boiling some water. Okay, that's good. Well, it's a good, good choice. But that was made with the rest of the uh, tomatoes from the garden. For this year, I believe. I don't think we have any more tomatoes really growing. Okay, Meta Meta Knight Gamer VR. You, you, well, um, you're like a kid, so you're probably gonna be banned from the chat. But I will say, uh, you know, I hope you guys are not still friends with that very sussy 28-year-old man. That, uh, that guy shouldn't be... You should be not friends with old people. You should... You know what you should do, kid? You should play Persona 5 and learn not to trust adults. That's what you should do. That's my advice to you. Uh, <laughs> don't be friends with Sonic Sega Gamer. He's a strange, strange man. I don't know what you're, uh, I, I don't know what you're doing here, but, but hello. I mean, I don't know if you got to report anything or whatever, but yes, he's here. He's in chat, but you're, you're going to be, you don't need to do anything. I, you don't need to like report it. Well, he said refort it. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's like some zoom or Fortnite lingo, but you, you will be banned though, because you, you're, you're you're a you're you're a you're a, you're a young and you're a child and and the stream is we say the bad words here they we sometimes say the word user so you don't want to be around that um so 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 thank you for showing up uh maybe don't be friends with the strange old man but uh b but y y you know uh, take it easy and and feel free to watch maybe but d don't tell your parents and you know, whatever I, I mean you know to feel free to watch but I don't, I don't acknowledge or, or, con, or condone you watching, that sort of thing. You, you know, you can't be in my chat room, but if I was fucking 12 or whatever, I'd want to watch this shit too, so I'm not going to hold that against you. But, you know, bye, though. Uh, 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 take it easy. Uh, <laughs> we've had to ban, like, three fucking Sonic Sega Gamer fa uh, friends at this point who are, like, the children orbiters that... that <laughs> motherfucker! The, the fucking children orbiters... That are, uh, that, that Sonic Sega Gamer surrounds himself with, and, uh, they show up in the chat, and they're like, Hey! Stop being mean! And I'm like, he's, like, harassing you, and, like, emotionally manipulating you people. I think Meta Knight Gamer was the one who said that he was gonna fucking kill himself because of all of the stuff that we saw. So, yeah, be, be safe, kid. Don't, uh... Don't be around that kind of user. That's a bad user. That's a, that user is the attention seeker, and furthermore, he is the harassing user. That user bullies little kids, and the bullying can lead to suicide. So just be <laughs> just be wary of that user. Yeah, Let's get back to the video. What to go in? Oh, look at that cool design, guys. Don't drink the city water. Man, for some reason, I need to go take a piss. I won't. I, I'm fine. But man, this is like, yeah, this is making you want to want to want to test like, sleeping with your hand in a bucket of water, you know. Beautiful stuff with the music and everything. So he's gonna add the. Wait. Wait. Okay. So now. Did you? I'm gonna flavor this. Wait, 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 wait. When did you? Okay. When did he? When did he? When did he? When did he? Not too long. Oh, okay. He f he skips over. Why does he add so much fucking butter to the water? Holy okay, shit! Dude. That's an Iron Wrath level butter okay. stick. That, that's the full butter I'm stick. Well, oh, it's like half. A homemade pasta. 
sauce. Oh, I've already um cooked it. Cooked in like five don't minutes. Need that. Like you don't need that much butter, especially for like a noodles that are like okay, they're in there. The water doesn't appear to be boiling. No, the the tortellini only needs like two or three fucking minutes in the water, which is why you could just put it in with the sauce and just cook it that way. Like I had fucking tortellini chicken stuff earlier today, and that's that's how I did it. Uh, and and I just put the the tortellini in the sauce and just let it cook that way, and it was fine. He doesn't need to boil it in water, but he is, and for some reason he's put that much butter in, and you, you might put the butter in, well, you might add a little bit of butter or something, but that much, holy fucking shit, and, and for the amount of time it's in there, I mean, I don't know, he's gonna, he's probably gonna have mush tortellini. So, we need a ladle. It's gonna be the slipperiest ladle, ladle, fucking ladle. shits. Where's the ladle at? A ladle. Just use that. A ladle, ladle, ladle. Why do you have 400 fucking d different cutler? Look at all this shit. Who needs all of this? Why would you ever need this much of all of that this shit? I'm gonna bring this close. I'm gonna spin the pasta over. Oh, wait, so yeah. the pasta's been cooked already. Okay, so it already was cooked. I thought it was still in the water. It looked like it. I mean, it's still in the pot, so I thought so. Um, so the butter is just, like, going to be added that, to that. To See, my dad used to do that, and then eventually I was like, well, I, why don't I just add the fucking butter to the sauce? And then the butter, you know, you still get that sort of thing, but it doesn't, I don't know. There's just something weirdly unappetizing about just plopping a bunch of fucking butter down inside of some, you know, a, a plate of spaghetti or whatever. Uh, it's 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 kind of disgusting. But you just put the that you put that butter in the sauce instead, and it's bellissimo. The sauce doesn't look half it's bad. Flavor. So these are fresh tomatoes from the garden. From the garden. A little bit of herbs. I mean, Olive oils. I, if, I feel like it could be a lot worse. This is a decent looking sauce. It's got some veggies in it and stuff. A lot of fucking butter in there. There's probably butter in the sauce too. So it's like, it's really, it's going to be a very greasy one. Uh, which is maybe fine. Maybe that's how he likes it. I I, I know he likes some, I, he likes it wet and he likes it wet and, and, and messy and squishy. Um, but you know, this is fine. It's, it's fine. Uh... Oh. Okay. Didn't expect this. Well, it's to very be watery. Passes us. Uh. It is. Oh yeah. Okay. Maybe not. Actually. Maybe this is garbage. Look at it. Actually, because there's like, why does all this white shit? I think that's the butter that hasn't melted. Oh god. And then there's just all this like soupy water shit in here. Oh god. Now yeah, this think... needs a diaper right here. You put this in a diaper, you soak up some of that liquid, bing bang boom, you got an edible dish, but why is there so much fucking liquid? Butter melted. So that's good. It's got so juice. Looks it looked like fine in the fucking pot, here. but like this. It's like not even a sauce, it's too thin. See how it tastes for a test subject. Ugh, the butter or whatever that is, the white shit. Okay. Uh-huh. Don't feed it to the dog, don't feed it to the dog, don't feed it to the dog. Beautiful this looks. It's looking great, man. It's looking real good. Uh, I guess it doesn't look terrible. I mean, it's probably edible. The fresh garden vegetables or whatever. That sounds kind of nice. He's gonna feed it to the- God damn it! Don't feed it to the dog! Baby? He's not. Okay, he's not. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. The fucking daddy is too tired from daddying and then so here hard. You go. Oh, where's the where's the sauce? Is it in there? Yeah, and the cheese. Can you take a bite? Where's the sauce? He says. 
Why are you eating it with it? your hand? There's a Nemo fucking cheese? fork. Eat it with the. F there you go. Is it delicious? Really good. That's very but good, Mikey. So now, so I use. So the pot is perfect for it. <sighs> well, I'm happy that the tail of the t the tortellini worked out well for him. You know, that's a real that's a real tough one. But he managed to negotiate it somewhat somehow. Um, well, uh, that'll that'll do it. We're getting a little bit late on. I need to go eat some dinner and stuff. Uh, I got some super chats and things here though. Uh, going back a few hours here. Let's just go ahead and bring up that handy. Uh, let's just go ahead real quick and bring up that handy. Um, uh, uh, yeah, a little bit of this. <laughs> A little bit of Persona 5 Tactica soundtrack. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, unfortunate that the game is kind of a, a non-canon side story that doesn't have anything to do with anything. You know, they have the fucking characters from Royal in the game as DLC. Day one DLC that's 20-something dollars Canadian. And I bought it today because it was on sale for the Black Friday thing. And it was like 10% off. Uh, and it's a fully separate fucking campaign. It's like a it's like a DLC that would come out like a year later, but it came out with the game. Because for some reason, Akechi and Kasumi can't just be in the regular fucking game like they're normal characters. They have to be relegated specifically to a weird DLC campaign. And you know what's worse? The best song in the game is in the DLC. You can't listen to Quiet Storm in the fucking regular game. I don't think. I mean, I would assume not. It shows up as, like, the regular boss fight theme or whatever in the, the DLC. Um, and, and anyways. Uh, uh, very weird stuff. Atlas loves your money. Five bucks from Aurelius. I saw Wish last night and genuinely don't know, uh, even know what to think of it. Well, I know I've seen a little of it and it looks like, a, 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 it looks like every Disney movie thrown together in a big AI. Uh, in a big AI blender. And, um... A lot of people are upset about it. There's a lot of Disney adults that are revolting over Wish. And I mean, they're they're revolting in general, but more so here. Um, you know, uh, I, I don't know. It looks pretty it looks pretty forgettable, but I don't I don't see that it looks a whole lot worse than fucking Elemental or whatever. Uh, five bucks from HG Mick Cartoons. I was going to make a joke in chat about not reading the song title, then search for the song later. But apparently it's an original, so fuck me, lol. It was! It was an original song. Uh, I think I might put that one up on the channel soon. Uh, but I also, I don't know, I have like enough music now that I could probably just put it together as like a little album. A little 40 minute album or something. Uh, I've got a, you know, a few songs that haven't been released and a few that are, uh, d that are basically done. I could probably just stitch it all together in some way, so maybe I'll do that. But, uh, yeah. Very proud of the new one. I think it's pretty good. Um, five bucks from, uh, uh, well, a thousand huff from Rami LB. Thank you, Claw Sensei, for making me forget. Probs my all-time low. Heartbreak and fail at studies these days with streams. Uh, heart, I crave that trash, boy. Uh, uh, well, you know, I hope you're not failing the studies because you're watching the streams. That's a concerning way of phrasing that. Please take care of yourself, but thank you. Uh, I hope you're doing okay. Five bucks from RDA all the way. What the hell did I walk into today? I don't know, at any point in time, it would have been quite a fucking adventure, frankly. Um, we, again, membership from Armageddon! So thank you. Um, ten bucks from Gestures. Jester's Gesture. I don't know if you want some Sonic Sega Gamer this stream, but I archived the streams he did yesterday, and they were pretty insane. I put timestamps in the description for the first one. Wait, a different person was doing this? Jester's Gesture? Uh, Alan Sampson, what happened to you? Is that you? Oh, I think that's Alan Sampson. I think he changed- this user changed his name. I think. I might be wrong. Uh, ten bucks from Kamazaki. Thanks- th Happy Thanksgiving, Claw. I usually don't do this, but your streams are always a special occasion. 
to me, so what the hell. Well, thank you. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy Valentine's Day, because whenever it's Valentine's Day, I want to say it's Thanksgiving for some reason. That's a recurring thing for me. I don't do it on purpose. It's not like K with the Honeyans. I will just be saying Valentine's Day, and my brain will turn it into Thanksgiving, and I don't know why that happens to me. But, uh, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, I, I hope that that was a, I hope it was a special occasion. Uh, that was a special occasion for you, too. Um, uh, five bucks from Kate. I hope everyone is having a nice day. I just helped my dad put up lights. Oh, that's very pleasant. I hope uh, it wasn't a Christmas vacation tier uh, debacle. I hope that it worked out okay. Um, uh, uh, five bucks from Michael Morbius. Claw, if you have ever seen Cobra make smoked salmon, you need to. I have a pretty strong stomach, but it made me churn. Also, I hope your back's better. It is. It is better. Thank you. Uh, smoked salmon, you say? We sit here. Uh... King Cobra Smoked Salmon. Smoked Salmon video from two years ago. Uh, and then a shortened version from Lenin Lime. Well, I'll save that for later. Thank you. That's a good suggestion. Uh, I don't think I have seen that. Five bucks from Jester's Gesture. They did a This User rant earlier with the plushies. Yeah, I saw some of that. That was pretty good. Unless I missed another one. But I definitely... I saw them make fun of Pac-Man. They... The, the fucking user. Um... Uh, two bucks from Paige Hernandez. I'm autistic, but damn, I like that one. Five bucks from uh, Will Powell. Beyond the light bearer, uh, beyond the light barrier. Uh, Elizabeth Clarer documentary. She was impregnated, alien suitor named Akon, and birthed their hybrid baby. Crazy 80s VHS. Well, that sounds exciting. Akon, you say? As in the fucking like R&B singer sensation from Sonic 06? The fuck is it called? Beyond the Light Barrier. Sure. Elizabeth Clarer. Well, you know, apparently there's an Amazon Prime movie coming out about her or something. Uh, she has a book, but yeah, there's a there is a 50 minute. Uh, documentary about her. It's like some old lady, I guess. Uh, somewhat interesting. I might look into that. Um, uh, five bucks from Delcos with uh, a link here. It says, this is unironic. They are this delusional. More lore soon. Uh, let me see here. Wait, so a a Jester's Gesture is not Alan Sampson. What the hell? Okay, you guys better not be running gay ops. You saw what happened to fucking griff it's gonna happen to you if you're not careful just fucking just fucking be just 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 keep it to archiving the videos god damn it don't get any funny ideas you fucking users uh but 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 uh but thank you for the updates though uh let me see here i'm gonna copy this suggestion here uh where is it this is unironic he says uh ba -ba -da -ba -da. Beyond the light barrier here. Let's just paste that in. No, paste it. Pa paste it in. Thank you. There you go. And uh, what's this? How we got ghosted by Fraser. Um. And this kids is the story of how we got ghosted by the Fraser reboot. This is the thumbnail here, and it's these two. Back in 2021, my husband Adam and I were in contact with the head writers and producers for the official Frasier reboot on Paramount+. Plus. We reached out explaining how we were huge fans of the original show and had some great ideas that we could contribute to the official reboot. After some pleasant back and forth, we sent in four original scripts that the two of us wrote together. Three episodes were storylines we wrote for the return of Frasier. The fourth was an original script for a separate project we called Kim and Adam. Is that you two? Is that- I would assume that's you two? Okay. Um, the, the video explains how we got ourselves into this mess. Should we have been ghosted? Well, I don't know, maybe not, maybe. Uh, Kim over here, yeah, I would assume that Kim and Adam are these two, because Kim... Uh, well, this is funny. This is- this is funny and interesting. I will save this for another time, thank you. Uh, this does sound like something um five bucks from 
Uh, Jester's Jester. He said he was going to stab his eyes with the screwdriver. Oh, jeez. Well, uh... Yeah, well, which one was that? That was... I think that was Kirby Fan or whatever. Or it stuffed Kirby or whatever. One of them, yeah. Well, I think it was one of the kids. With It was the one with the screwdriver. Uh, five bucks from Lou. Uh, Jeff the Killer's little brother, Lou. Five bucks from Lou. Saw Toys for Tots donation bucket uh, basket. Literally filled with limited edition Funko Pops tonight. Someone wanted to make children miserable. Well, I would assume that was meant for their benefit. You know, like, look at these limited editions. The kids are gonna love it, but no, they probably won't. It's probably some random shit. It's like some character from like the Karate Kid or some shit. Something that no fucking child in 2023 would ever give two shits about. It's gonna be something like that. It's not gonna be anything good. And even if it is, it would not be a good version of whatever it is, you know? So, um, five bucks from Shake Bakey. Love the streams, Claw. I collect various toys and the like. Funko are a good start since cheap and variety. I don't collect them, but know people who do. You know, I'm, I can't be a Funko racist. I have many Funko owning friends. Um, no, but they aren't human and they should get, they should not be in the same schools. Um, their, their kids should not be, a, people who own Funko Pops should not be allowed to vote. I'm just gonna, I'm not, it's not, it's not like, it's not like a hate thing. I don't hate them. They just, they aren't human. It's fine. Um, well, yeah, you know, they, if you want to not be a human, if you want to forsake your, your humanity and be a, a Funko Pop owner, I guess that's okay. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I, like, I play Dark Souls. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with going hollow. It's fine. It's fine. Um, uh, but it's just, you know, it's just, I won't want to be, you know, friends with you or interact with you. It's, you know, but that's, you know, there's, there's, there's different paths you can take in your life. You know, it's like, who's to say I'm right. Right. You know, I mean, I am, I do. I, I say that I'm right. And Funko Pop people should all fall off a cliff, but y y you know, I mean, I'm not the, I don't, I don't have the final say in these things. You know, I should, I should make no mistake. I should, but you know, I don't, so it's fine. 300, uh, 300 ISK from uh, uh, Baneblade. Funko people are an embarrassment to humanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, you know, those people would have just wound up buying NFTs otherwise, uh, otherwise and they probably went, went on to buy NFTs too. I think there were actual Funko NFTs also, so yeah. Um, Eric N with two bucks. Uh, more like Funko poop. Ha ha ha! And then he has a little rolling laughing emoji with the with the tears. You really you really got some mileage out of that poop right there. You had some fun with that one. Um, um, two pounds from Frigate Bird. You could say the collector bubble. Funko popped. Oh, that's a devious little pun right there, chat member. Two bucks from Alan Sampson. Tamir Katan's teenage girl vid is sangy level. Sure was. That was a good suggestion. Um, thank you. Um, we, 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 we definitely didn't need to see more of, of Tamir, but I'm happy that we did. <laughs> uh, let's see. Two bucks from Ram. What's up, sickos? With a little, uh, a little, a little, um, less than colon smiley face, you know, with like eyebrows. It's very, very, very sneaky, very tricky. Two bucks from Exiled Postman. Uh, the Sonic Sega Gamer segment was some of the funniest, uh, stuff I've seen in weeks. Also, your Dale impression is really good. It's true! Uh, <laughs> thank you. I've really been enjoying Dale. There's a lot of... Like I said before, like, okay, so I didn't watch a lot of King of the Hill, you know? Because it was kind of boring as a kid. I'd watch it sometimes, like I saw. I remember I started watching it at one point, like, a decade ago. I started watching from season one. And I was enjoying it, but I stopped. Um, but watching it now, like... Like, yeah, season two is fucking amazing. Like, there's just consistent... There's a series of episodes toward the end of it where it's like... Yeah, the one with Chris Rock. There's the one with fucking, uh, Cotton getting, like, senile. There's the one with Peggy's Turtle Song. And they're all amazing. And they're all great and amazing. And there's the one where Bobby gets a job. And, and it's that horrible idiot who works at the fucking, like, NASCAR stadium or whatever. They're all amazing. And it's just, it's just so funny watching something like this. It's just this, in, this strange feeling of, like, wow, how did I miss this all this time? It really is just like if, so, if I had never seen The Simpsons before. 
Um, and I, frankly, I think I like it better that like I described it as like, you know, so I've seen Futurama before. And so watching the episodes, I know what the jokes are going to be, but they feel more like dated in a way. They kind of remind me, I hate to say it, I hesitate to say it, but some of the jokes kind of start to remind me of like nostalgia critic jokes of just stuff that hasn't really aged that well. And like, it's like, it's just kind of a predictable punchline or whatever. But King of the Hill, you know, and it's not, it's not even just that I've seen them all because like Seinfeld, I've seen like a million times and I still, I wouldn't say the jokes are predictable in Seinfeld, the, the punchlines or whatever. They're not like predictable. I mean, you could predict them because you've seen them, but like they don't, they, they aren't kind of like a, you know, like a played out trope at this point, that kind of thing. And a lot of Futurama stuff early on. I mean, there's lofty, there's off, obviously great ones too. But there's still often times where I'm like, and there's like toward, like toward the end of season two of Futurama, it's like, man, uh, some of these episodes, the one where they go to the planet and there's like the bouncing brains is like, eh, it's a little boring, whatever. There's some of them that are just kind of fine. Like, they're fine. You know, I don't hate any of them. They're Futurama. They're good, but they're fine. You know, and then meanwhile, at the same point in King of the Hill, I'm seeing some of the funniest fucking animated sitcom stuff I've ever fucking seen. Just, just sharp wit, fucking dry, fucking, you know, respects the audience, really subtle punchlines. It's great. It's great. It's great. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. I like the family more than the fucking Simpsons too, you know? Yeah, it, it, like, like, the you know, Homer Simpson's great or whatever, but he's such a fucking idiot. And, 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 and Hank is like, man, he's a, he's, the Hank is a real one. And Bobby's great too. Bobby's like Bart if he wasn't, you know, if he wasn't just a complete cartoon character. He's more believable. There's my little King of the Hill review. I'm, 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 I'm really enjoying it. I recommend people watch King of the Hill if they've slept on it at any point. It's, uh, it's a, it's a real, real sleeper, real sleeper hit, you know. It's like, like 13 seasons or some shit, so I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I got a lot to watch. Uh, I, I, the, apparently they're bringing it back, which is interesting. I think that that could work, because I think, uh, Mike Judge is still involved and everything. I mean, he, he made the fucking, like, uh, Beavis and Butthead. I gotta watch that, too. I've never seen any Beavis and Butthead before. But he made that, and, you know, there was a reboot of that or whatever, and that worked out okay. I'd like to see grown-up Bobby being a comedian or something, or going to chef school or something. That's you know, interesting. It's an interesting concept. Um... Let me see here. Uh, two, uh, two months membership from Milady Class. Thank you, thank you. So it says to look into fictional character subliminals, either in this stream or next. I found a Hobie Brown spider punk one a while ago and posted it to the sub. Well, again, I don't really check the subreddit, but, uh, you know, I can look into that. Uh, uh, um, definitely. Uh, what do I look up? F fic fictional... This is sub subliminal. Yeah, I guess that works. Uh, manifest fictional characters. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure. Alright. Well, I don't know. I can look at these on... I'll save this... Well, maybe look at this on TikTok or something, because... The, this, the actual subliminals are really dumb. They're just like... I don't know. Usually like a piece of a pop song with some noise over it or something. And so it's just like a copyright nightmare, but, um, yeah, looking into this as a subject might be fun. Uh, I would like to see, fi I'd like to see manifest fictional character, uh, like hypnosis videos, like sissy hypnosis. That would be good. Sussy hypnosis. Um, five bucks from Victor Hugo Martinez. Hello, I'm back with me, with my new to me 2007 Toyota Corolla. It's boring, but perfect for me. My parents have taken control of the truck, so all is good now. Well, yeah, you weren't allowed to have that truck anymore after the... You know, there was an accident. There were... There were some deaths, but it's fine. You've got a, You've just got a Toyota now, and... I'm sure it'll be okay. I'm sure it'll be okay. It's like in America, when you uh, kill somebody with your, your shotgun, they actually, they don't take your gun away or put you in jail. They just give you a smaller gun and they say, well, try, you know, if you do hit somebody this time, it probably won't be as lethal. So just, just try again. Make sure you don't hit anybody this time. Um, um, uh, well, I, I hope your, I hope your, your car is, is, is doing well for you. It, it does sound kind of boring though. 2007 Toyota Corolla. That sounds... That sounds about as boring as you could get. Is it perfect for you? 
You want to be a nondescript serial killer, man, with the, with the... You, what you need is like a 70s fucking Pinto. That's what you need. Um, five bucks from Evil Tomato, man. Every time the old man speaks, I keep thinking about Mr. White from Reservoir Dogs. I haven't seen that one. I should, actually. I, I, I watched so, fucking like seven years ago or something. It was like 2016. I, I started getting really into Tarantino. I haven't watched any Tarantino in a while, but I was enjoying a lot of his a lot of his stuff. Uh, what was I like twenty or something? That was, uh, was like twenty one, whatever. That's a good time to get into Tarantino, I'd say. That's yeah, you know, a teenager to early twenties, you know. Um, let's see, two bucks from Mana Goblin. Is this still a schizo thread? Oh, the whole stream was a real schizo thread. Uh, Slusha N VTuber has become a member. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, two bucks from Sunk a Day. Send a man! Or send nothing! That's right. If they send the Shins woman, she will be executed on site. Two pounds from Fred Butler. Every frame, a prime clickbait YouTube thumbnail. I'm not sure which video you were talking about, but, you know, probably. Um, most of m most of tonight's stream has been pretty good clickbait thumbnails. Five bucks. Well, not clickbait. It delivered. They all deliver. Five bucks from Corey's into house. There's this sense that he's trying to dehumanize teenage girls to justify his lust for them. Like they're just cattle to him. Um, I would say so. Yeah, there's, I mean, definitely. He's a, as much as admitted that he doesn't want them for their emotions or anything. Just for... Just, just, just for sex and all that, which, uh, uh, I suppose if it's an of-age adult person, that's, you know, that's your prerogative, I guess. But if it's, uh, yeah, when it's 13, he's talking specifically about people that are, like, uh, 14 at the oldest. Like, the age, the youngest age we heard was six. And he's talking about how, oh, well, you know, they're all fucking already, so it's fine. They, 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 they've got it coming to him or something. Some some fucking ridiculous shit. Uh, we had definitely heard him be murdery before, but we never heard him be that uh, sexually uh, explicit in that sort of way. So that was that was a whole new layer to Tamir right there. Um, five bucks from Zen. Cooking and diapers? I'll have to come back to watch all this later. Oh yeah, there's a whole lot more on his channel. Uh, more cooking, more diapers. You know, it's a... It's a subtle kind of crazy. I mean, sometimes you get to see the full sloshy diaper, but a lot of the time it's just him slightly fucking up tortellini, you know? It's not it's not like a huge fuck up, but he definitely that sauce was just just tomato juice basically. Um so, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good channel. 2 bucks from uh, Paige Hernandez. I'm frightened, Auntie M. I'm frightened. Oh, I don't know the reference, but I'm sorry. Uh, hold your uh, anime body pillow close, and it'll be okay. Uh, 482 from Exiled Postman. I really hate how much better the music makes this. <laughs> yeah, again, it it's it adds a, a certain. I I I, I want to use the word wistfulness. It's very nostalgic. It feels. I think that's the point. It's supposed to make you think of like baby times when you were, the the good days back. Before life got complicated. Um, oh, five bucks from Big Ron 1995. I re-uploaded the stream where Sonic Sega Gamer and his friend try to act tough and tag team each other into the conversation. <laughs> Just an FYI. Take care. I'm glad that people are re-uploading his stuff. That's great. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's trying to take it down and stuff, but... Uh, you know, uh, that's not the way... Copyright really works. If he's taking down people's re-uploads of his stuff, I guess it's... I guess if it's just a straight re-upload, then maybe he has some right to say that that's like, yeah, his copyrighted thing. I guess, to some extent, he can do that. If it's like me talking about his stuff, though, then like, yeah, I mean... He, he's getting it in his head that he can't look at something on stream because copyright, and it's like, no, that's not, that's not how it works. And if he comes after my fucking channel because he doesn't under because his 10 year old friends are misinforming of him of how copyright works then that's going to be a real fucking uh situation right there um but yeah that's uh that's uh definitely a good stream the one where they're trying to one-up each other 
And, uh, yeah, we're gonna... F it's, it's basically the Wu-Tang skit where they're talking about torture, motherfucker, torture! But it's, it, it, but it's, it's like consistently that one, it's, 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 it's Sonic Sega Gamer who sounds like a mob boss generally, you know, doing his thing. But then it's like his other friend who's just throughout the whole thing, basically the one part where the one guy in the, in the skit is like, I'm gonna take your nuts and, 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 and bash him and, and, and hold him over the, uh, the, the tw uh, 12 story, uh, building, uh, out, the, out this motherfucker. And he just like trails off and he, he like can't fully complete the, t the threat. And it's, it's, it's like that as the whole video, the whole time. It's like a, it's like a comedy sketch. It's like, yeah, we're gonna fuck you up, buddy. We're gonna fuck you up. Me and my friend here. Yeah, uh, we're... Uh, your guy, your, your guys, you're gonna, um, your guys are gonna, uh, be in for it. We're gonna, we're gonna whoop you, and it's, it's gonna hurt bad, so you, you, you should run now, cause it's gonna be, it's gonna be bad. And it was like, there was like a whole thing. Um, and then, uh, 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 Jest Jester's Jester has become a member, Bobby... Bobby went downhill when he started watching SML. Yeah, Bobby had a whole promising future, and then he went on the Ritalin, and then he started watching SML, and uh, and there uh, and there it goes. Uh, Bobby on the Ritalin was amazing. That was a, that was a wonderful scene. Uh, it's all goofathol to me. Um, well, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you had fun. Uh, this is, this is, uh, this is the first stream in a little bit. I've been busy making music. Uh, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with another one. Although we got another fucking, got another stream, or we got another, um, uh, podcast thing we're probably doing tomorrow. So, uh, we might, uh, might, might not stream. Maybe it'll be a morning one if I do. Uh, I've got some more things. I didn't get her. I wanted to do cults and stuff today. Space cults and things. We did a little bit of space stuff, but not that much. We're gonna have to do more. I'm gonna do a whole thing dedicated to there's like, there's like some specific cults. There's like this one about love or something. And then there's another one about love. I don't know. But there's some, there's some cults, there's some, uh, and, and then generally I just want to look more at space people. I want to see what the Ashtar people are up to. I want to find some new space people. So I think that'll be exciting. Uh, I, 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 uh, I leave you all, I leave you all with, uh, with, uh, the really good, the, the, the one new really, really good song from Persona 5 Tactica. Uh, it's, it's, it's called Quiet Storm. And apparently it's fucking locked to the DLC thing that you have to buy for 20 bucks or so. It's like closer to 30 bucks Canadian, uh, if it's not on sale. So that's fucked. But uh, it's 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 really good. It's different for the series. Um, uh, take it easy, everyone. Penis. Motherfuckers. Just like the stream, the stream is a wrap. Bro, you got everything, but you don't know anything. It's the end of the stream. Uh.